time I'm going to drive myself to the nut house and say, hang off me, strap me up in a uh, 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 straitjacket, and lock me in a padded cell because I'm going out of my mind. Welcome to another edition of Perry Caravello Live. As everyone knows, I am Perry Caravello. Now I have four eyes rather than two. So and I'm drinking coffee out of a new, n- nicely new Stanley 40 ounce cup. Yeah. This cup, this this cup with the lid on it is a serious one. And folks. The old, the old 7-Eleven uh, Big Gulp cup, uh, it was after, I mean, like, what, what is it, like 20, 30 years uh, having that cup? It's old. wore out. Threw it away. So this thing, this thing is uh, tough. And it's, it's like a mountain climber um, uh, mug. And uh, it's, it's a, it's a. It's a real good mug. I mean, I made coffee in there the other day, and uh, <clears throat> it was like I don't know, half half empty or so. And I was running around and stuff, and I didn't bring it with me. <clears throat> I came home and uh, took a sip out of it, and it was still warm, still warm. So I was very happy with this mug. It's a Stanley mug. Pick these up at REI Sporting Goods Store. <clears throat> okay. I'm giving them a little bit of a commercial for free, which is uh, not not the greatest thing to do because I keep doing that with people and their products. I'm not making money. Um, water. Um I spoke with Gina Carano, and uh, that was earlier in the week. I believe it was Monday we spoke, and it was an honor to hear from her. Finally, speaking with her uh, ear to ear and voice to voice over the phone. Um, And looking forward to having her on the stream soon. Uh, and looking forward to seeing her and, you know, hooking up and getting together and doing things and whatnot. Uh, she's an extremely busy woman, and um, I'm busy on the stream here, but uh, I do have my days away from this. But, um, you know, I wish you guys would stop fighting with me about going snowboarding. I took a snowboarding lesson, okay? I took a snowboarding lesson, just like I took a snow ski lesson when it was learning how to snow ski, um, it, you're going to fall. Everybody falls on their skis. Everybody falls on their snowboard. Even ask the pros. They fall too. Okay. So, um, I mean, give me a chance, would you, please? I would, I would want my chance to be able to go snowboarding without a problem. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to a fun season this year, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. But um, today's uh, October 20th. We got 11 more days of this month to go, and this month has gone by faster than a than a week could bring an entire month together because it feels like. The beginning of October was only a week ago, and it's now the 20th. So it's just incredible how fast time has been going by and things have been happening. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I know I know my, my uh, boss has been pretty busy over there, so I'm not going to bother him right now. Um, what else do I have going on? I smacked my head the other day. 
um, bending over to pick something up off the floor to sit my head on something. Blood and whatnot. But um, <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, 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 oh, shoot. New cars, new trucks. I don't know what, what to talk about. Um, the weather has been comfortable right now. It's been hotter than hell until today. Today is going to be the last day of the big heat, is what, what the weatherman keeps saying, what the weather bug and, and weather on the internet keeps saying. I mean, it's been 90s, 100, all the way up to October 20th. I mean, if, today it's going to be in, in the upper upper 90s as well. But, I mean, it's just been hotter than can be all the way up to now. I hope there's snow this year. <laughs> I hope we get some snow. I mean, they're talking rain in the next uh, few days towards the end of the week. But, uh, my God, it's just been crazily hot all the way up till now. And uh, winter is supposed to happen in, in exactly a month and five days. Uh, we're supposed to be up in, in snow. Supposed to be. Remember, the word supposed to be. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, Perry, um, uh, can okay. I jump in here for a second? Go ahead. Did you possibly forget that your own doctor told you that you shouldn't be doing anything like that until your next appointment where he would reevaluate? Well, we'll exactly. We'll we'll talk about that. What's there to talk want. about? I mean, he said that. That's what he said. Okay. And they threw a ton of medication on me, and and half of it I I uh, will not take because of uh, what it was doing to me. Well, we don't so, have to get into your medication weeds. I'm just saying he was very specific, and now I hear you talking about you're going to be in the snow or whatever. And I I understand the. the I'm not. Look, look, look. Look, time out. I will not go to the snow because of what's coming up this coming spring. Okay? This offer that we've got going, or this job we've got going on for me. Okay? Do, do you want to talk that about that? That is the only thing that's going to hold me back from going to the snow. Do you want to talk about the offer you got? There, what, there's there's a, a movie that I'm supposed to be doing? or Well, okay. A movie okay. That you, yeah, so Perry has uh, has an offer to uh, shoot a movie, a real movie. Uh, Cowboy movie. Obviously, it's contingent on the SAG after strike being resolved uh, by the time that they have scheduled production, which is in May or June. But yeah, so Perry, uh, you know, another thing where uh, one of the uh, one of the big producers is a fan of the stream. And uh, reached out, and yeah, so it, it, it's on location. It's not shooting in California. I, I don't want to say where uh, or any. We haven't even ironed out all the details yet, so it's it's very down the uh, down the line. But uh, down, this, down the this would be oh. May or June of uh, next year, obviously. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, Perry has a pretty significant part. Uh, a six so. to eight month. Uh... At least six to eight months away. That that means. Uh, that, yeah, and that, it is. I, I will say the genre. It is a western. It's a western. That's. Uh, it's it's a period piece, <laughs> I think. So, uh, okay. I, I don't want to say anything more than that. Um, That's all you need to say. But it's a western, a period piece, period, boom. Yeah, yeah. and again, it's con it's con contingent on the. Uh, the strike being settled, but yeah. So that, how long that's, do you, the, the only question I'm going to ask is how long do you think the shoot would be about a week? I have no weeks? idea. I have no idea. A month. I, I have, it'll be, it'll be enough where you have to fly and be on location for a period of time. A period of time. So, and that might cut into the stream, you know, whatever. It's it's down the way. It's down the way. I mean, obviously, you're going to need somebody to go with you, so maybe I'll go with you, and maybe we could stream from the hotel or something like that. I, you know, I don't know, or maybe from maybe get some cool stuff from the set. I don't. It's a long way down the road to even start thinking about 
the details of it. We're we're still in the uh, you know the early phases, but it looks pretty. It look yeah, it looks it looks very cool, and uh, the, the the person is very uh, very cool with you. And uh, yeah, we got to we got to have like a, a bigger like meeting with with the um, with the producer and everything like that. But yeah, it's a real it's a real thing. It's a real production, and uh, that, yeah. So congratulations, Barry. Thank you. Thank you for hooking me up with this. Um, Thank you very much. Can I talk about something else now that uh, sure. we're just uh, chit chatting? So, where's yours? This, this was very this Lord, this was very great. You... First of all, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Perry was blowing up my. People have been asking me all week how much has Perry been blowing up your uh, phone all week. Uh, with Gino weeds, uh, pretty much every day. Uh, yesterday tapered off a little bit because he has a problem with his phone right now. Like there's some kind of like software issue with his phone that he has to take, get taken care of. Texting but uh, Tuesday awesome. morning by 9 a.m. Pacific time, I had already had three voicemails about get Gina here, get me Gina Carano's phone number. When is Gina coming over to be on Perry Kirill Live? And so on and so forth. So it was it was a big Gina Weeds week. But the other thing we said on uh, Monday was that you would possibly do a Weather Matters stream on Wednesday because you haven't done one since August. And on Wednesday, I guess Perry's cousin, not Mark, his other cousin that lives more local, uh, asked Perry to help him move. Oh. So Perry chose to go help his cousin Sam move rather than his own job, which could have, you know, earned him a little bit. Well, of that was that was early morning, and uh, we we got what we needed to get done done. Yeah, but you were you were completely uh, exhausted done. by the you you could you, you I said to you, do you are you going to be good for this thing? And you're like, no, I need to go to bed. I'm ripped. I'm ripped. And uh, you slept. So I'm just saying you chose working and earning revenue uh, over helping you. And by the way, like you're not the first guy that I would choose to help me move. Like you're, you're older, you have balance issues, you have issues. Like I guess he's been so conditioned to snap his fingers and have you like run over there and help him out with whatever for the past X years. But... Why can't he, like, like, you know, movers aren't that expensive, especially, you know, these days. Like, I don't know. Last time I hired movers, they, it wasn't that bad of a price. Like, did he pay you anything? Did he give you anything? A free lunch? He's going to take me out. He's going to, he, he said he, he wants to take me out to a nice place. Okay, that's at least something. Yeah. But anyway, did you have any regrets about uh, doing that and not doing uh, no. your stream? No. Um... The only regret was, was uh, the missing missing the the stream, but um, uh, that that's weather matters. Weather matters is normally a what two hour show. Yeah, on average. Yeah. So. So, do you want to do one next Wednesday, possibly? Next week would be fine. Sure. Okay. We'll pencil. We'll pencil that in unless uh, unless something that. else comes up. I just I just right. thought it was interesting that you would prioritize that. And when I when I asked him about it, like, <clears throat> uh, he's like I gotta go. I'm helping my cousin move. You son of a bitch. Like he got all uh, nasty. You know, as you do. I I I turned in I turned into the scary guy. Yes. The scary guy. Well, so, anyway, that's so okay. So, where are we? What are you doing for Thanksgiving now? Are you, do, you, do you have are you going away or are you? I mean, I know you're not snowboarding, but are you um, still going away? I might be going away. I'm uh, that that's still up in the air. Okay, well, it's you know, it's, it's, it's getting into be you, you know, late October, so th this is the time where you plan those things, right? Either I'll be up in Big Bear with, with the family. Meaning the Anestos or Thanksgiving, um, on the mountain, then at the cabin, and then having Thanksgiving dinner, or I'll be with Johnny and and uh, his family. 
Yeah, I actually heard from John the other day. And and what did he say? Just a quick thing. It was very nice. Uh, he was cool. And, uh, you know, but, he, he mentioned the possibility the possibility of Thanksgiving. He kind of knows the situation. So, anyway, okay. let me start off with a little offer here. Uh, this is a twenty dollar offer from Filthy Forty Two, and this is right in line of what we're talking about. Um, it is an offer for Perry to show everyone that he can and will be in the snow this year. So he's very confident in your abilities. So this is to do a basic balance test, okay? Now all you have to do is balance on each foot for 30 seconds, then spin three to five times in a circle and walk a straight line. So what I'll you would do here- I'll fall on my ass. I'll tell you right now, I will fall on my ass. So you have no confidence in you, even yourself. Right. Well, it's a balance test, but you are getting paid twenty dollars for it, so I think you should at least try it. Uh, if you move the chair out of the way, so all you got to do is balance on each foot. So balance on one foot for thirty seconds, and then spin what three to five like times a, a police, in a. Is this like a police thing? Kind of, yeah. Uh, well, like when they make you uh, hold hold your foot in the air and, and exactly, uh, so you're yeah. gonna balance on one foot for thirty seconds. I can run the PCL timer, not yet, and then when you're done, spin three to five times in a circle and walk a straight line. So let's do. Let me just make sure this is right. Okay, so you're gonna balance one foot at a time, thirty seconds. So start the first one. Okay, hold it up and just balance it. No, see, you holding the chair is not balancing. Give me, tell me when to go. Okay, go. All right, well, you didn't make it even halfway. Do uh, you want to try that again? Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Oh wait, you, you touched the ground. Right. Yeah, so we gotta start again. Why don't you move back so I can get a better look at what's going on with your feet? Boy, Perry, you can't even do this part. You're in trouble. All I'll right. We're falling a lot. That's all. <laughs> that's that, that, yeah, right. But the doctor said to you, if you take a bad fall on something like skateboarding or snowboarding, you could die because of all the damage you did to your neck. Oh, uh, I, I wear all my safety equipment. Doesn't matter. Doesn't now. matter. You take a bad fall. Uh, that safety gear isn't going to matter. Okay, listen. Let's do this again. When I say go. Why don't you just do like, like bend your knee a little bit, you know, instead of sticking it straight out. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, ready? On your mark, get set, go. Hang on. Okay, I gotta reset, go. Okay, we gotta start again. On your mark, get, get yourself together. When I say go, just start. Okay, get yourself together. And Go. All you got to do is balance on one foot for 30 seconds. Go. Huh. Not, not going to happen. Why don't we try the other foot? Start with that one. Go. Okay. Balance. Why don't you do like what a, you know, like a trapeze artist does. Put your arms out to the side. Balance yourself that way. Yeah. Okay. Ready? And go. Good save. This is the longest you've made. Fif 15 seconds, you're halfway there. All right, forget it. 20. You can't, you can't, even, you can't even do the balancing thing. Uh, but hey, you know what? That was all for accepted and attempted. Let's try it again, uh, just just to see if you can get through thirty seconds. 
Okay. Want to take your hat off? Maybe your hat's throwing you off. Hat's got nothing to do with it. Okay. God, when I have all my safety equipment on, it'll be totally different. Right, Perry. But again, safety equipment doesn't protect your neck. That's like that's to get like basic stuff, so you don't like, you know, scrape your knee. My neck. I've got three or... surgeries in there. Yeah. Right, Perry. Again, like the <laughs> doctor said, safety equipment isn't going to help you <clears throat> if if you take a bad fall to your neck. All right, let's try this again. I, Get I yourself did. together. Take a deep breath. All you do is stand straight. Don't bop around. Just stand up straight and tall. Lift one leg up and hold it for 30 seconds. When you're ready, I'll start the timer. Go. Okay, running. Stay still. Stay still if you can. Stay still if you can. Shit. Good Lord. And by the way, your balance is this bad because of your third neck surgery. Because you of you breaking right. off skateboarding. This is why you're this bad. So I hope that was worth it. Actually, I wouldn't call it this bad because... Third neck surgery, it was um, the disc replacement surgery. Yeah, but that's when your balance went really off. Let's try it again, please. <sighs> balance has been bad like this since uh, 1980. No, 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 no. It, it, it accelerated yes. after you didn't know the me. third. You didn't know me back then. All right, let's try it again. Because really, I used yourself... to be able, I used to be able to go like this and just hold it there for minutes without a problem. Right. Right. Without so let, let's try to let, let's try to at least do this part. This is like the first third of the whole thing. So let's just try to at least get this part down. All right. Back Go. in the seventies, I used to be able to just do this and just stand there. Right. You got and it. Just stay. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut off ten seconds. Let's see if you can go twenty seconds. All right. You just blew it. I'm going to start it again. Let's try twenty seconds. Go. Okay, we'll start again. Okay, we're going to go for 20 seconds here, Perry. So really try to take this seriously. All right. Go. Wait. More time, sorry. You tell me when to go, go and, I'll, and I'll start it. Left leg up. Go. Hey, Perry, this is bad. If you can't do this, I don't know how you think you're going to be on a snowboard. You can always try it and see what happens. Yeah, we did try it last year and it was a disaster. All right, let's try the other leg. All right, listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to truncate this offer, so at least complete the offer. Let's do 10 seconds, 10 seconds a leg. See, see if you could do 10 seconds each one, and then you're gonna spin around and then you're gonna walk a straight line, 10 seconds. Because obviously you failed that, you can't do the original one. So let's do 10 seconds, all right? And go. You gotta let go of the chair. When I let go is when you start. Go. <laughs> All right. You, it, wow. That wasn't even five seconds. All right. Let's I, forget it. I mean, obviously, it's a complete fail, and you have no business being on any kind of uh, board of any kind, whether it's a surfboard, skateboard, Just or snowboard. Just skateboarding at the park, okay? What's that? Just skateboarding at the uh, park. No, you're not allowed to do that either. <laughs> I know, that's, I know please, that's a disappointment. Please, please, please. I've been doing it for years. Yeah, right. It doesn't, make, no. it doesn't mean that you, you should be able to do it. You can't even stand on one foot for 10 seconds. That's bad. <clears throat> anyway, uh, moving right along. Uh, <clears throat> here's an offer from Greg G for $15. 
He said he's going to be sending some baking soda to your place around noon. Uh, Why? He's offering you fifteen dollars if you can empty the box all over his carpet, all over your carpet, to ne- neutralize some of the odors. How about this? Go and fuck yourself, because uh, my home is not a fucking stink bomb. Good day. All right, so that's yes. a no. I don't want your goddamn baking soda. Neutralize the odor. My home doesn't smell like a stink bomb. Uh, Jim says that if you want, he can send you a fillet of fish to help with your balance. They do help with balance. Goodbye! Okay. Uh, Here's a Tom's tip from our friend Georgia in the UK. Remember, if you'd like to send in a a Tom's tip, send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com or get in touch with Jim PCL in the Twitch chat. All proceeds of Tom's tips go to Jim and Garrett. Okay, this one's from Georgia. And oh, it's a question for Tom. <clears throat> okay, so I can do this. Can Tom rate how annoying some of Perry's habits are on a scale of one to 10? All right, I haven't seen these, but I'll, uh, I'm not gonna embellish and give everything a 10. I'll give an honest answer. Uh, I wonder what, what type the first of habits is, she's talking about. Well, I'm gonna read. So basically I have to rate on a scale of one to 10, some of your more annoying habits. You know, we all have annoying habits. I have them. Sure. You definitely have them. Everybody has habits. So, snorting loudly when Perry snorts loudly. Uh, that doesn't bother me snorting. as much. You know, sometimes when I have the... Uh, it depends on what we're doing. On Mondays, I wear uh, I wear headphones, at least in one ear, and I can really hear Perry very clearly, and sometimes that bothers me more. On Friday, I try not to wear... Um, I, I don't wear anything, mainly because... It's just a different kind of stream, but uh, I'm going to give that snorting loudly a 5.7 on the scale. Uh, screaming and spitting all over his mouth. So when Perry's like a complete psychopath and he starts drooling and what do you think? Um, that doesn't bother me uh, because I know it's entertaining for the stream. It bothers me if we're trying to get something done, like an offer or something like that, and he just starts raging out like a lunatic. Although I have a difficult time myself separating myself from being the director of the stream and trying to get something done that people paid for or letting people enjoy Perry acting like a crazy person. Um, So I'm going to give that a 4.8. And then the next one, staring blankly at the screen. Like when Perry's just... Sits there and stares into the ether, as I say, where he has nothing to say. And he's the host of the stream, and I'm behind the scenes uh, working on something. Um, I'm going to give that. That's the highest one so far. I'm going to give that an 8.3. Okay. Uh, bopping and darting. Well, this is my number one. Uh, I, I, if I'm talking about something like, hey, Perry, <clears throat> let's talk about that Windy City Heat poster you have uh, in your dining room right now. And then he turns around fully or I'll say, hey, you know, he'll bop left and right or he'll just get up and turn the air conditioning off right in the middle of a tip comment. That drives me up the wall. Uh, that is a 9.7 on the annoyance scale. That should be a 9.9. Well, you got to leave seven. you got to leave some room in the ceiling for something uh, more annoying, but the bopping and darting uh, drives me crazy. Okay. Um, okay, the next one, fake neck pain slash illness. That's a very good one. There's nothing fake about it, moron. I've had three neck surgeries. There's nothing fake about neck pain in my illnesses. I don't think anybody's doubting your illness. Hold on, I gotta fix your- uh... Want me to show the scar? Sure. Pat? You gotta bend down a little bit. my thumb is? You gotta bend down a little bit. Starts where my thumb is? Yeah, I've seen it before. No, nobody's doubting. Nobody's doubting that the neck thing isn't legitimate. 
That that's for sure. Not once, twice, but three times. Right, and the third time was self-inflicted, but third time was not self-inflicted. The third time was um, because of of uh, the the cartilage compressing the, the C4 and C5 and C6 together to where I needed to have the bones replaced. Right, that's because you fell off a skateboard, which could have been That had nothing to do with the skateboard fall. Had everything had to do with it. Had nothing to do with the skateboard fall. Had everything to do with it, Perry. Everything. No, fool. It was because the bone... Oh, God. Anyway, we're moving... Again, cartilage was deteriorating yes, in my I, neck. I know that, Teddy. Per Teddy. Perry. But... I, by the way, I call Teddy Perry, and I call, I, and I call Perry Teddy, and because uh, it's like dealing with a child. But anyway, uh, my oh, point is, God. it's not the, it, it's not that your your pain is fake. It's like when I say you have a fake voice. I'm not saying your voice is fake. Uh, I'm saying when you talk like this and you're really trying to like you know do that guttural yell, when that's I go, fake. When I go to the the utmost of a screaming. Like a maniac. Right. So fake neck pain is when, like, what normally happens is you'll be hearing something that you don't want to hear and we'll be having a logical conversation is, like, he'll, I'll be saying, like, hey, Perry, here's the reason why you can't go snowboarding. He'll be like, ow, 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 my neck, my neck. And it'll just be almost, like, psychological at this point. Uh, so... That's that's we what might I mean not by, even uh, have snow by, by, by Thanksgiving. By with the way, the heat's been so damn hot. Well, so right, okay, but but sometimes you go out 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 my neck to get out of something, and then also hasn't happened lately. But a lot of times you will you'll take on something that I feel like I and I've made the mistake in the past where. Before we start a stream, I'll be like, hey, Perry, listen, I'm really not feeling well today. Can you can you maybe, like, give me a break and not be a complete uh, psychopath today? Oh, all right. You know, and I'm like, whatever it is. Like, I have a cold or whatever. And then all of a sudden, within Minutes. an hour into the stream, like, Perry will be screaming, like, I don't feel good, you son of a bitch. And he'll forget that I've told him that I don't feel good. And he'll just transfer that onto himself. It's that Perry's sick. So... Uh, anyway, in answer to that, I'm going to say, boy, I'm going to give that one a 9.1. All right. And last, yeah. lastly, uh, Gina talk, Gina talk doesn't bother me as much as it bothers other people, ex unless what's in it, it's excessive out of, uh, number one excessive and also out of complete thin air, uh, where you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like, let's say like somebody sends in a tip comment and the tip comment will be whatever it is. Like, hey, Perry, um, I just found out that, um, just found out about your stream and I'm a big fan and you know, you get me through some hard times. That's Perry nice. will take a beat and then just go, Gina Carano, when are you getting here? When are you coming here? When are you sitting next to me? Okay, like he'll pay no attention to other things going on in the stream because he's just got such tunnel vision for Gina talk. That's when it gets really annoying. And on that level, when he's not paying attention to other things right. going on, right. that I will give like a nine point, uh, like a nine point one or something like that. That's that's okay. up there. Uh, overall, right. though, like when he just opened up talking about it, it doesn't bother me. It only when it only when he can't get out of it, and he's yeah. just it's so entrenched in his brain that he. I agree. Um, you're welcome. When uh, he 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 just doesn't focus on other things like either I'm saying or more importantly, uh, people that pay for his engagement and they're not getting their uh, their due because he's entrenched in, in uh, you know, Gina dumb in his brain. So. In, 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 in stupid thoughts. Am I saying anything out of line, Perry? No, not at all, actually. You're actually right on key. Stupid, when I, when I, the way I said no, you know, I, and then I went into what? Stupid thoughts. Because you're absolutely correct. There are times that I go down the road of idiot mode, stupidity, and just 
just tunnel vision on one thing and one thing only. And that sometimes drives people nuts. When my mom was alive, I used to drive her insane as well. So, Right, and it's really good to be self-aware of that because I know there's annoying things that I do and say, even on the stream, that I'm annoyed by when I hear it back. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, like, shut up or like... Mm -hmm. Like there was something recently that I was watching. I don't know. I don't know why it came up, but I was like going. I was trying to find some some old video, and it was one of the the instances where you were you were just going acoplectic. You were going out of your mind, jumping out of your chair, running around, and I'm in the background going like Perry, Perry, sit down right now. And I'm just and I'm saying to like past oh, Tom, I'm like, you know what, dude, just shut the fuck up and let Perry rage out, and he'll eventually come back. And that's kind of how I play it now, but at the time I'm more concerned with, you know, you fulfilling what you were paid to do or getting the stream, you know, done or whatever. And anyway, that's so, so it's, it works on, it works both ways. Anyway, uh, what would be some, what would be some things that you're annoyed about, uh, yourself on the stream specifically? Right now I've got a an invisible shield in front of me. <coughs> I don't even remember things that go on on the stream. I just come on and I, and I go off on stupid stuff and I, I, I don't even remember what they are. It's just, there's, it's stupid. It's stupid that I go off. It's stupid that, that I flip out over whatever I'm flipping out over. I'm just trying to do a show and to make everybody happy. Uh, here's an offer from Uncle Puggy. $20 to put your helmet on. Uh, I think it'll go well with the Stacy Chick tank top. Stacy Chick? This is not a chick. The Stacy Peralta that I know is not a chick. Okay. Well, still getting paid $20 to put a helmet on. <laughs> Safety helmet, I, I would assume. This is the snowboarding helmet. Yeah, that looks good. Wait, what's the difference between the snowboarding helmet and the skateboard helmet? What's the difference? Yeah. First off, my skateboard helmet is a flyaway. This is something that I picked up at the sports chalet or, um, I forget the other sporting store. Uh, there were two different, yeah, Sports Chalet. Okay. Um, brand I, I, names. Uh, this one has uh, uh, ear ear pieces that uh, are are basically for winter for snow. I can remove them for skateboarding, uh, but I've never removed them before. Okay. Yeah, kid, kids were getting in my face about it when I was skateboarding with with these I, ears on. I don't know on. if you're the right guy to ask this, but. Because I legitimately don't know. Is snowboarding the kind of thing where you have to wear a helmet or is it optional? They say it's optional. I prefer and would say do not snowboard without a helmet. Do not ever get on a snowboard without a helmet. Because that's how dangerous snowboarding can be. Who's the manufacturer on that? Is that a John Voight helmet? This? Yeah. No, it's it's a it's a lead em. Lead em. Okay. So John 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 uh, only makes fins then. I guess he doesn't go into helmets. John Voigt doesn't he, he has nothing to do with with um the, the the Voigt company was an old sporting goods company from when I was a child. And uh Voigt fins Go back to like I said when I was a child when I when I uh, lived in uh, Costa Mesa and bought Voigt fins at at um, uh, was it the, the the surf shop off of Third uh, uh, Street or or um, in Newport Beach or um, 
the sporting goods store down the block from where I lived. There was a big five over there. And it was one of those two places where I bought those fins with a boogie board and other stuff. So I could uh, boogie boogie board uh, um, the, the uh, wedge. Can you just get the other helmet so we can see the comparison? Because I think they probably asked for the skateboard helmet, but if this is is better, just use this. But well, I that's in my cars. So oh, uh, it's no. Oh, okay. All right. So let's rock this. Let's let's rock this. Okay. Well, it is Mailbag Friday. Uh, how about we get to some mail? He's knocking on my door. Let me get that real quick. Some nitwit delivered me Wendy's. I don't know why. Breakfast Baconator, okay. And Wendy's breakfast uh, uh, um, French toast sticks. for the French toast sticks and okay leave this right here for the trash when I get done with this let's taste the uh, French toast sticks I've never had these before so it's time to see what they're all about there okay okay Hang on. I caught it. Let's hope. Might not have caught it. I might have been a little late. We shall see. Well, how is it, Perry? What would you give it a rating? It, it, it's it's dry. Eh. It's yeah, it's dry. Nothing special. Eh. I don't like.
because of the syrup there. I, I got to throw this in, down the sink. Hold on. Leave it in the kitchen. Now it's a little dry. I prefer going here and having the baconator. This looks good. Yeah. I'll give the Baconator about well, a what, seven. What's on that? Is that a bacon a egg? Sausage, sausage, a, a, a scrambled egg, or a poached egg, cheese, and bacon. So it's an Egg McMuffin with, with uh, sausage on top, a uh, sausage McMuffin on, 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 a, on, a, um, on a biscuit. So how would you rate it? A seven. Better than a five, that's for sure. Okay. Watching me eat is like kind of disgusting. Oh boy. Man, by the way, to Perry's credit, he did not eat before the stream. I think he's finally learning that that's a bad, right. uh, bad move. So, very nice, right? Thank you, mm -hmm. whoever sent that. Thank you, yeah, yeah, thank you. No, There's nothing I bad am. on that, right? Mm hmm Hold on. Figure out if this is... Oh, God. No. Go away. I thought it had something to do with um, the uh, Apple or T-Mobile. No, don't worry about that. 
Um, okay, we were going to get to some mailbag, so why don't we get to that since it is Friday. Um, I, I don't like these remarks. And the second shirt. The remarks, dear Perry, I want you inside me like Randy was inside of you. Randy was never inside me. Randy just gave me a blowjob. Stop saying that shit, fuckers. God damn. And I had to jerk the guy off, okay? Stop fucking going down that road. Shirt. Stupid fucking shirt. That's gross. Born the shit forced to wipe. Okay. Do those over there. Okay. Hey Perry, real quick. Uh, is your is your camera phone around? Is, what kind of charge does it have on it? Full. Okay. Cool. All right. Just want to make sure. Thank you. Do you have any big yeah. boxes? I don't want to open this. Well, that doesn't look like it's in a box. Is it a kid's toy? That's a box. Oh, it's a float. Yeah. That looks that looks kind of fun. You don't wait, wait, wait. Perry, you, you, you gotta show it. Hold on, somebody's at the door. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. I, I will not eat anymore. I will show it and throw it away. Understood? Let's just see I am not is. eating anymore. That's McDonald's. This is insanity. A hot dog from 7-Eleven. Okay, can we see it, Perry? Hang on. Mayonnaise. Fucking tampons. All right, can oh, this is the McDonald's bag this, out of the way? Because now obnoxious. it's blocking the shot. Tampons again. Can you move the McDonald's bag out of the way? This is this is really going overboard with me. Really going fucking overboard with me. What is it? It's tampons. Me. Yeah, it's always ultra thin. Yeah. And a Tom Brennan dog. Why is it a Tom Brennan dog? Oh, you love going to 7-Eleven and getting a freaking hot dog. I've never had one in my life. Oh, really? Can you take a bite? Okay. Let me then, know then, 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 one bite. Know? One bite. Oh. oh, fuck. That is it. One fucking skanky bite Okay. Of garbage. I, that's all I said. So you don't like mustard, you don't like relish. On the rare occasion you get a hot dog for yourself, whether it's at a, a ball game or wherever, what do you get on a hot dog? 
catch up. That's disgusting. I know. Everybody says that. Yeah, that should be outlawed. I know people do it, but that should be. People that say that, yeah, you, you hear that all the time, especially in Chicago. Especially in Chicago. Yeah, that's one thing I'll agree where they with. Make it, where they make it mustard as the capital for hot dogs. Or plain, you know. I'd rather have it plain than with ketchup. That's just gross. I just love ketchup, that's all. Yeah, so do I, but not on a hot dog. Okay, can we get to the McDonald's back? Four chicken nuggets. Okay, Why? Th th that's not so bad. At ten fifteen, when it's still breakfast hour, not nugget hour. Excuse me. It says four chicken nuggets, and I get what? I get a, a piece of sausage. Are <laughs> right, you going to get to that? You want to add some sausage grease to that to really flavor no, it up? No, thank you. Yuck. Needs a bun. It needs a sandwich. Needs everything. <clears throat> Yuck. Oh, I should mention, Perry, uh, a lot of people have been uh, interested in the PCL auction that's going on right now. I should uh, touch on that a little bit. What auction? I, I knew you were going to say that. Uh, and what are you selling and what am, and what is not for sale? Well, I'm about to tell you right now. PerryGaravellaLive.com slash auction is, uh, will take you there. And there's a, there's a lot of heated, uh, th there's some things going for big money that, uh, that's shocking to me. Um, but that might not even be for sale. Right. We're going to have this conversation every time this comes up, I guess. But, uh, here it is. Here's the website. You let me know, Perry, if you see anything that you uh, don't want to sell. Uh, remember, the PCL auction ends on Halloween Where's at midnight, Pacific time. Prices do not include shipping, and all items are sold as is. Please don't get it and say, oh, this is dirty. Of course it's going to be dirty. It's coming from Perry's apartment. Anyway, the signed cordless phone, do you have a problem with that? No, that's been sellable okay, that's for right now, years. That's at 85 bucks. <laughs> The sign so, McDonald's that, skateboard. That too, get rid of that. Okay. 180 bucks right now. Very good. The sign death plaque. Goodbye. $100. The signed piss Bye. and shit patio banner. <clears throat> Ciao. 150 bucks right now. The signed <clears throat> state of Florida flag. Goodbye. 250 bucks. That's that's pretty damn good for something you wanted to throw in the garbage. Now here's here's the big one: the signed Ronald McDonald restraining order that Perry attempted to get done at the Van Nuys courthouse about two years ago. That is now three hundred dollars. Where you got that, right? I have I have it because I wanted to scan it in for uh, archival purposes and also uh, redact maybe some personal information like phone number or things like that. But, if you uh, want half that 300 bucks, I'll give it to you. Yes, well, what you're going to do, Perry, because this is what we agreed on, is you're going to get paid for all these, and then uh, I wanted to cover our travel expenses from September when, you know, me and Garrett and Jim flew out and, you know, got... And I'd send you all the money. Our house. Yeah, well, whatever that is. And then what I was thinking is any leftover funds, and I talked with Garrett and Jim about that, we could possibly I go use, snowboarding, yeah. We could possibly use for our uh, possibly a New Year's Eve trip where uh, we come out for New Year's Eve. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, the signed shop fact catalog, Perry. And you want to hold on to that? I don't want that at all in my home at all at all at all. Ninety bucks. Saint Mole painting, one twenty-five. The creation of PCL painting 100, the Cold War painting 100, the BJ Bibb painting 220, that is the oldest uh, painting, that's the very first one he ever got sent, 
the Best Friends Painting 100, the Ladies Wrestling Painting 100, uh, the Plus Size Statue of David 130. I wonder what the shipping on that's going to be. It, it, it's not as heavy as it looks, thankfully. Perry the Tiger Painting 75. There's some bargain items here, like the Gobble Gobble shirt, the very first uh, Twitch stream Perry wore that. Uh, JQA's DRP shirt, 65. The Ronald McDonald Grave uh, Urination Painting, 150. The Piss and Shit Patio Painting, only 100. The Devout Muslim shirt, only 12 bucks. That's a deal. Terrifying Tim Painting, that's a bargain at 40. Pooper Painting, 150. The PCL Painting, 350. Can you believe that, Perry? And you wanted to throw these Jesus. in the trash. Remember? Remember the day where you wanted to throw these all in the trash? Well, you guys are gonna your your trip is gonna be paid for. Yeah, and and hopefully with some leftover for you uh, to take us out to dinner. By the way, uh, that trip is also Jim's birthday is in December, right around New Year's. I figure we could maybe maybe all go out and celebrate Jim's birthday. This is just me talking. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent locked in, but that would be cool. The alternate testicle tiger frame. 50 bucks. Perry and Jesus skateboarding, 300 bucks. Uh, the PCRC shirt, the shirt that Perry wanted to burn, is now 60 bucks. Should have been burned. Signed turkey hat, 25. Microwaved wolf puppet, 30. The RC pillowcase, 75 bucks. And uh, Perry's original fedora, currently up to 80. The Brody Stevens pillow, uh, a bargain at 15. And the signed BJ bib uh, is 80. Perry also has other bibs, but this is the original. This is the one that he wore on stream, so I didn't want to confuse by adding anything else. That's the original, the one that was uh, worn on the stream. The signed Make America Straight Again hat, only 50 bucks. And then the giant Skittles man head rounds it out with 60 bucks. That's pretty good, Perry. I got to say, that's impressive. So runs until the 31st. I, I uh, Perry Caribou Live at gmail.com slash auction is where you want to go. And to submit all your bids, just email pcloffers at gmail.com. Okay. A lot of cool stuff on there. And there's one more thing, Perry. Can you, you know, this isn't on the site, but it's technically up for auction as we mentioned it. Where's that bozo thing? Um, it's a small little bozo figure. I think it's by your microwave. You said you would sign that. This guy. Yeah, that's it. Can you bring it up here? You're going to sign. Can you just, I'll take a, uh, yeah, hold it steady. That's not steady. Hold on. Sorry, I missed that. Not hold it steady. I just wanted to get a screen grab of that. I'll add this one. This is uh, I forget the price on this, but somebody had wanted this something like twenty bucks or something like that. And you'll sign it. You could sign it. Uh, you know wherever. <clears throat> okay, that's it. So that rounds the box out. or sign the bozo. The box. The box. Or maybe both. Whatever the person wants who uh, who owns it. Yeah, all the things Perry will sign. If if there's not a signature on it, Perry will sign it. Uh, upon request. Okay. Somebody did ask me if I would sign the creation one. I, my mistake, I, I didn't get to sign it when I was there, but wh if whoever wants it really is dying for my signature, I will make sure that happens, whether we wait until the next time I'm out there or whatever. Um, we'll get that taken care of. Okay? Pretty good though, right? <clears throat> it's really good. For stuff that you were gonna like throw away, everything that everything that you uh, showed was gonna go in the garbage. So uh, the numbers that I'm seeing on the uh, screen is pretty shocking. That I was gonna get all those numbers for it. That you would have literally just thrown away. Gar Add up all those numbers and, and give me a total, and then and then uh, then come back and tell me off. I mean, seriously, add up all those numbers, come back, tell me what the number is, and then tell me off, because that's that's oh, exactly that's exactly it, dude. It'd be well well over a thousand dollars, well over a thousand. Oh, easy, easy, easy. But uh, you know, it just goes to show you 
in your it's moments of it's going in the trash that some of the stuff has value. I'm yeah, not saying that. Yeah, of course. I'm not saying the box of tampons you just got has value, but other things, other things do. Let me just do, before we move on, I just want to fix this ring cam thing because for some reason it's not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I was working on that in the background. I just want to make sure. Sometimes there it is. Petition cam. Well, they're all on the same camera. I just wanted to check the hallway too. It's all on the same uh, thing, the same grid, as we say. Okay, there it is. It wasn't popping up earlier. Okay, uh, why don't we get to one more mailbag and then we'll get started, as I like to say. Started. This hour. All right, let's grab one of these guys in. No. Me. Well, so you're going to give me one of them now, huh? What the fuck? COVID-19? Gotta be kidding me. For what? Uh, all right, I think that somebody's probably ordered that. Two of them. That now this crap, crap, trash. Uh, if, I don't see a reason to keep it. I mean, do you? Trash. Like the just like the food that I don't want, trash. I don't know if it's just like that. Oh, by the way, one more uh, one more item, uh, auction item I forgot about. Uh, this just this just got added on uh, Tuesday. Uh, this one, uh, you know, I'm kind of insulted at the price on this. Hopefully, it goes up. But uh, Perry snow skis, uh, seventy five. You're not selling my skis. You're not selling my snowboard. Well, they're up on the auction. Fuck side. you. So, signature upon request. Perry will sign one no, or both. No, 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 no. $75 right now. No. Keep talking shit, motherfucker. I'm in the fucking snow. Thanksgiving Day, if the fucking snow is open around here. Oh, fucking weekend, you cunt. Oh, please don't say that. Oh, there you go with the drooling and saying the C word. You know what, Perry? Actually, it's my mistake. I think there's a zero missing there. I think they're actually 750. I think there's I think there's a technical error going on there. I'll look into that. But uh, either way, 750, yeah, it's still a bargain price. Driving. Skis were not for sale. Snowboard's not for sale. Don't fuck with me. Never be hey guys, you so look hungry. Everyone help our guy out and send Dave's hot chicken and cigarettes. Fire. I don't chicken, want anything to do cloud, with Dave's hot hold chicken. Hands. Excuse me for talking. Talk. Thank you for subscribing. I want nothing to do with hot. I want nothing. Thank you for subscribing. I want nothing to do with hot Dave's hot chicken. And I want nothing to do with cigarettes. Stupid assholes. If you had to pick one, which one would you rather go for? Neither. Right. But if you had to, if like if like the world was going to end if you didn't have one. I wouldn't I'd never smoke. So you'd have a Dave's hot chicken. If I if it was a world ending thing, yeah. yeah. 
But other than that, I don't want either one of them. But if you have in a choice between the two. Oh, God, God damn it, stop fucking with me! I'm gonna get fucking walk away from this fucking stream. Turn the goddamn light off, turn the goddamn computer off, and get out of my fucking house! Because you're a pain in my fucking ass! Stop it already! I'm just asking you a hypothetical question. There's no reason to get all bent out of shape. So in a hypothetical scenario, you would choose Dave's Hot Chicken over a cigarette. That's all I asked. No reason to act like a psychopath. Perry. We have found a sweet venue for the PCL Thailand 2026 pool party. Do you want them to provide hot chicks, chicks with dicks, or a 50-50 split? 2026, uh, we'll see what happens in 2026. Shit. This is 2023, fucking hey. Uh, that's three years away, idiots. Perry, thanks for taking the Dave's Hot Chicken Extra Spicy Double Sandwich Challenge. It'll be no. there shortly, and you have one hour no! to complete. No fucking way! I'll take your shit and throw it in the goddamn trash! I don't want to eat any of your goddamn fucking garbage again! God damn it! I'm done with this goddamn fucking garbage! I'm not eating it again, you motherfuckers! Fucking hey! Oh wait, 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 shit. What's going on, Perry? Are you gonna sit down? W what are you doing exactly? I'm wiping off the table because of you making me fucking yelling. Oh, I made you, okay. Spew all, all my fucking saliva everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's all my fault. A little raged out maniac. Oh, shit. Perry, is it true in 1992, now 1992, 31 fucking years ago, you and your ex, Randy, Randy was not my ex, he was my boss, you motherfucker. Randy C. invented a trademark, a dance called the, the Gay Boy Shuffle. I never did any such thing, you blithering asshole. Also explain what happened to Nathaniel. I never knew a Nathaniel, you lying motherfucker. Nathaniel. Shit! Oh, my head. Me and Danko are on our way now. We are summoning, uh, summoning the, the great demon Beezlebub in your living room using a sacrificial goat and your spunk sock. You're not allowed in my home. You're not allowed in my home. I don't ever want to see you at my door. You're not allowed in my home. <clears throat> Fuck. I'm tired of this crap. Don't ever spell my my first name with an I E at the end. <clears throat> Why don't you poop and? Adderall, you need it and deserve it. Well, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I uh, will bring that up the next time I see my doctor or talk to my doctor. 
Oh, shit. <clears throat> Why didn't we talk about that? Well, no, no, no. Last time when I went, it was a wrong appointment. So, oops. Perry, I would like to install a small engine. No, you're not allowed to touch my bedroom dresser. And drive it to, okay. Let me read this by the way it's written. I'd like to install a small engine in your credenza and drive it to the snow. <clears throat> also, do you think you would uh, swim across Lake Michigan? Never, never going to happen. Never going to happen. Too old for that shit anyway. Thank you for the cheers, God Zoo. Oh, man. Gina admits her relationship with bisexual streamer Perry Cartella will in no way affect her film project wrapping up in Palestine. Beamed at 11. What? Thank you for subscribing. Uh, <sighs> filming in Palestine. Now, I'm not leaving the United States of America, number one. I don't ever plan on ever leaving the United States of America. I will never have a passport to leave this country. Don't want one. Don't plan on going anywhere. I wanted to go up to Canada to, to see a friend, but that ain't gonna happen. Do you need um, a passport to go to Canada or can you get by with an enhanced license? Uh, I don't know. Oh, when you get your license renewed, you gotta get the enhanced license. You, you know that, right? Well, oh. Uh, there's things. Well, I think there's, there's at least there's new things at, at the DMV that, that that have changed. So yeah. Right, but there's an enhanced version of the license. I think all states have it now, where it's going to be required for travel as of I think May of 2025. So you got to make sure you get that one. Don't get the cheap. I know. I'm don't, not getting cheap. Get it. Whatever the most advanced. expensive licenses. Get that one. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, can you get another mail, please? Preferably a box. Okay. Again, this fucking thing. I don't need, oh Christ. And I'm not opening up this, oh Jesus Christ. It says Italian dressing. Admiration Foods. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Perry, my my Italian Chicago brother. Since you would never pull a fake Italian scam, please show how much you love authentic Italian dressing. Eat it on a eat it on a spoon. 
Paisan from Chicago, Mayor Lori Lightfoot. What, what, what? So I got to scoop this out with a spoon and, and, and eat this? No, I'm not doing that. Hell no. God. Let me smell it first, too. No, no. no. I got to go to the kitchen with this, if you don't mind. What are you going to do with it? Lori Lightfoot wants me to eat it with a spoon. All right, well. I guess. Like, an, like an idiot, but, you know, you know how idiots are. Hold on, let me, uh, let me get the kitchen cam going. Give me a second on that. Yeah, I will. I will. Hold on. I gotta wait for the thing to pop up. There we go. Can you do it a little closer to the camera? Hang on, let me see if I can turn this. Let me turn this on. There'll be a little bit of an echo. You see me? See me? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go on a salad. You can't just eat it by itself. Pretty sure you have to shake that up before using it to mix it around, but. Well, why don't you keep it for when you have salads? What? what? Why don't you keep it for when you have salads? I don't, I don't buy, buy salads, salads in my house anymore. Of course not. You eat out. I, I know you eat salads. out. Salads. I'll bring it to somebody. Well, I don't think you can bring it to the food bank now that it's been opened and used, but. Can I take this thing off my head? Is it bothering you? A little bit. It didn't say you had to keep it for the rest of the stream, but why don't you just keep it for like another... Wait, wait. Uh, why don't you keep it on for like another 20 minutes? Just... Uh, think. Uh, let me get to a couple of things here, Perry. I have another Tom's tip. This one is from our friend Sketch317. And it says, hey, Tom and Perry, happy Friday. Hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. I think you guys should ask Perry's doctor about the possibility that Perry's head injuries may have caused him to suffer from gay dementia. This is a rare form of dementia where a severely gay man forgets that he's gay and spends 30 years trying to convince everyone he is heterosexual. I hope they can find a cure for you, Perry. I will always be heterosexual. I will never go gay. Weirdo! Anyways, I have an offer. Since head wound Perry, Perry, just pay attention to this without darting away. Or not. Talk shit like that with me, motherfucker! I'll never do this goddamn stream again! We're done! No, we're not. And Perry, I keep telling you, stop threatening to quit when, uh... Tired of this fucking gay garbage! 
Right. Okay. I know you're in a, a rant right now, but uh, when somebody wants to hire you for a job and they tune in to check you out, the last thing they want to see is a guy threatening to quit his own show over and over again because that places that person as a risk. So uh, it would behoove you to not threaten to quit your own uh, stream every two seconds when you hear something you don't like. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? That's a yes or no question. I'm not, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. All right, this goes on. Uh, anyways, I have an offer. Since Head Wound Perry isn't pretending to be a snowboarder anymore, I'd like to offer ten dollars for Perry to wrap sardines in his grocery store participation certificate. No! And then take all that and put it in your snowboard boots. Men holding hands, tears from Canada. Oh, shit, I'm in this now! I'm in this now! I'm in the fucking snow! You fucking loser! Here's, an offer, uh, here's another Tom's tip from James Blah Blah. Oh, it's actually uh, an offer. Twenty dollars for Perry to put his hands together like he's praying. Where are you going? Oh. Dart City today. Hold on. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. Huh? For Kyle. From Kyle. Or Kyle. <laughs> you just take Perry. Just take it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, good day. Stop sending me shit I don't want. I'll get back to that offer. Another piece of sausage. I'm tired of this shit. We barely saw that, Perry. You can't just flash it. Again! Again! I'm not taking a fucking bite of a fucking piece of sausage! Sausage! Fucking sausage! Son of a bitch! Okay, thank you. Just wanted to see it. And if you keep fucking sending me type... All right, well, you can donate them, Perry. Maybe somebody can use those. Donate to, like, yeah. uh, you know, Girls. I don't know. Some, some, not a food bank, obviously, but somebody could probably use that. Donate them. Donate them to the trash. Okay. Wait, what's in the McDonald's bag other than that box? That's it. Okay. I'll trust Piece you. Piece of sausage. All right. Are you done raging out and acting like a psychopath? I hope so. Okay, I hope so too, because I gotta finish this. This is from James Blah Blah. Twenty dollars for Perry to put his hands together like he's praying. And that's it? No, there's more. Uh bow his head <clears throat> and say, Lord Satan, who is greater than Jehovah, please come into my life and help me make Lots of money when I auction my snowboard later today. Fuck! Yeah! Fuck! Yeah. We're done. We're done. You're going to lose all your files. Every ah. file will be deleted. Fuck Every it. file will be deleted. Oh, he did it. That son of a bitch. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, my God. I can't believe he actually did it. We were on borrowed time with that uh, deleted files thing. So it was bound to happen. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three, but we are done. I'm done with show business. I'm done with this fucking stream. Where my career is over. No, it's not, Perry. We hey, Perry, excuse me. Done. Excuse me, Perry. First of all, you just lost a whole bunch of your personal files, which is unfortunate because I got to find a way to restore those now. But. 
Uh, second of all, Perry, uh, this is your job, and you'd be an idiot to ruin your main source of revenue just because somebody said something you didn't like. Second of all, I've told you that this producer person who wants to hire you is going to be watching the stream and your behavior. And you acting like this is not helping you at all. So I expect an apology to me and then the stream because I'm putting you back on. Do you understand? I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. Are you? Yeah, end the stream, okay? Well, I'm not sorry for that comment. Okay, well, Perry, what, 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 you, are going, have... you are going back on, Perry. You are going back on. And why would you let one person's comment derail your entire career i know in the moment of rage that sounds like a smart thing to do but uh that's a very silly thing to do to let one person's comment uh take away all of your uh, revenue and your potential future earnings in a movie uh that's moronic even for you that's moronic so you, you so i got news for you perry you are coming on and you're going to apologize for your behavior yes sir and now you just lost a bunch. You probably lost about half your personal files, Perry. So don't don't uh, yell at me when all your photos and stuff are gone. I told you that was going to happen. Everything's so, fucked up anyway in my life. Yeah, well, right, Perry. But all your old files aren't those important to you? Now you've just probably ruined them. So and it's going to cost money to get them back. So uh, isn't that stupid to sabotage yourself like that for no reason? Just because you hear something you don't like. Yeah, it is. So hold on. Now I got to go through the whole setup process again. You got it. Yeah, I know I got it, but it, I shouldn't have to do this. And by the way, this is going to delay the stream. So don't give me a hard time when uh, you want to end the stream and we're not ending. Yeah, I already see on your main file here, you, you, all, all, the, all your personal documents are, not, are gone. Now I got to go. Now I got to go ex do extra work to try to get those back because of what you did. If I feel up to it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right, I want a big, we're about to come back on. I want a big apology out of you, Perry, because that was completely inappropriate. Do you understand how a movie producer who wants to cast you in a movie uh, doesn't want to see a raging lunatic quit his own stream? Because if you're going to quit your own stream, what's to stop you from quitting, uh, uh, hearing something you don't like I, on a movie set? Well, what does my stream always do? It makes me yell, it makes me angry, it makes me angry, it makes me angry, it makes me angry. It makes me angry. It doesn't make you do anything, Perry. You're in control of how you react to things. I've told you that many times. You are in control of how you react to things. You can get angry without self-sabotaging yourself and literally turning off your, this is the thing that makes you money. 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 And it makes no sense to turn off your revenue stream, which is what this is, because you hear something you don't like. It makes, it, it's, it's moronic. As you would say, it's blitheringly uh, insane. So hold on while I get you back on here. Big apology. You're not naked, are you? No. Okay, good. You didn't just wake up. Wake up. Get your hat. Get your hat back on. No. Okay. See all the uh, all the extra layers of work I have to do to get you back on. All right, Perry. Now it's time to apologize. I am sorry for being a dumb, dumb, dumbass for taking one person's stupid comment and uh, going off over it. I should just take that comment and let it go over my head and say, ha ha, yeah, sure. Because <clears throat> that's basically what's going on in my life. Yeah. Do you understand how silly it is to turn off your own stream because one part that would be like let me give you an analogy. I know you you can't handle analogies, but I'm gonna give you an analogy. Yeah, the analogy the analogy is kind of like driving off of a cliff. Yeah, and I just confirmed just by looking into your system anal analysis, all of your documents. That means all of your 
text documents that you've written over the years, your old Joe, all these things, pictures, family photos, they're all gone now. But I have to see, I have to see if I can restore them and I got to hire a service to do that. So Perry, let me just tell you, if you, if you do it again today, there's going to be no chance of getting those files back. I can maybe get them back and now I got to spend some extra expense doing it. Do you understand how bad that is? Okay. So, sorry. But anyway, my analogy is let's say you own a, a successful restaurant, right? You're the owner. Mm-hmm. You're the owner. And let's let's just say it's a steakhouse, a, a premium steakhouse. And everybody comes in there and they like to have a meal. And you're only open 2 days a week, so it makes it extra special. This is a steakhouse. It's only open Mondays and Fridays. Mondays you're open from uh, 4 to 11 and uh, on Fridays you're only open at 9 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Maybe a little longer depending on the crowd. And uh, why would I be open 9 to 1 well, on Friday? It's just the way it works. It's just the way it works in this analogy. So, but it's a very successful steakhouse. A lot of people have come in. A lot of word of mouth has spread. And people come in and they love this restaurant. But the owner is volatile. You're the owner. And you go around to different tables and there's one customer who doesn't like your steak. He says it's garbage. And he starts spit, he, and not only does he spit it out, he spits it out in his hand and then he throws it at your head and saying, man, this is the worst steak I've ever had. This restaurant stinks and you're a joke and your chefs are a joke. And you, you react to that by saying, everybody out, if, drop your forks, drop your knives, everybody out, don't even I pay react. me, don't even pay your bills, I am locking the door and turning off the lights and this steakhouse is closed for good, get No, me. that's not how I react. That's exactly how you, it's the same thing, react. it's the same thing. No, wrong, the guy threw a piece of steak at me as the owner. I would sue him. Right. See, Perry, I know you see, I, I, Perry doesn't understand analogies and how they work, but it's a, uh, it, the, the point of the analogy I is, no analogies. I definitely know how they work. You do, definitely do not. Uh, the point of the analogy is if you had another type of business and you heard something you didn't like, you would turn away, uh, clo- threaten to close down the very business that earns you a living and pays your bills. Mm-hmm. Do you understand how stupid that is? Two days a week. Sure. Yeah, two days a week. Yeah, right. You're able to, su- think about that. You're able to support yourself by working two days a week when most people work a minimum of five days a week. Yeah. So that's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, if, if it would ever be possible. But well, it, it is saying. possible, Perry. You work Monday and Friday, and you're paying all your bills, and you're going out to eat every day, and you're doing pretty well for yourself. So, pretty good, right? You got a movie deal possibly on the table. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, so sit up, Perry, and join us. Thank you, and stop threatening uh, the stream. Okay, no more rage quitting. Um, Sorry about that. Where, where was I? What was I going to do? Um, by the way, and you are doing a third stream next week. Uh, Weather matters next Wednesday. Okay, mark right. it down. Right, it's gonna happen. Mark it down. Okay, uh, here is another time. Remember, I don't know why you get so volatile on Tom's tips. These are Tom's tips that people send in to pcloffers at gmail dot com. Okay, and all proceeds go to Jim and Garrett. And there's no reason to get that all worked up where you're gonna turn off your stream. If you got something to say. Definitely say it, but there's no reason to turn off the computer. God bless you. I slipped. That was some slip. All right, here's an offer from John Jamin. $45 for Perry to do a condom shot. He must open a condom, fill it to the top with water. No. And drink from the condom like a shot. No. Fucking well, how about this? Way. Hey, 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 Perry, instead of cursing... I, I will never drink out of a condom. A condom has oils in it. Not inside. I think that's on the outside. Yeah, there's oils inside as well. I think you should do that to make up for uh, your behavior. No fucking way! Over and out!
Uh, here's one from Scott LaRock. $20 to stick an always pad to your helmet and leave it there for the rest of the stream. One of those pads you got from CVS, if you just stick it to your helmet uh, and put the helmet back on, you'll get 20 bucks from Scott. You go there. Always. I don't even know if the condoms you have on hand would hold water because they're probably all disintegrated by now. Not with me. You want one of these on, on the helmet? If it says always, yeah, I mean. Nothing, it says, it says, uh, Women's protective panties from CBS. Right, but then you get Tampax. something else earlier that said always. Tampax. Always? That's what it said. Hold on, let me skip through the always. Ooh. Always. Of the very first one. Okay. One of those and stick it to the helmet. Yeah. I don't know where, what do you stick it, how? I don't know. But there's got to be some kind of adhesive on there that sticks, so just find a place obviously not towards the back something that shows Very good, and if you could put that on. Now it is for the rest of the stream. All right, and Perry, listen, as we go along here on PCL, and I know, uh, you know, after three years, it's tough to uh, recognize uh, the patterns of what you do, but you might hear some things you don't like. I might hear things I don't you like. Well, you probably will. Or I hear always something. play your things I okay, don't right. like. Okay, right. But nobody's making you rage like a lunatic. No one's making you turn off your computer. Uh, you choose to do those things. That's so, my decision. You're right. So I would ask you, please, just don't uh, don't threaten the stream, please, because it makes life harder for me, and it also delays the stream. <clears throat> okay. Stop. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have your Bluetooth speaker around? Because I think you're going to be getting a call uh, shortly. Oh, it's over. It, bring it to the desk. I just want to make sure you uh, have it for when the call comes in. I'm going to open my kitchen window. Sure thing. All right, let me just see if I need to catch up on anything else. Thank you for doing that, Perry. Mm -hmm. This is a weird one. I, I'm just going to say it because it crossed my desk, Perry, but uh, it's... From nose nose, ten dollars to have Bones Fury 
which is the um, the skeleton, cradle the hot dog in its arms like it's their baby for a couple of minutes. I think that's kind of funny. So because the, the skeleton is kind of a hot, hot dog, dog already, and you got a hot dog delivered, so just put it like it's cradling the hot dog, you know, for a while, and uh, that's an easy ten dollars. The arm doesn't turn. It won't hold. That doesn't turn. Well, you want the actual hot dog, not the not the box. You have them hold the actual hot dog. But it doesn't. It won't. It won't. Right. You can't is there turn. a way? To, is there a way to turn the palms outward? No. No. The, the, the hands won't turn. Okay, we'll figure out a way just to put it in his lap then where he's grabbing onto it. Just just some way so you can earn the uh, the funds. Yeah, like that. Do a little bit of a better job like he's actually holding it. it like he's actually... Just no put way. it near his hand, Perry, like he's actually holding it. If you could put just a degree of effort into it he cannot i understand i understand anything. so rather moving yeah just just see you're working it this, this that's good yeah that's that's good i'll accept that at least the hand's touching it now that's good sometimes things just take a little where are you going hey he's going to pee always oh, yeah he's not wearing a diaper today How's everybody doing today? Got another bad storm going on here in New York. I don't think it's too bad though. I don't think we're gonna lose any power. However, if the stream does go down without warning, that's why. Was that a sneaky or defiant pee? Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think either one. Maybe a little bit of both. Uh, I told Perry to, on especially on Fridays, to maybe start his day with bulletproof coffee, like the actual bulletproof with the butter, with the oil and everything like that. I think it does do something for his energy because I think he's very good energy today. I'm, I was giving you a compliment. Who, Perry. me? I was, yeah, you. I was giving you a compliment. I don't know if you heard me. Thank you. And I was talking about the the, the weather. Uh, somebody says raining near them on Long Island also. Yeah, I'm also on Long Island. It's raining. It's not terrible. It's not like crazy wind or anything like, like that. T-Mobile verified. What the hell's that all about? Just get that off. Whatever that is. Okay. <clears throat> New Jersey. T-Mobile's trying to call. Should I swipe up or leave it? Uh, answer it. Answer it. That might be your phone call. And put your Bluetooth speaker right by the microphone. Okay, not personally. Hello? Perry, this is for the stream. Yes. This yes. Is, okay, Perry. This is Perry. Yeah, yeah, nobody can hear this call, oh, so put the blue box hang on, hang the on, hang on. on. Hang on. This is, not, this is not a call for you to be taking personally. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Perry, don't are. give the guys, don't flash the phone to the camera. Sorry. And put the jam box near the speaker so people can hear it. Hello? Is Hello? It no, Perry? not the phone, Hello? Perry, the jam box. Good God, it's like we do everything for the first time. Oh, 
Could you be any less prepared? Hold it down. Hold it down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I know. I'm very, I'm very unprepared today. Come on and ready to go. Put it right near the camera, right near the microphone. Put the phone face down on your desk. I don't need people seeing people's private information. Thank you. All right, continue. Okay. All right, can you hear me on the uh, jam box? Yeah, is this Perry Calamella? Caravello. Hey. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's good to talk to you, buddy. Hey, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, look, I'm sorry uh, to hear about your car accident. It's not your fault. Remember that. Never is. No, because like uh, they, people say that nine out of ten women can't drive, so it's basically not your fault. So you're fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be gone. Uh, since the doctor said you can't go snowboarding, Tom hit me up and asked if I can help. I called the guy that I know that works for a bus company, and I traded in your yearly pass for a bus pass, and you can use it. Uh, from Thanksgiving to April. What? You can't drive. What? Dude, I'm in the snow. I'm not, I'm not listening to anybody's bullshit. Oh, no, you can't go into the snow. Bullshit. I'm in the snow. No, I already traded in. I got you a bus pass because you can't go. And it, it's up to you. I mean, you can use the bus because you can't drive. You know what I mean? Most women No, I, I'm driving. The, you're not driving. To you the snow. Drive. You can't drive, you can't go snowboarding, and that's the fact. So I got everything set up. I'm getting my license renewed in November. I'm going to the snow, November, December through May, April, April, uh, May, you, possibly June. No, it, unless you're taking a bus, there's no way you're going skiing because you're not allowed to go because the doctor said, I called the bus guy. The doctor can say it. what he wants. Listen. If I have a doctor that if I can get this all fixed for you, okay, if you just admit that you had a fake accident, I can get you approved to be able to go snowboard. If a you fake admit accident? That it was a fake? A fake what, 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 what's fake? The accident you had. If you can just admit it. What finally, accident are you talking about? The accident in 79 the accident. or the accident that just happened to me the other day? No, the accident you had when you drove into that poor old lady and ruined her life. No, but I ruined thing. her life? She was yeah. on the wrong side of the freeway, you blithering old bastard. All right, look. What are you talking into? You blithering old Listen. bastard. She was on the wrong side of the freeway. Stop it. Listen to me. If I was driving man. home from Pipeline Skate Park in Upland after getting my retainer in Loma Linda. You motherfucker! Blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you finally admit that your accident was fake, I can get you back on the slope by by November. I have a doctor that... Goodbye! What? Goodbye! No, no, don't you hang up on me. This is no way. I'm coming. Listen, I'm coming out there. You're not allowed in my home. I No, I'm coming. You're not allowed in my home. I don't want you in my home. I'm you are not allowed out. here. I am allowed. I am allowed. Tony's allowed. Mold's allowed. You're not allowed in my home! You got it? End of story. Goodbye! Fucking I'm asshole. Fine. Stupid fucking son of a bitch. Tired of this stupid... Obnoxious crap. Did you hang up, Perry? Yeah. Well, that's rude. Okay, I think he should call back. Oh, shit. No, no, put that back on or you, or you don't get paid. Fuck you. Perry, stop with your attitude. You got a producer watching to see how your behavior is and you're blowing it. You're going to blow that movie role just like you blew that casting director. Now get that tampon back on your head. No, you're a motherfucker. I blew nothing. I was just kidding. Yeah, I'm a motherfucker. Go oh, fuck yourself! Just kidding, Perry. Get your hand off the mouse. We're done. We're done. We're done. Right, we're done. We're done. Answer the phone, Perry, and apologize or you don't get that movie deal. I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere! Perry, you're not getting that movie deal unless you answer this phone and apologize. Right now. Answer the phone and apologize right now. And get the 
get the tampon and the helmet back on your head and answer the phone. Answer the phone. What? Uh, I think I think I hung up by accident. I think I hung up by accident. Uh, okay. I'm Let tired of this getting... crap. No, Damn. stop it. Stop it. You got a good life, buddy. Let me tell you something. Hey, when I come over there, uh, listen, we're having a big party, New Year. Just listen. Just listen to me out. I know your place is small. So my wife said she would sleep on the couch as long as you do not smoke in the house because she's not a smoker now. So she's asking you, please, for not to light up one cigarette in your house. That's all I'm asking. I will never smoke in my home. Get that tampon back on your head. I will never smoke ever. Get you that. are a fucking fanatic. You are fucking trying to push me to become a fucking smoker. You can get it the fuck out of my life with that disgusting shit. Listen, man, you're the You're one not one. allowed here because you want me to fucking smoke. Fuck you. All right, let's bring this back a little bit. Let's bring this back a little bit. Okay, so when we bitch. come there, listen. I, you you're know. not allowed here if you're going to fucking push cigarettes in my face. I'm You're not allowed don't here. Push, don't push him in my face again. That's all I'm asking. Uh, here. She will sleep on the couch as long as you don't smoke. I, me and you will sleep in the bed. No, you are bed. not. What? You are not. No. You sleep at your, you, you get a hotel room with your wife. You're not allowed no, to sleep no, on my bed. No, no, we're going to stay there. We, we would rather stay there. We're going to stay there. Now, do you take, you, uh, you just can't take a lot of the sheets and that stuff and, uh, uh, how many pillows you got? None. What's in that? You don't have any? All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to hold you. each other. It's all right. It's going to be cold, you. so it will be warm. We'll, we'll yeah. stay warm. Uh, a You're lot of stuff. Look, if you can, listen, let's get back to the, let's get back to the meat and the potatoes of this. You are a snowboarder. You say it all the time. I'm an old I, skateboard, old school skateboarder, and yeah, I've skied. For blah, years, blah, 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 I'm a skier. Yeah. Okay. From 84 yeah. to yeah. 2000. Okay, I'm yeah, going, man. I've started snowboarding. I'm not a great oh. snowboarder. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I, when nobody said you were a great uh, snowboarder, but here's the thing. Like, I I got you the bus pass for the year. If you, bus I have pass. a doctor, okay? This is a doctor that did a real accident on me, okay? He was my doctor. Oh, he said it. If you can just admit that you were in a fake accident when you hit that lady and ruined her life and that you had... Excuse me? I was 16 years old, you motherfucker! I'm not talking no more. I'm not talking no more. No, more. No, 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 no. Here we go. What we do, if he said, if you can say, you know, since you have these fake scars, if you can just prove that they're fake, the scars on your neck, we got you back in the snow by December 3rd. That's what he's telling me right now. December 3rd. Mark that down. Uh, so that's all I need you to do. Can you can you basically tell the truth on this and say it was fake? Honey? Honey? Sweetie? Sugar tits? You see, this is this is what happened. You know what I mean? How are we gonna be best friends if you're gonna go walking around the house when I try to do something good for you? My God, you are not any longer my friend if you're gonna try to fucking lie, demoralize me, and make me look like a pitiful piece of shit. I am not doing that. I'm doing you. You're a liar. Hey, look. I don't care. What are you gonna cook now? You're a cook all of a sudden. You're a skateboarder. A cook is good. This and that. Come on, dude. I'm doing you a favor. You want to go snowboarding? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get you there, and you're gonna yeah, be bullshit. with me, your best friend. And you're no friend. You're December. a fucking crook. I am not a fucking crook. I never stole good for you. You're, right. you're, you're ruining me. Goodbye. No. You're ruining me. Don't. Don't you dare. Don't I, you dare. Don't you I'm, I'm tired don't. of this of this bullshit. Listen to me. We're not breaking up like this. We are not breaking up like this. I, I another thing crap. that I found out I is that somebody is mad at you. Crap. Somebody is mad at you. Listen to me. 
Frank Pellegrino is mad at you. So? Because, yeah, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Chrissy comes back from your apartment pregnant, and they haven't had sex for months before this, and, and the baby is yours this thing right Yeah, now. right. I only wish I was sleeping with Chrissy. Sure. Oh, right. What about Frank, then? What do you mean, what about Frank? Oh, no. Well, he's upset. He's upset. He what? He's upset that you got his girl pregnant. I you didn't just sleep with care. Chrissy. You just don't care. I didn't you know, sleep all, with Chrissy. It's all about you. It's all about you. I did out not sleep with Chrissy. Well, I didn't say you slept. I'm saying something went on there. But what the fuck? We didn't you have know, sex. Whatever. You're going to be a daddy. You're sure. going to be a daddy. You're going to be Blood a tests, daddy. Period. What? Blood tests. Period. Uh, Next. What? You can't do a blood test with a period. A woman's period. No, you're gonna put jag you off. What kind you of take a blood test you? What is the matter with you? I'm your best You are I'm stupid. Here. You're running around with all the uh, It's not my baby, number one. Okay. Number two. <clears throat> take my blood test. Your Your girlfriend's blood test. My girlfriend, you're telling me, now you're saying Whatever. I have a girlfriend? My wife listens to this show. What the hell's the matter with you? What are you trying to do Calling to Chrissy, I'm calling Chrissy your girlfriend, meaning meaning she's a friend, okay? She's all oh, of our okay. friends. So that makes me your boyfriend, then. Because I'm you're a boy, a friend. I'm your friend. Say it. Friend. Say friend. you're my boyfriend. You're gay. Goodbye. What? I'm not, I'm not gay yet. I didn't even come there for New Year's Eve. You're not staying in my house. Yes, I am. Then no, you're you not are staying not in your house. You're not staying in your house, then, okay? This call's done. I, I can't take this shit anymore. Listen, listen. Uh, Let me talk to my doctor. Look, I, I got to take, I got to go. How about this? I got to go. How about I hang up on you and thank see how you. it feels? You rotten man. You're rotten. Uh, you're a bad girl. I'm hanging up on you. Goodbye. Uh, hey, hey. Oh, thank goodness. Jesus Christ, this guy's nuts. He's a great guy, Greg. He's a great guy. Thanks, He well. might be a great guy to you, but... He's a great guy to you, too. Uh, listen, Perry, I'm going to need you to get another always on that helmet. I, I know you're in a bit of a, a ragey attitude today, but listen very carefully, Perry. Before you bop, before you bop away, listen very carefully. Uh, before you bop away, listen very carefully. I don't know what could be more clear about that. Uh, you have a terrible attitude today, my friend. And yeah, right. But we talked before the stream, and I told you I want this movie deal to go through. The guy's watching you. So you, really, so what? So I should tell the guy you're not interested, right? So I should tell the guy we're not interested in you doing the movie, right? Do that, and you're gonna ruin me. So, an so answer. So then, answer the question. Instead of doing desk stuff right now, uh, maybe you can stop threatening your stream, threatening other people, and being defiant. Okay. I'm not taking somebody's lies and bullshit and trying to call that fucking funny. Well, by forcing themselves in my home. But you can disagree with somebody rather than running away from your own stream and trying to shut it down and hang up on people. Okay. It's called a debate. All right, now get that tampon on your helmet, please. Have some self-respect. God, it's fucking stupid. And I think you've had more than enough bulletproof for the day. Stupid.
going to put this back on. Okay. All right. Okay. I look, like very, I I look like a big tampon. All right. Well, it actually looks like a mohawk or a stripe of paint. Tampon. Um, very Walking interesting tampon. offer here. I think you've had enough of the bulletproof. If you want to take a, a breather from that, I'm almost done. Almost done. Okay. <laughs> All right, I might have, I might have overdosed. Um, here's an offer from Filthy Forty Two, and it's for fifteen dollars, and this is about as easy as it gets here at PCL. All you have to do is show your keys to the stream. For the keys, your keys. Yeah, you got to show your keys. Hang on. Don't just jingle them. You got a detailed. Uh, this is a detailed thing here. I'll get into it. All right. So sit Jeez. down. No, don't just flash them. Sit down. Part of the deal is sit down. Uh, go through each key and please tell the stream what each key is. Just like key talk. So why you know, your car? Because you're getting paid fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, and you, it'll make an interesting conversation. Let's go through what each key is. Home building key. No one is allowed to have one of these. These are not duplicable. That's the front gate. That's the front gate. That's the front gate. Move up a little this closer. It's it. hard to see that far away. Okay. This is a front gate key. Right. Okay. By the way, I should do. This is, I think, my original bicycle lock key. It goes back to 1974. I still have on my key ring. Um, luggage keys on luggage bags. Luggage bags keys. For what luggage? luggage for what luggage bags? I, I I don't know which is which. But do you use them? I haven't in a while. It so, depends on which what I'm. So maybe you should take those I'm, off if you're not using. No, them. no. It depends on when I when I go use them. Wait, but you don't even know what they're for. Huh? You don't even know what they're for. Depends on what... This lock has been gone for quite some time. What is this one before? This was a master lock. One of these these types of locks. I don't know what that is. I've never seen a key like that. Well... It might be before my time. Well, that's good. We're, uh... Losing some weight on the keys there. Hey, maybe you should add that to the auction. Not allowed. Okay, well, let's continue. Master key. For what? For a master lock. Right, for, for what lock? A lock, period. Right, so you don't know what it is, basically. I have a, a bicycle lock. Okay, then say bike lock. Yeah, a bike lock. And then my front door key, which is not to be touched. Okay. What else we got? A lock for the... Um, this lock was for one of my uh, uh, car locks. My um, The hood. The hood. The car cover lock. Do, do you <clears> still <throat> have that? Somewhere and in, in around. What do you mean car this, cover? So not the club? No. This is a master lock. It was I had uh, master locks for a car cover that with a cable that went one. Right, but you don't have it anymore. So why would you have it? I still have it on the. On why don't you the... take it off? Make the less no. the load. No. <laughs> I'll find it. I I know I still got the lock somewhere around. Yeah, but you haven't used it in years. Why would you use it now? Because I still have the lock. <laughs> this is going to be an endless loop, so I'll stop asking. All right, <laughs> moving on. Steering lock. Steering lock Car meaning lock. the club? Yes. Okay. One of them. <laughs> That's for the red one. The red one Is, you have more than one club? I have two clubs. <laughs> but you one use it the, the same truck, time? One for the truck, one for the car. But you don't have the truck anymore, so why would you have that? Well, I still have, I still have the locks. That's all that counts. Makes sense. And then uh, this is the other the other um, club. 
So Okay. What else know. we got? That's all. That's everything? That's everything. So you want to keep all the keys on there? That even yes. even though the ones you don't yes. use? Yes. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. That's the main ring. What is there? A, is there a secondary ring? Yeah, for my car. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh, um, Uncle Puggy is willing to toss an extra fifteen bucks if you could buckle the helmet chin strap, please. If you can buckle that chin strap, it's an easy fifteen. From Uncle Puggy. Very good. Um, you did this. Okay, don't get mad at me, Perry, but I got another Tom's tips here, okay? You know what they are. Tom's tips are uh, sent in by other people, not by. Just because it says Tom's tips doesn't mean Tom is writing them. All right. This is from Casey McCoy. Oh, you'll want to pay attention to this. This is from Casey McCoy, who is the Mammoth Lakes uh, Vice President of Guest Relations. You'll want to hear this. Mr. Caravello, my name is Casey McCoy, and I'm the Vice President of Mammoth Mountain. We have received the information from your primary care physician that, unfortunately, you are not medically cleared to ski or snowboard at our beautiful facilities here at Mammoth. We have forwarded this information to the Icon Pass Network. This will prevent you from entering all facilities in the Icon Network as we cannot accept your patronage, patronage at this time due to the liabilities your current condition brings. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon at Mammoth. That's from Casey McCoy. Okay, that's, I don't even know if that was a Tom's Tips. That was, uh, I probably should have sent that to you privately. Such bullshit. Yeah, but it's for your own good. Such bullshit for my own good. Please. Don't even look for me up. It's gonna be Christmas. Perry, I am upping my offer for you to go to Disneyland on November 14th to $150. A free ticket and Blue Bayou dinner. Turn it down and you're gay. Who, who, first off, who is this person? One. I have no idea, Paris. For it's you know, I've only heard about this on the stream. I I, I don't know who, I don't know who you are. Too. I I'm not gonna just take one fifty and go to Disneyland with. If it if it's for real or not. And do what at Disneyland? I've been there a trillion times. <sighs> Who am I with at Disneyland? By myself? Like at the Great America? I was there with uh, the, the McGuire Wax team. The McGuire Wax company, not, not team, but I mean, when I was... Uh, Detailing card back in the. Hey, if I went to Disneyland, would you come with me? You and who else? Well, I, I don't know, but I really would like to take a Teddy uh, to That's Dis possibility. to Disneyland because he's at the he's totally he's at, at the age. right age, and yeah. you know I know it, sure. and I have I have somebody that can maybe hook me up with a pass. You know, not not to that, that might that might work. Be a cheap skate about it, work. but I could probably have a free passport. That might work. And he would like to go on some things with Uncle Perry. So, but anyway, if this guy's paying you 150, I, I think he uh, go, going about it the wrong way. He probably should contact. Uh, well, you know, probably. well the date is uh, not feasible for me. What's with November 14th? I don't want to. Uh, that's like that's three days before I uh, um. Turn sixty. I mean that 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 week in uh, Turkey Week is uh, kind of booked up. Oh, okay, but that's they're far away from that anyway. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, somebody said in the chat that Disney World is better than Disneyland. I don't doubt that. Even yeah, though I, when I've you're never, in Florida, if you go to Disney World in Florida. I've never been to Disneyland. I've been to Disney World. But the thing about the thing that uh, Orlando does not have is the Universal Studios doesn't have a Mario Land there, whatever they call it, Super Mario World or what, what do they call That's it? That's that. Super Mario, whatever. It's the Nintendo <laughs> World or whatever they call it. They have it at Universal in uh, L.A., in Hollywood, but they don't have it in Universal in Orlando yet. And Teddy is way more into Mario right now than he is into uh, Mickey Mouse. And you bring Mouse. him to Disneyland and Universal Studios. Yes, so I would do both. I so do- so here, here's what you do with your with your little one. You got Disneyland and... and um, uh, that that new adventure is across the street from Disneyland, which is the same park actually. Right. Uh, it's it's two separate parks, but it's the same company, Disneyland and and um, what's the name of that park across the street from Disneyland? I don't. This first I'm hearing of it. I don't know. There, there's there's a, a new there's a new dis there's a new park connected to Disneyland that's across the street from Disneyland. Oh shoot! I just forgot the name of it. You just said um, it. I, I, it. I don't know. Super something. Anyway, whatever it is. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. that's just so it's just me talking. I, so that's like two days. So you got Disneyland that day, the park across the street the next day, then you go to Universal on the third day. Here, when when I was a young kid and my aunt Ida took us all always, took Sammy and I to Disneyland. Knott's Berry Farm, Magic Mountain, uh, all the amusement parks, Universal Studios, like, God, like two or three times a year for about three years. Um, It was, yeah, it was all the amusement parks in Orange County, other than the Wax Museum and uh, Marineland. Um, California Adventures, people are saying, has been there for over 20 years. That's it, California Adventures. So it's not new, it's been there for a while. Well, it's new to me. It's okay. across the street from Disneyland, yeah. All right. All right. Anyway, so that was it. And now my question is, can you do Disneyland? I know you can't do Disney World in one day. Can you do Disneyland in one day? You can do Disneyland in one day. You start it from when they first open at like 8 in the morning, 8, 9 in the morning. And you stay all the way till midnight, 2 in the morning. You can do Disneyland in one day. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not that early of an a riser, especially on uh, vacation. But all right, it's something to consider. Anyway, just just something that came up in conversation, and uh, maybe if we go, you can go and and hang out. Uh, if I can get an extra pass, even not, it's not. How much? How, how much is it to get it? I don't even know how much it's is like. It it's a little over a hundred bucks per person. Really? Okay. For adults, I know. I know Universal isn't that bad because I went to Universal uh, like a year and a half ago and it, it was fine. Like, like I didn't think that was a crazy price, whatever it was. I think all the prices at the amusement park now, uh, uh, since the '90s, has been way too expensive. Well, topic for another day. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I... Can you get a? Let's get another mailbag in while we're wasting time. Uh, Talking about uh, Disney weeds. Somebody says you can pay to skip all the lines, but it's really expensive. Yeah, I know, I've heard. A gay, a gay, the world's biggest gang bang. Jasmine St. Clair. Don't show it if it's got any nudity on it. Yeah, it does. And then don't. Well, it, Perry, it's it's on your lap, so cover it if it's got nudity on it. Thank you. The cover doesn't have nudity. But. Yeah. Baby, sorry we had a little fight at, at your comedy show. Please accept this DVD copy of my 300-plus person gangbang video as an apology. Please watch the whole thing jack off and see if you 
in spite yourself too. Is that oh, the one boy. that you actually uh, were in? I might be. I don't know. Do not know. See if I can spot myself. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing any nudity. I'm, I'm not. not so. I'm not. I'll. I'll. Don't. Uh, I haven't watched the DVD. Don't show the back, it. but uh, yeah, the front doesn't have it. I'm looking at it now. It doesn't have any nudity. But anyway, uh, that was nice of her to send that. Thank you, Jasmine. But oh, by the way, uh, just sometime this weekend, uh, you did accept this. I'm sure you forgot about it, but you accepted the offer on Monday. Uh, the for, what? Uh, for you to watch a little bit of uh, Blue Iris on Patreon. So we'll, we'll, no, we'll... I don't want anything to do with that. Well, you already that, got that. paid for it, Perry. So you're gonna do it this weekend, and you can give a little review, just a running commentary. Thank you. If you can get Disgusting. Another uh, Disgusting. Ali, Ali asked if Teddy's in the Star Wars. No, he's really not. Uh, he's never seen uh, Star Wars the movie. Uh, and it's no, just he'll not... get in the Star Wars as soon as he sees it. Yeah, maybe, but uh, he's not. He's not really. He's not really into it. So that's not going to do anything. Not a for Star him. Wars, Star Trek kind of guy. I'm not into watching missiles and. No, he he was he's into like astronauts and space stuff, and I've tried to get him into watching old Star Trek with me, but he just I think it's a kid thing. They just have radar for anything that's quote unquote old. He immediately hates it. Like this is old. Like even like old cartoons. Like I tried to get him into like. That ain't cool. I, I tried to get him into watching He Man, and uh, he's like, "This is old." Like he just knows. They just know if it's Why? old. He doesn't want it. Anyway, let's get to the other mailbag. Are you serious? Oh, don't show that, Perry. Don't show that. Is that Nate? Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm like confused. Thanks you're for gonna show your gay cruise. Sorry. Yeah, right. Never did. Can you show that again? I will. Can you show that again? Hang on. These fucking morons. Thanks for booking your gay cruise. Well, at least see where the cruise is going Hold on. First before you uh, poo-poo it. Oh, God. Oh, that's nice. Nice for who? Not for me. Hey, a free trip. For where? I don't know. Wherever the cruise is going. I would never go on a gay cruise. What if you didn't have to leave your room? I don't care what kind of trip you're talking. All right. Losers. Baby, did you know that men uh, in Hollywood wear lipstick? No, I can't get my, my loser husband, Colin Jost, to wear any. Well, I, he's, he's right. Do not wear any. Would you do it for me, baby? I will sit on your face and wash it off with my pussy juices from Scarlett Johansson. I'm not wearing lipstick. Do not fuck with me that way. I will not wear lips. Okay. I'm a man made for women, yes, but I'm not a man that wears lipstick like women, okay? My mother was the cosmetic consultant. I'm not putting on cosmetics. Oh, by the way, I just heard from Bob Levy. He said he's up for Disneyland too, so maybe we can make it a group thing. Then I'm not going. Why? Why? Why would you say that? No, because he's going to smoke all around us. Uh, I don't think they allow that there. No smoking. You know, like I said, I haven't been there since 94. 
Yeah, I'm not a snowboarder. I have never completed a single trail on a snowboard without falling 20 plus times. I am the definition of a poser. I am delusional. I have missed decades of des desperately required therapy. Good day. Well, that's that person, not me. I stopped going to therapy because of uh, wasting my time. Explains a lot. Can you uh, spin the wheel? That was for $20. This shit? Yeah. Uh, Carolina Creeper, Creeper Reaper Skipper. That's the red one with the dots. I don't have that one anymore. Yeah, that one is, uh, Might need a refresher on these. This one. Not, not, not this shit. And if I see another uh, package like this again, I'll throw it in the garbage because I don't want this crap in my house ever again. I'll give it to the food bank. I'm sure they could use it. No, no, it goes in the trash. Food bank my ass. By the way, did you open the envelope to that gay cruise? Can we at least see if there's a ticket in there? an empty envelope. Oh, okay. Maybe they email it. That, that's all it was, was. Was this. I don't know. Those guys look like they're having a good time. Bunch of dickheads. Bunch of fucking morons. Uh, that's to piss me off. Thank you for subscribing. Tom, where's the real Perry? This one has to be AI generated because no one is this gay. Gay cat gay. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, Tom, I agree. I spent 300 for Perry's Worthless Grocery Store Participation Award. But in all seriousness, keep up the gay work, Perry. Participation Award? Why would you? I talked to the gay man that grabbed Perry's ass outside the Chinese theater. He has indicated that by the way Perry was dressed, he was asking for it. What in the f Oh, brother. Yeah, like the same person still around. All right, what were you going to say to the, sometimes these uh, tip comments have a mind of their own and they just run together, but uh, CJ Holiday said, uh, I agree. I spend three hundred for Perry's Worthless Grocery Store Participation Award, but in all seriousness, keep up the gay work, Perry. Uh, what were you going to say about that? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to sell my private stuff, my 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 diplomas, my certificates. You're not allowed to sell these things. They're not yours to for sale.
Oh, by the way, Perry, Bob, uh, Bob Levy just confirmed uh, that, okay, over here, I don't know where you're bopping to. Uh, this is from Bob directly. He said that you're going to get the uh, cruise tickets in an email, and he'll go with you. So you and him on the cruise, and it's not until January. I'm not going on a cruise with anybody male. If it's not Gina, I don't go on a cruise. Well, you're just going as friends, and it's a gay cruise, so there's not going to be not there's going, no women allowed. I'm not going on some fucking cruise without Gina. Got it? Over and out. Well, he's going to be very upset. Gina means future wifey poo. Say her name, that means future wifey poo. This is your doctor. Your test results came in. You have higher than normal levels of gay and fat. Please stop oh, snowboarding, God. skiing, and blowing dudes. Shut the fuck up, you fucking flamer. Hey Perry, it is I Tuki your friend to the end. Is it possible that at one point you built lamps? Tuki has a lamp saying made by Perry Caravello. No. Uh, you're all bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. The gay tank top shows off the tattoo that's giving days or tattoo removal Thanksgiving tattoo removal. Sorry! TTR hashtag Go TDR. away! Never gonna happen. This is not gonna move anywhere. It stays for life. Put it on for life. It stays for life. And I'm in the snow when I'm able. Nobody around me, no stupid cameras, no bullshit. I'm in the snow alone. <sighs> Hi, Perry. It's Tukey. Has anyone replied to the Perry Loves Chicks with Dicks advertisement I put out for you? I hope you get what you're looking for. No, I don't like chicks with dicks, fucking moron. Hey, Scaremaster, what is the advantage of cooking your sausage in old sausage grease? Doesn't it create its own grease while it cooks? Duh! I don't cook sausage in an old grease, you blithering moron! These made up lies and stupidity. God. Congrats on the movie, Perry. I know that broke back. Okay. Again, congratulations on the movie, Perry. I know the Brokeback Mountain 2 with you and Randy will be great. There will never be a Brokeback Mountain 2 with me and Randy. And I will never do a movie with a guy named Randy that was at one time my very first casting director. I will never do anything with my very first casting director that stupid son of a bitch.
Perry, when you were a Je Jehovah's Witness, did you go door to door? Yes. Also, it's perfectly fine. Put orange peels in the garbage disposal. Ah, duh. Google it. Of course, I know I put orange peels in the garbage disposal, plus grapefruit peels as well. Straight ahead, Perry. Can't wait for the noob. I'm not interested in this re Brokeback Mountain 2. I'm excited to see Perry's little Perry. <clears throat> I'm not a part of that dumb movie, idiot. Brokeback Mountain 2. Jesus, leave me alone. We'll never start a movie called Brokeback Mountain 2. Now, again, I'm going to read it a second time, and then you remove it. I can't wait to be a part of Brokeback Mountain 2. I'm excited to see Perry's little Perry. Is, is uh, Handy Randy your co-star? I want nothing to do with anything like that film. I would never do a movie called Brokeback Mountain 2. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why are you talking about the snow so much when you can't even snowboard? You can't even bend over. Without falling, you stooge. Also, you might be gay. Because I'm going to be in the snow, stooge. That's why. Gay. Assholes. Wangler. Perry, my dog, died having his ashes sent to your P.O. box. Spread them on the patio. If you can do that, give them to Tony to spread at the beach. You're disgusting. You are absolutely disgusting. And you better not be sending me stuff like that. Stupid asshole. Oh, but you're sorry to hear about his dog, right? That's sad. Yeah, it's it's sad that if if it's for real, I don't believe it. But you know, if it's for real, I'm sorry to hear if your dog passed. But you know, don't be mailing me your dog's uh, ashes and stuff. <sighs> That's just plain sick. I'm getting a splitting headache. Ugh. Kaiser Ugh. prescribes the removal of lies from your arm. Dollar twenty you on November twenty third tattoo removal Thanksgiving tattoo removal hashtag TDR. That right there will get me off the stream. You will never see me in the month of November. You will probably not see me till maybe next year. Okay. There's no tattoo removal ever fucking happening. I'll be in the fucking snow snowboarding. Jackasses. Well, you can stand up. Hey, Smoke Master, we are installing a cigarette machine in the hallway outside of your apartment. Should be installed before Bob gets there. Cigarette. Men holding hands. Cigarette. Men holding Not hands. Allowed. Cigarette. Men Not allowed. Hands. Cigarette. Not allowed. Men holding hands. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. He is not allowed. <sighs> Stupid fucking bullshit. His wife stopped smoking for her health. 
If it's not for her health, it's, it's for all of our health. I want that moron, Bob Levy, <sighs> to stop smoking for his health. God. Or else he's not allowed in my house. This is your doctor. New results are in. Diagnosis is fat and gay. Prognosis is stop eating McDonald's, blowing dudes and move to Florida ASAP. The state of Florida is disgusting. I'll never fucking enter the state of Florida. And you want me to live in fucking Florida? They got a fucking storm going through there right now. All right? I will never go to fucking Florida. Fuck you! You fucking morons! What's the storm going through there now? It's out of curiosity. There's a storm called uh, Terry or Tracy on the on the east side of of Florida. You know, just I'm not saying Perry that you should go to Florida or anything. I'm just saying, like in a place like Tampa. Yeah, you are. You're always trying to. Force I'm, Perry, to I I have not mentioned Florida to you in so long. Not because... on this stream. Okay, my point is maybe two weeks. Okay. My point is, where Garrett lives, it, it, by the way, that's banned. Don't use a lip balm on the air. That's banned. That's illegal in certain countries. Tough. Well, it's not tough, Perry. It's it's an insult to certain I cultures. I've told you that. Okay, well, you can wait till after the stream. I have a problem. Right. right. But there was a period of time where you were reaching for a little too much, so we banned it. Uh where Garrett is in Orlando is kind of central, and you, you don't I get would never you don't get the storm part of stuff Florida. as bad. Okay, two people can't talk at the same time. I'm just saying. Sorry. I'm just saying where Orlando is, it's centrally located, and you're not really on either coast, and you don't get as bad storm damage as you would other places. That, that's what I was saying. If I was ever to go to Florida, it would only to be at the races in in Daytona Beach. That would be it, and then I'd leave. You just go to the races and just go. You wouldn't even stay overnight. Well, oh yeah, of course you're gonna stay overnight. But I mean, I, I'd be there for the races and that's it. Or go to uh, um, the races in Disney World and then leave. Do they have races in Disney World? No, I. It's not the Daytona the the, the Daytona Speed Motor Speedway. Right. That's number one. That would be the first reason why I'd be in Florida. Second reason why I'd go to Florida is to see the Sea World. Other than those two reasons to go to Florida and visit Florida, and yes, I do have family on my mom's side of the family, but my God, if there's still if there's anybody still alive from my mother's mother's side, that's the Corsi side, uh, I have no idea if anybody's still around or alive or anything. Because after my mom and my aunt passed, nobody's been in contact with anybody lately. Right. Any other Other reason is if we do if we do if we do a PCL event or want to like rent a house together, you're gonna go for that. That'll be fun. Um, No, not. No, thank you. No. Yeah, you will. Um, I think for PH one, but I'm not. By the way, I know uh, you got this staunch rule where you don't read any super chats more uh, that are five and under, but. This guy, Joey Vasquez, sent $2, and he just said, Perry, I think you're awesome and an incredible actor. That's a really nice comment. Thank you. Thank you. And I agree. Perry is awesome, and uh, he is a great actor. That's why he gets hired for these roles. Thank you. Yeah, but Perry will be in Florida for a PCL event. Ignore what he says. That's it. PCL and leave. Yeah, Perry, I'm not going to say you're going to stay there, okay? I'm just saying you can go. He's yelling back to Kelly. Yeah. I don't know when that would be, but, yeah. Yeah, You'd be driving by one old folks home after another. Oh, hey. Hey, we ought to drop you off here. We ought to drop you off there. Yeah, Perry, I don't know where you're getting that from because I never said that. You're getting that from people that said that on the stream. But in the past, you guys were talking about doing that shit to me no not you guys there's there were some messages that came in yeah then i lost my mind to you and you you kept trying to cry out to me that you had nothing to do with it 
I don't know what you're talking about. Name me a time where I cried out to you. Well, cried out to me meaning like you're all right now. Just Uh, stop thinking like you're the one that's involved in in what the fans are saying. Trying uh, to force Let let me get to a, um, a Tom's tip that's hot off the presses. This one is from your pal Soviet Goat. And uh, it's very brief. It just says, two Perry facts. Go on. Fact number one. As a young boy, Perry loved playing with the neighborhood dogs. I don't know what he's talking about. His mother caught him multiple times in the backyard with his penis shoved into a pile of dog shit. No. No. So you deny No. Him. No, no, that would never happen with me. You moron. That's a that's a complete lie. All right, this next this next uh, next fact is a, is a bit of a mouthful, so uh, give me some time to get through this. Because it's a complete lie. Well, you don't know yet. You haven't heard it. I don't even know this. I'll wait for your, you know, what you have to say about it. Uh, Perry fact number two. Right before the stream, Perry masturbated his gay penis to a video of a big dicked buff granny blowing the asshole of her stepdad with her throbbing fat cock as she sucked on the high mileage gutter flaps between her grocery professor's thick thighs. Confirm or deny? I don't know what he's talking about. This disgusting 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 psychopathic piece of garbage I want him blocked tired of this negative immoral crap alright Perry uh, here is uh, probably the biggest thing on the stream thus far it's very important and this has Perry if you could pay attention and set up I just said important. I'm listening okay you're listening but I need, I need a visual cue this has what well it's a crowdsource which means that uh, Joey put it together for you and uh, crowdsource yeah, and also this is endorsed by the producer of the film that you might be doing, so you, you really want to do this for them, okay? But it earns you $300, which is very big crowdsource for a Friday. Again, what do they want me to that, do? That doesn't phase you at all, the $300? That would be like, wow, thank you. I don't care of the dollar amount. Yeah, we know. We know, Perry. But $300 you can... is squat when it's not doing See, shit. Perry, this is the kind of stuff that gets people annoyed at you when you when you act like you're so above uh, money. You know, it takes a lot of people uh, a lot of time look, to earn $300 and here you can look, earn it here you can earn it in a second. So you should be a little appreciative that Jim uh, put this together for you. So thank you, Jim, first of all. Well, it all depends on what it is. Thank you, Jim, first of all. Regardless of what it is, it's still $300. All right. All right. Thank you, Jim, regardless of what it is, but let's hear what well, it here's is. what it is. And now let me get the whole thing out before you talk over me or, you know, before whatever. Before I lose my mind and say no? Right, because that would be stupid. This is, there's nothing, and by the way, I'm going to preface this by saying there is nothing bad here. It, you don't have to uh, cake yourself in anything. You don't have to dip your head into anything. You don't have to uh, do anything that endangers anything. This is what I would call fun and informative. Okay, fun and informative. Now, I'm going to give you the prerequisites here. It's $300, number one. It's got the endorsement of this producer uh, who wants to hire you for a major film role. So you really don't want to blow this. Okay? Let's hear it. All right. Perry should prove that the buffer actually works. The buffer that you have in, you know, behind you. That just prove that it works. Okay? Let me get it out before you uh, talk over. Uh... By buffing up your snowboard using the Italian dressing. Now, let me just preface this here. Uh, Then after, you should tape a long sign onto the snowboard that says, quote, never be in the snow and leave it on the snowboard in the corner under the AC until next month, which uh, is Thanksgiving. Okay, now, 
Obviously, you don't have to agree with what the sign says, but you're getting paid three hundred dollars for it. I think this would make a good uh, closer. Now, there's another number sign. one. That is a auto detailing buffer, not a snowboarding buffers buffer. Buffers work on any surface pair. You know that as well as I do. If you're Again, that is for a car. You. Fucking asshole! Okay, you don't have to call me names and curse at me, Perry. I'm, you see the tone I'm using? I'm talking very adult-like and normal to you. Damn. Okay? Uh, buffers are buffers. Uh, they work on any surface. They really do. Even if it's for cars. People use... I watch home improvement stuff all the time. They use car buffers inside, on furniture, on various things. A buffer is a buffer. Blah, 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 okay? Blah, blah, blah. So... I think we're going to go offer accepted on that. That'll be the closer. It'll be fun. And you can do it wherever you want. If you want to do it in the kitchen, we can do it in the kitchen and lay it out in the counter. If you want to do it here, we can do it here. Whatever you want. Okay? But that's offer accepted, and that'll be the closer. And thank you, Jim. And uh, thank you, movie producer. Uh, we're looking forward to see Perry thank in that you. movie. So you agree to that? And thank you, Jim, for the for the funds. I don't agree for it, but I'm going to have to. No, no, I'm not, no, again, I don't want you to ever think that you're being forced to do something because you're not being forced. You're agreeing to this. Being forced. I, I've, never, I've never had to work harder to get money in a guy's pocket uh, than I do <clears> with <throat> you. So. I've never had to uh, do some of this most right. obnoxious. It's our, it's our brand. We're not doing it now. Don't dart away. So we're not doing it now. We're not doing it now. Okay, that'll be the quote unquote closer. Okay, and uh, it would be nice. Can I uh, can I include Jim on that for ten uh, percent of the crowdsource? That's a really nice one for a friend. fine, fine, fine. Thank you, thank you. Jim deserves it. Oh. We at Net Worth have determined you, Perry F. Caravella, to be worth $1.9 million. Where are you hiding this money? This is a real estimate. Money bag. Really? Yeah, where is the, where, where is the money that uh, I'm worth $1.9 million? I might be worth that kind of money, but it doesn't mean that I have that kind of money. I mean, it's a dream come I'd be worth that and more if uh, I marry the the girl of my dreams, but it's all depending on her. So. I don't know what I'm worth now other than a spit in the bucket. Hey, Slob. I deleted all of those disgusting pictures you sent me a few years ago, but they're coming back around. Only a gay would send them, you queer. What the fuck? I don't know who this person is or what they're talking about. I don't send pictures to people that are stupid. You remember that person, Randy? I, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, some time ago I sent stupid pictures some chick. And then I found out that she was a he. Oh, God, was that dumb of me. Remember, you were paid to, uh, for the chin strap, Perry, if you can fasten that. Thank you. Oh, God. My head was scratching, okay? No, I totally get it. I get it. But when you put it back on, it, you just want to fasten that. You heard it snap. Please, don't kill yourself at the snow parry. Thanks. Don't touch that snowboard or skateboard anymore. Do yourself a big favor. For once. Thanks. Go away, loser! It's like, don't get off your ass, you fucking fat slob, and eat some more and become fatter! Like, fuck you!
First thing I want to do is go skateboarding some more. Perry, what is your biggest regret? Is it letting people know what happened in 1992? Or is there something else you regret more? What happened to me in 92, I regret terribly, yes. Uh, thing, uh, I, don't, I don't know right now things that I regret more. I have no, I have no idea. I don't know. Well, take a couple of moments to think about it. And so he's not asking if you regret 92. He's asking if you regret telling people about it, number one. Or I definitely something. regret. I definitely regret opening my mouth and telling that fat slob about what happened to me in 92. Okay, we don't have to get definitely insulting. Regret. I'm just saying. And you know who I mean when I say that fat slob. Yes, I do. But, but. is there another regret that, that is in that league or is that the answer? That's the answer. Perry. I need some advice. I bought a ski lift pass, but the dome light in my car isn't working. How am I still supposed to go snowboarding? Men holding hands, men holding hands. Got a flashlight? You have a problem? Do it, you, do it your way. I, I, I do things my way, you do things your way. Don't worry about my dome light in my car. Dome light in your car it should have nothing to do with you going snow skiing or snowboarding, depending on which one you prefer. Hey, like do, me favor, you, uh, do me a favor. I don't want to interrupt you because I want you to keep talking. But can you take the reins for a minute? I just got to. Uh, I just got to grab something real quick, and I'm going to come back. But uh, so okay. you're going to be by yourself for like a minute, two tops. Thank you. If you like to snow ski. You know, do what you want and, uh, you know, buy the, I, my suggestion, what I prefer to do is to pre-order uh, um, things before I go places. Sometimes, like I did in my past, I would pay right on the spot when I get there. So, um, and when I used to go snow skiing in my past was I would get there bright and early in the morning all the time and, and be like one of the first people in line to ski the, the first three quarters of the day. So I'd start at like eight, nine in the morning. They would open up at nine, of course. They'd actually open up at eight for you to prep your stuff. And then, then you're on the mountain at nine. Nine to like three, four, maybe six at night. There was like maybe I can maybe count like three to five times I was on the mountain till six at night. Um, mostly I'd leave around three or four. Um, and then driving home would be a pain in the ass because of all the people behind me. Um, just be very, 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 very careful and. Always take precautions before you do anything. Before you go on the mountain, take all your precautions and prepare, prepare, prepare. One of my newest preparations is a is a helmet on my head, which I never used to wear when I skied. But snowboarding is a little bit more dangerous than just snow skiing, so uh, I, I wear a helmet. And now, as a, if I go to snow ski again. I'll have the helmet on too for snow skiing because uh, the mountain, the mountain is, uh, is not a fun place at times and it can get uh, pretty scary. So 
And this helmet's for both snow skiing, snowboarding, and even skateboarding. So. Oh, my head is. I have this major headache right now. Sorry, folks, for saying that. So, um, yeah, um, when you go to do anything, whether you're going snow skiing or snowboarding, always, always, always prepare. If you're not going to buy your tickets ahead of time, prepare for your trip, you know. Make sure you have the, enough gas in your car. If you're going to stay for the day, have enough money for food while you're up in the mountain so you can get a bite to eat while you're up in the mountain or on your way home from the mountain. Um, you know, uh, be just be prepared. Be extra prepared. If you sometimes need a change of clothes due to uh, what happened to you while you're in the mountain, bring a change of clothes as well. Always be prepared. Okay, always, always, always. Not, it's not, you know, just go to the mountain, ski, and go home. Sometimes uh, things happen. So always have a, always be prepared for uh, possibly being overnight. It's great just advice, Barry. Is, it, is this, what have you been doing the past couple of minutes? I'm talking about preparation. Good. Okay, I forgot where we were. Were we doing something? I I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't either. I thought we were. I thought like I was in just about to say. Okay, we you accepted the crowdsource. I'll tell you what. Why don't Why don't you open another mail? You got a big box laying around. No, not anymore. All right, you cleared all we're those big boxes. boxes. How much mail do you have in general overall? Are we running low on I've mail. I've got I've got like four packages over there, and I've got the rest that's in here. Okay, why don't you get a new, why don't you get one from the, the new one? One from over yeah, there? Yeah, one small thing. Somebody oh, okay. says, Tom B, shut up and let him talk. Well, I was letting him talk for like two minutes. So, if you want him to go on, he can. Wow, they're breaking out the uh, holiday stuff already, huh? It's crazy. My God, my old friend Steel Panther. Well, Wait, read the note first. Host host their concerts at uh, Paladinos all the time. Hold on, let's fix this and open the note. Cedar Bureau of Toilets is the address. Okay, Perry Francis Carviello. Cedar Bureau of Toilets has interrupted communications that you will soon be moved to a slow adult homosexual men's nursing home in the state of Florida by the name of Gay Accesses. I don't want to read it anymore. It has been an honor to serve... As, as monitor of your illegal toilet activities at VLP, we are providing these items as a parting gift since we know what a great talent and cook you are. The RBT wishes you well on your adventures 
at your new gay residence. Sincerely, employees of the RBT. P.S. You suck, Dirk. Because you're an asshole. Fucking shag off. Thank you for coming, Steel Panther. These guys are old. Those guys were old, old friends. Oh, brother. I don't use any of this. I don't use any of this. This is Randy's rub. You see that where, where it says Randy? Right, right there. Randy's rub on the top in the middle. Spirit sparkling. And I'll never use that. That's trash. Jerk sauce. I'll never use this. That goes in the trash. Well, why don't you give it to the food bank, Perry? Again, these are things. These no. Are th Excuse no, it's me. It's disgusting. No, Perry, they're regular. Just because you don't like the name of them, they're regular seasoning. You can take them out of the garbage and you're going to bring them to the food bank. They've just got funny yeah, names. Yeah. Okay, okay, later. Later. Well, take them out of the garbage now so you don't forget. Shito, S H I T O. Mild spicy. The fuck? I never heard of this crap before. Oh, God. Whatever. Yeah, food bank he goes. With this piece of crap. Another thing that goes in the trash. Don't, say, don't throw it in the trash, bro. You saw what the other one's going for. Why would you throw it away? Ah. Are you that stupid? Yes. Yeah, well, okay, thank you for admitting that, but put that to the side. Yes. Why that stupid? Please. All right, one more mailbag, please. One more? From the chair. What the? Is there a note with that? No. 
That's all it is. I don't even know what it is. Looks like fake pickles. Can you open it? Wax pickles or something? Yeah, it's wax. Stupid. Is it a candle? It's just wax. Huh, okay. There's no There's note with no, that at all? No candle wick on it. There's not a candle wick on it or nothing. All right, we can't end with that. Let's, like... let's, let's get one more. That you can throw away. Stupid shit. Well, 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 well. Baby! I saw that you were looking for Halloween costumes. I wore one of these cute and lovable bibs. Oh, Jesus. Last year, and you should wear it... Wear, Wear it this year. By the way, I do love slurping hot, greasy Italian cum, so bring it. From Selma Hayek. Oh, brother. Why does she have to go down that road? Why, 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 why? Let's see what she's got here. I guess I'm a big baby, huh? Yeah, another blowjob, babe. Fucking idiots. Selma! Selma, darling, look. I love and care for you and about you, but another one of these obnoxious things, please. Just Be a put, lady. Just put it to the side. Respect. Thank you. Respect. Respect. Uh, I'm tired of being like 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 I'm an elementary school brat. All right. Respect. Oh God. Maybe the bib is meant for her. Did you ever think that? Yeah. Sure. I'll give it to Gina when she gets here. Ouch! I didn't, uh, Gina, honey, I didn't mean to hurt you, that uh, insult you that way. Who oh, I want to use it? Oh boy! I'm still having, yep, I'm still having problems. Fuck. What's going on? No explanation point on the messages. Yeah, I know. I, we'll, we'll work on that later. We, can we get me over there or no? Right, per, again, this is a situation where Perry's worried about his phone. So he would rather end the stream that makes him money than, uh, <laughs> you see how it goes here? Yeah, so I can uh, come home and make more money on the next stream. Right, no, but finish this one first and then we'll get to whatever else is going on. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're disgusting. You live in filth, with bad bugs and thousands of mice you gross pig. No girl would ever come there. So clearly a homosexual slob. No, I am not that way, you skanky son of a whoever you are. No girl will ever come here. No, 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 no.
I don't live like that. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Fact. Perry has been forever banned from his hometown of Milwaukee since 1979 after sexually assaulting the Fonz on the set of Happy Days. IEDS. Oh man, what a lie that is. Mr. Caravello, which was easier to pull, your staged accident in fake coma. Or, your murder of Cricket. Or, Randy Callahan's trouser snake. First off, Randy Callahan did not have a trouser snake. He had a, he had a, a teeny weeny. Okay. Uh, second off, I don't even remember what that stupid message said. And no, I didn't hurt my dog. My dog was laid down and put to sleep. I was seven years old. Okay. By the way, Perry, just got an update from uh, Bob Levy. This guy, I tell you what, man, uh, he's a real go-getter because he took care of this for you already. Uh, straight ahead, Perry. I don't know why you're looking down. He just picked up the tickets. What tickets? What, is he going, going snowboarding with us? For the gay cruise, for the gay cruise, for you and Bob. I'm not going on a gay cruise. I would never go on a gay cruise. Are you crazy? Sick psychopathic fuck. I thought that was really nice of him to take care of it so fast. I'm not interested in going on a cruise, especially a gay cruise. Especially a gay cruise. I don't have a passport to go on a cruise, so I can't go on a cruise. So I don't leave the country. Na 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 na. na. A seance on Halloween to contact all the people and animals he has killed over the years. They will prove he is a killer, dagger, dog, cat, men holding hands. I haven't hurt anybody. Perry, can you pick up the energy, please? It's hard for me to hear you whisper. There's no energy because I'm wiped no, no, out. I know. I'm well, Perry, I don't, I don't want to hear how wiped out you are. Again, this is your job. Ugh. So I want you to pick it up. Until you, you were great for a while, but I need you to pick it up for the remaining uh, portion of the stream. Thank you. Okay? So the whispery thing doesn't work. Well, I'm trying not to, okay? I don't have much of a voice anymore. Yes, you do. We all know that isn't true. Just sit up. Okay, go fuck yourself. Hey, Matt C. and Denko, you can't come over to Perry's. If you do, you gotta pass Perry's homosexual gang, and Beezlebub is already here chilling. You're not allowed here. Period. Period. You're not allowed here. Hey, Scaremaster. I don't think you should use old sausage grease to cook with. Why do you do that? There are better and safer alternatives. I don't, moron. <clears throat> I don't cook with old sausage grease, you stooge. That's what Tom says, and that's what Tom thinks. Fucking idiots. Because Tom doesn't know how to cook, and neither do you, you retard. Excuse me, I said the R word. Whoops. You guys keep putting me in the R word zone. <sighs> Perry, helping his cousin move, I, I call bullshit he has. He had a men's only party in Club 102, where his man made for men. Wrong, moron. I was helping. My cousin, move. Very important thing to do. He needed me, and I was there. It 
There's no club in this apartment, okay? Till I'm here with my girl. I don't spell my name with an I, P, A, or an A, or an I. Perry, P, A, I, R, Y. Sorry, dude. Or not to spell my name, it's P, E, W, R, Y. Dumbass. You'll sit on your ass the entire fall, winter, like you've been told. <clears throat> Doctor's orders, remove tattoo, no border. 1992. <clears throat> Two punk kids holding hands, a stupid cigarette, and a fucking rainbow. Sorry, all not allowed. I will be in the snow. That's all. I'll be in the snow. I'm not listening to your childish jibber jabber. I am in the snow. <clears throat> Perry with an I, like chicks like to write their names, Perry. Don't be concerned when people point and share and, and stare at your, uh, wait. Don't be concerned when people point and stare at you in public. It's just lesbians pointing out the type of camel toe they, they want. Spooches. Oh, my God. What, because I wear uh, tight clothes? So I'm getting fatter, you frickin' slobs. Oh, God. Eat a spicy bean and tell us, did you truly bother not only Whitney Cummings, baby, but also Chrissy Mars as well? Rumors are swirling and child support looming. <laughs> How will a no border afford it all? Hail Satan 66 PS, you gay. Uh, no, 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 I don't hail Satan, and I don't like the number 666, and I'll never be gay other than happy. Okay, but you will, spin, but you will spin the wheel for a spicy bean. You, you fucking lying, evil, sick moron. Yeah, this this is almost empty. So I'm gonna he did say spicy, Perry, so just pick, I'll tell you what, just pick... How about how about we do this going Still forward? it's empty, because okay, it's almost empty. Again, if you'd stop but talking over me, if you'd stop talking over me, you'd hear what I'm going to say. Take the lid off and close your eyes and just pick a random one. That's how we'll do the spicy until you run out, okay? Close your eyes, pick a random one, and just down the hatch. Whoa. Okay. Perry, in the Windy City Heat commentary, you brag about blowing Randy and you don't care how many people knew it and seemed happy about it. Why are you mad? I never blew a guy named Randy. I never gave a man a blow job. Never, ever, ever did I ever give a man a blow job. Disgusting fucking animals. P. 
care you are not going to be in the snow. You are a man made for pleasuring men. You are not allowed in the snow. You will never be in the snow again. Wrong! When I go, I will take a picture of where I'm going or where I went. And that is it. If I'm in the snow, I'll maybe take... If I... When I go, I will take a picture of where I went. One, when I get there. Then I will take a picture of the top of the mountain while I'm there. That is all I'm taking. No video. Just picture. Video only when I get good at what I'm trying to learn how to do. Otherwise, I just ski the fucking mountain. That I know I can do. Perry, now that your Thanksgiving weekend is freed up because you are not allowed in the snow, maybe we can get together and smoke a carton of cigar eats. That'll never happen. Dumbass. Not allowed. Jesus Christ. Perry, you are not allowed in the snow. You are allowed to smoke cigarettes, drinks, bright and pleasure. I'm not allowed to smoke Denny's cigarettes. Bathroom. I will never smoke all. cigarettes. And that shit Sprite. What's Since you're not going to be in the snow anymore, please chop the snowboard up and put it through the garbage disposal in your kitchen sink. LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
as possible, and the car just barely touched his car. Okay? And yeah, I'll, I'll admit that was a stupid crash. My other stupidity was not turning around looking that I am backing up and I'm backing into somebody as he stops to go dump the trash. So uh, I was really dumb on that on that move. It's like, wake up. When you get in your car, be awake, 100% awake, not 50% awake. This is the California Ski Patrol. We have received the note from your doctor saying you cannot be in the snow this season. You will be trespassed. You will be trespassed? Okay. See you up there, guys. Mr. Carmelo, we have heard your prayers and will gladly accept you into our local satanic church. All hail he who will bring us to salvation. No, you are Satan. not. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. Sorry. The church that I go to is up in Porter Ranch, so. It's Buff Granny. I know your Halloween pool party is dudes only, but I'm coming. I'm tougher than any of them. And if Gina shows, I'll choke her out. Old woman, flex bicep. I have no clue who these morons are. Buff Granny. You that weirdo on the internet on that porn page? Buff Granny? Ugh. Hi, Barry. It's Tukey. Ray DeVito's dumb cum brought me to life. I think you might be off balance because you still got Randy's cum in your ear. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you, you knucklehead. Get off my stream. And, and, and show me some respect, you sick bastard. Hey, this is apartment 101. Can you please stop screaming about giving some dude a blowjob? I just started a new job and sleep during the day. Hashtag quiet. Sorry about that, sir. Friday mornings are the only mornings you will hear me yelling, okay? I work on Friday mornings from 9 a.m. till about 1, sometimes 2 in the afternoon. The latest three on a Friday, okay? There's where the yelling is on Friday. Monday, it's from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. You'll hear yelling at those hours on Monday. Other than that, you won't hear me yelling, okay? Thank Except you. this coming Wednesday for Weather Matters, but hopefully you keep it to weather. And There's no weather. yelling for Weather Matters either. Oh, well, hopefully not. Weather Matters is not a yelling stream. Explain to the folks at home who may uh, not know what Weather Matters, what me Weather Matters is. Weather Matters is is what matters in the weather, and uh, it's basically a weather report of uh, L.A. weather and uh, the surf report, the snow report, when the snow comes down, um, and, and the best places to go snow skiing or snowboarding, as well as the best places to go surfing and boogie boarding. Um, in, in, on the West coast, um, places that I used to like to go to, uh, Newport, the wedge, um, Huntington pier, you know, up the coast over here to Malibu beach, the uh, county line, you know, Zuma beach, those, those, those beaches. Um, that, that, that's my weather matters. And you dress up for it, right? You're going to wear a suit for that? Maybe. Well, that's kind of what you've done in the past. 
Oh, then I dress up for it. Like like a weatherman. Like a weatherman. So Perry is very uh, passionate about the weather. He takes it very seriously. I, I take my job seriously as, as, as uh, an entertainer. I will say he takes weather matters seriously more than uh, regular PCL, that's for sure. Not sure why. I'm not a weatherman. I'm not Dallas Rains or Johnny Johnny uh, Mountain or, or or those guys. I'm not those guys from ABC. Uh, but they do a great job at their at their job. And uh, uh, you know what my favorite part of Weather Matters is? Uh oh. <laughs> well, why do you say uh oh? I don't. I, I never know what to hear what's coming out of your mouth anymore. You know what? Same. Same, same. I I feel the same way about you. Uh, we have that in common. No, I was going to say, I like it when you stare at the TV uh, of the Weather Channel uh, for like minutes at a stretch and don't acknowledge the fact this that one, you're on the air. So I'm looking over there while while you're over here? Well, I'm not on Weather Matters. That's another thing. It's all no, you. No, no, no. Oh, oh, so I'm looking over here at the Weather Channel while you got... <laughs> it's like you do this thing where you're like... Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are they saying here? And then you'll just turn up the volume and you'll stare yeah. at the uh, at the TV. The TV. Not really. <laughs> it's kind of endearing, but no, I'm not. I'm not. We don't do the, the regular PCL stuff. I mean, we do run tip comments. I'll put up super chats and stuff, but uh, I personally don't go on Mike. Who's on my? Who's who's at my door, please? And uh, there's no offers or Tom's tips or anything like that. I will check right now, Perry, since you asked. Thank you. So kindly. Uh, it's a delivery man, very nice. So just get it and bring it in. You don't have to <clears throat> get mad at him. Okay. I am not taking a bite out of a goddamn thing. Let me go pee first, then I'll be back. Are you taking a sneaky pee? All right, sneaky pee. You got it, baby. <laughs> At least you, I like when you own it instead of finding it. Ah! But that feels good. Ooh. Now, keep in mind, like, Perry's microphone is on his desk. I know it's just like, it's like a, it's not like a studio mic or anything. It's just a USB mic, but it picks up. <laughs> it picks up all the way in the bathroom over there. Like, I could turn this camera on and you could probably hear him bat. Sorry, this mic uh, on here. But uh, that's a good mic for our needs, at least. How'd that feel? How was that pee? Nice and concrete! Donald's. I don't know where this guy's from. Why are they sending me tampons? I'm a man! You fucking bitches! I'm a man! These all go in the fucking trash! You fucking bitches! And I'm not drinking a goddamn sip of Sprite! You fucking bitches! Sprite! That goes in the garbage, too. God damn it. Now. By the way, Perry, the Sprite you can bring to a food bank. Garbage. No, no, excuse me. You're going to bring it to a food bank, okay? And the tampons you can bring to, like, I don't know, a woman's crisis center or something like that. Or I'll something. wait till, uh, um, yeah. Right, just... Keep that stuff on the side, okay? No more wasting things that other people could use that are in a less fortunate position than you are. Oh, 
Right. What are we in doing meditation. down there? What are we doing down there? Putting putting the crap in a okay. in the bag. Let's get to this bag first. Put the McDonald's bag on the floor, and then we'll get to this first. Thank you. Uh, I got places to be. No, I don't want to. You got nowhere see. to be, Perry. You got nowhere to be. Okay. I don't want to hear oh, really? about. Yeah, really. And this does not work anymore. Yeah. Right. We'll take care of that later, Perry. What's more important now is your job. You have nowhere to be but right here. Baking soda? Why are people sending me baking soda? Somebody did say you'd be getting baking soda. I am soda. not spreading baking soda all around my home to vacuum it up. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. Okay. Well, you can donate this too then if you don't use it. No, I'll, I'll, I could use this in my refrigerator. Okay. There you go. And cabinets and stuff. Yeah. There you go. All right, now we can get to the McDonald's bag. Let me put this in the damn table. I knew you were going to dart. You just can't put it to the side, right? You got to just, at any point, you guys got to run away from That's your own stream. That's dart, okay? Yeah, I know, it's not Thank good. You. And this is more crap I do not want. Oh, McDonald's, and I'm not going to eat a goddamn piece of it. All right, let's see what it is, Perry. Is it that exhausting to open a bag? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. One. Two. Three. Disgusting. Gross, cr garbage, fish, sandwiches, I hate. Okay. I will not eat, will not take a bite, and don't want. Let's say, hey, so, now, excuse me, you got to show it, Perry, so open it up. So, filet of fish, trash. Oh, oh, no, no, it's not trash. We didn't see it, Perry, and you're not flashing it. God damn you, trash! Open the, open the top. Open the top. God hey, damn. there's no pickles on there. You can take a bite. What? There's no, there's no pickles in there. You can take a bite. There's no reason. I care. It's a fucking fish sandwich from McDonald's. It's trash. Okay, fake voice. You're gonna take a bite, Perry. You're gonna take a. I'm not eating it. It's trash. Fuck you. Amazing you have all the energy in the world for your fake voice. You're going to take a bite. There's no pickles on any of these. You're going to take one bite and stop being a prick. Thank you. Thank you. Q respected. Hey, brother, can you at least thank the person for not adding pickles and, and mustard to it? That's nice. Thank you for no pickles or mustard, but they're all cold, and I am... They, they were made, like, an hour ago. Okay, well, still. Okay, well... Still nice. I would murder a fish fillet right now. Yeah. God, I hate this. I actually had nope. one the other night uh, during Is the stream. Shot it? No, but there's got to be a fish fillet. All right, Perry. All right. Are you done with your... Uh, Baboonery Baboon. for the moment. I'm, I'm ripped. I'm ripped. Um, why don't we do one more mailbag to close out mailbag, and then uh, we'll get through the rest of the stuff and uh, transition to the closer. These Friday streams are going a little long, aren't they? Nothing more said. Yeah, it's a tough job. Well, look at this. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This looks like something I haven't heard from this person in ages. 
Okay, you're gonna Dear let us. You're gonna let us in on it. Go ahead. Dear Penis Caravello, young lady that I haven't talked to in ages, you were recently observed on stream eating Skittles from our main competitor, Japan. This is unacceptable. We have now sent you Skittles from China. If you say trash and refuse to eat them, we will send every Kung Fu master to your apartment to beat you senseless. The following items will be in, in, inserted into your ass after the beating has happened. Number one, egg rolls. Number two, double, double ended, double ended ribbed nunchucks. Number three, statue of a cat with waving paw. General TSO will personally oversee the the operation and ensure that your chicken is choked. So shut the fuck up and eat the Skittles, China. Right, you don't want to mess with General Cho. Let's see how that looks. Is it any different? Does it got a different font on it or something? It's it's. Can you show it's it? It's actually a package. I'm gonna set this in the corner. That's pretty cool. Okay, can you at least try one, please? They came all the way from China. No, no, no. This package does not even get open. Oh, this it's package a... goes that package. So it's collector. Okay. It's collectors. It's a collector, exactly. All right, th fair enough. This package is the collector, like, like that package. These two uh, Asian packages are are definite collectors' items. Okay, so there's this collector, and then there's this collector. Okay. But they you open the you open the other collector. I opened this one because you forced me to, so... Okay, I don't remember that, but I'll take your word on it. Yeah, you forced me. You always force me. Eat Skittles. Uh, here's a Please. legit offer, Perry. You ready for this? Now, China's letter is going in the trash. Yeah, no. Be smart. China's letter doesn't go in the trash. It'll go underneath the hat over here. Yeah, well, it goes in the trash. What what is your legit offer? Well, it's not from me. It's from somebody. Uh, a wall is their name, and it's a twenty five dollar no. offer slash challenge. What now? It's the challenge is if you could eat one of those fillet of fish in three bites, and if you could do it, you get twenty five bucks, Perry. That's a lot of money for. No a, way! Right, I am not. Eating that shit again! I am done eating like a fucking slob! We're done! End the stream, please. No, I'm end not the ending stream. the stream. I'm not ending the ending stream. The, end the fucking stream right? turn the computer off again. Well, then you're going to lose more files, Perry, and you'll never get them yeah. back. And you'll, never, and you'll yeah. never get them back. And don't threaten me, Perry. Okay? Otherwise, that movie doesn't happen. So put... I don't know what you're doing with the death stuff. Put the hat back. Put everything back. And stop acting like a child. This... Fucking moronic garbage. Okay, stop with your uh, filthy mouth and put the stuff back. I don't wait. Whatever death stuff you're doing right now, I don't know. It's, this came out of nowhere. Just put everything back. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Put it all back. And do not threaten. Hey, Barry, look at the camera. Do not threaten me or this stream again. Do you understand? There's better ways to say no. No, it's not. I'm not laughing, Perry. Don't threaten me or the stream again. Now, if you don't want to make an easy 25 bucks by eating a stupid sandwich, no, that's your idiocy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm wiped the fuck no, out. You're, you're, done. you're not wiped out, Perry. You've been sitting in your chair for a few hours as you do your weekly job. Don't give me the finger, Perry. Stop with your nonsense. Oh, by the way, here's another uh, Tom's tip. This one is from your friend, Straight Ahead, Perry. This one is from your friend. Perry, put the keyboard back where it was. Put the keyboard back where it was. We're, not, we're nowhere near done. Yeah, and pay attention straight ahead, like I said. This one is from our friend Lou Sasshole. On September 22nd, I bet you 
$300 that you would not be in the snow five times between Thanksgiving and March 1st. That's true. I remember that. You did uh, bet this guy $300. Well, bitch, boy, I'll be in the snow five well, times between Thanksgiving he's not and, done. and New Year's. He's not done. Since the doctor says you can't go due to being menopausal, I am willing to go easy on you. You would be required to pay your debt. And so instead of paying $300, uh, you would pay your debt with three pickles and mustard stunts. The first stream in March. I will let you out of this contractual obligation if you wear a special outfit that I send you on Monday soon. You have no. to choose now. Not no. after you see the outfit. Okay, so this is very simple. He wants to just send you a card. No, no, Excuse no, no, me. No, no. Time, no, no. You time out. Okay. You time out first. I am disobeying the doctor and being in the snow. No, you're not. Then, uh, then Perry. Then you're comp you're more of an idiot than anybody in the planet ever gave you credit for. But listen to me. This is very serious here. Uh, he's letting you out of this bet that you're probably going to lose for three hundred dollars. All you have to do is accept this costume that he's going to send you. Uh, but you got to accept it now. He's going. You have to wear it on a stream. Okay. So it's basically a th like what's like the costume. I don't know. He didn't say. Okay. Now, obviously, if it's something like crazy vulgar or whatever, you're, you you know, you can't wear it. But uh, outside of that, you can. So he's letting you out of this. Very easy. So why don't you just say yes? I'm in the snow. Okay. No I'm going to say, I'm gonna say to Perry is too much of a dingling to understand. I, but I'm gonna, I am in the fucking snow. I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, yes. Because, uh, you can accept that all you want, but I'm still in the snow. Not unless the doctor says you can. So, I don't yeah. give a rat's ass what the doctor says anymore. Yeah, I, I, know. I am in the snow. No, you're not. If not I unless... die in the snow, I die in the snow. Okay. That's all. You got to understand, uh, people. Even, are... even my cousin Sam said, what if you get hurt? He never used to talk to me like that. What if you get hurt? And I looked at him like, I get hurt. I says you and I, pfft. you and I went snowboard, snow skiing. The second time I was on skis, did I fucking get hurt? Yes, right. I fell more than I was right. on my skis. Right. I anyway, said. Anyway, Perry, listen. We all know what a dingbat you are, but uh, you couldn't even stand on one foot for ten seconds without falling down earlier on this very stream. So if you think in your right mind. That you are in a physical place where you can go snowboarding, okay? Do I think in the right mind I'm in a physical place to do anything? Yeah, you can do certain things. I'm in the right mind. There are to certain do anything, things you can do. A... There are certain things you can do, not extreme things like that, and your doctor uh, knows it. And the things that you could do I am thirty. I'm an extreme nut. Yes. Uh, and I'm the things that you could do slut. easily, hey, Perry. Oh, two people, hey Perry. Now. Two people can't talk at the same time. I know you got a lot of buffoonery to get out, but two people can't talk at the same time. Uh, and the things that easily comes to you 30 years ago does not apply today. So anyway, people at home realize the dingbat things Perry says on the stream and uh, the things that he comes to fruition later are two different things. Okay, so he's trying to flex and show that he's. You know, spitefully going to say that he's going to do this and that. I wouldn't take it too seriously. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. All right. Um, the offer now from $25 has now gone up to $50, courtesy of TMBO. If you can do a, if you can eat the entire fish fillet in two bites, you get $50. I am not to do it. Fuck you. Okay. So you're turning it down. God damn it. Okay. Perry, you know, there's. I, I know you're an adult child, but you know there's easier ways to say no, right? Without screaming like there's a... There's people out there that, want, that are hungry, I know, and they're, that are dying... It's not what I was going to say. Not what I was going to say. I was going to say there's easier ways to say no rather than screaming like a child. So you're turning down $50 for eating a fish fillet. And by the way, even if you didn't attempt it, I would have to guarantee you uh, some money. But okay, we're going to move on from that. And I'm going to get to... Another Tom's tip. This one is from our friend Matt C. Okay, you ready? Now what? Now what? Uh, from Matt C. And he says, Perry snowboard facts. And there are one, two, three, four, five, four facts. Okay. 
Fact number one, Perry has choked Tony Hawk more times than he successfully snowboarded. That's true. You've choked, choked Tony uh, quite a bit. That's true. So? Fact number two, Perry Isn't has killed... Isn't that the real Tony? Perry, <laughs> Perry has killed more animals and friends than times he successfully snowboarded. That's a lie. Well, it's subjective. Uh, fact number three, Perry has eaten more fish fillets, filet o fish then I can't he's, stand it. Then he's successful. Well, you've had more fillet of fish than you've successfully snowboarded is the point, and that's another fact. So that what? Is, that's true. So what? Well, he's so just pointing it out. Freaking he's, what? He's pointing it out. That's all. And the final fact, Perry has made more men ejaculate than times he successfully snowboarded. Also true. Yay! Doesn't matter. I don't want that remark on my stream. Well, whether you want it or not, oh. it's also true. These records will never be broken since Perry is selling all of his snow stuff from Matt C., well, thank you. Thank you. No, Matt. thank you. You are a liar. All my snow stuff is my snow stuff, and I'll be using it in the snow. Okay. All right. Let's get to Not some more to uh, super chats, please. God damn. Oh, fuck. Perry, P E R R I. That's a chick's way of spelling the name Perry. Ferrer, Fran, Fears, Sag, Morale is low. Oh, brother. Now, now I got to read the rest of this shit. Young actors need teaching. Immediately report to the Sag offices to conduct a class on how to fake accidents and fake being in a coma. Oh, so, so you're, you're going to tell me that I faked what happened to me from December 6th till Christmas Day when I woke up? You fucking moron. Huh? Huh? And then I faked the hospital stay from Christmas Day till February 23rd. You despicable, lying, motherfucking moron. Huh? Jesus Christ. I'm not teaching you anything, okay? Out loud, Perry. What I teach you is how to leave this stream because I'm dis just disgusted by you morons. Perry, P E W R I, like a chick spells her name, kindly teaches how to do the gay boy shuffle. I'm happy I'm not a homosexual. Get it through your fucking skulls. Stop calling me gay, bitches. Show us how much old slimy sausage grease. Is in the jar you use, I know, use sausage grease for cooking, you moronic retard. You mother fucking retard. What did I tell you about Reese, that word? Hey, Perry, stop slamming the desk. That's it, you fucking retard. Hey, Perry, what have I told you about that word? I don't fucking care anymore, because I'm not the fucking retard. You motherfucker, I'm done. No, you're I'm not. Done. Then you don't get paid, and you don't get that movie. What? Yeah. So a $5 super chat is going to make you quit this time? Let's go, Perry. Let's go. Back to the I'm chair. Stop fucking with me. And I won't help you fix your phone either. I'm not effing with you at all, Perry. You're doing your job. Stop being a ding -a and I want to ask you not to say, no, put that back on or you have to give back the money. Put that back on right now. Damn right it. now. And get that back on your head and sit in your chair. No one wants to put up with your nonsense. Bullshit. Yeah, it is. Stupid fucking bullshit. Yeah, no, Perry, it is. It is. Yes, that's how you get paid. And Perry, I, I ask you very, very little. I want, that's one of the words I ask you not to say. So don't be defiant about it when I ask you not to say it, okay? Thank you. Get that on your, uh, now get your retard helmet back on, please. All these fucking flakes. Ugh. Is that dandruff? No, it's fucking dust. <laughs> well, there you go. Sitting on the, uh, All right, come on. I've got to get over to um, Apple. Uh, yeah, Perry, you're not going anywhere 
unless I arrange it, and which I won't do if you keep quitting, okay? And don't think fixing your phone is more important than this right now, which is your stream. No, it's not. Okay, so good. I'm glad we're on the same page with that. Thank you. Hi, Perry. Demoralizing fans turn Tuki Soup into a racist stream, just like they turn PCL Satanic. Any advice? Fans say I should see Kyle, who's that? I have no idea who you're talking about. <clears throat> Kyle Richards. the last Kyle that I know of. I had a friend when I was a child named It's Stacy Peralta. People saying I have a nasty vagina. Can you let everyone know I have a nice pussy because I'm a clean girl? Long live Palestine, Rainbow. God. This, the real Stacy Peralta is a guy. Your manager, Amy. Has been calling me telling me you aren't interested Amy anymore. Amy is not. What the hell? Stop toying with my emotions. Gina, if this is the real Gina, Amy is not involved in my life in any way, shape, or form. She's my brother's wife. She's trying to fucking rob me and say she's involved in my life, saying she's got something to do with me legally. Manager, she's a crook. Do not take. I do not accept her phone calls. Do not take anything from that disgusting psychopath. Stay, stay as far away from that skank as possible. God damn it. No, no Gina's not going to be a part of my life. More bullshit. Uh Hi, Perry. Thank you for showing Chuki all your keys. I've got corn of 3D printing them right now. We'll visit you late tonight. Yeah, yeah. In see? Session. See? See, I was afraid of that bullshit. Afraid of that bullshit, you fucking loser. Break into my home, break into anything of mine. Ooh, motherfucker. Thank you for subscribing. Hi, Perry. It's Tukey. Has anyone replied to the Perry Loves Chicks with Dicks advertisement I put out for you? I hope you're you get what you're looking for. You're all full of shit. You know, uh, I'm disgusted by this gross, gross, gross stream. I want to be done, please. No. Nope. You're not going to be done until it's done, Perry. So grow up, realize what you do for a living, and let's finish this up. Sit up. I am. I'm. I'm fucking done. Hey, Perry. I'm you're, fucking. You're done. not effing done, Perry. And if you want to blow your movie deal, like you've blown everything else in your life, go right ahead. But I work hard, and uh, Jim works hard, and Garrett works hard, and uh, we're tired of your buffoonery. So pay attention, please. Let's get through it together. Thank you. God damn. I'm. I'm done. Of, I'm done of all this. Craziness. Perry uses that sausage grease to lube up Randy's sausage and make human sausage grease to keep his skin nice and greasy. Hashtag sausage lube. Whatever. Hold on. I got a headache. Hang on. I'll be right back. Why does this require a dart? Because I need to take some Excedrin.
Yeah. You know, even though uh, Georgia didn't put it on the list earlier when she was asking scale of one to ten of things that annoy me about Perry, the way Perry drinks water might be a nine point eight. What do you mean the way I drink water? People what, watching drink... know what, the people watching know what I mean. Drink more water than, than normal or cap transfer time. We gotta come up with uh something like Trump is like dun, 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 dun. it is now time for the PCL cap transfer. Yeah, I gotta find like horns or some kind of triumphant music. How many transfers does that cap survived? This one? Yeah. God, I don't know. What year is this again? 2023? I don't know. I was born in 63. Who was president when that cap was new? I'm just teasing. Uh, maybe, maybe about a month ago, two months ago. All right. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Perry won't go to Disneyland for $150 in free ticket, but he'll suck off Randy for free. Gay priorities, men holding hands. Men I never holding sucked hands, off a men guy. Holding hands, men holding hands, men holding hands. How Ooh, dare you lie men like hands, this? Men holding hands, 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 men holding hands. Tomato, tomato. Evil, 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 sick bastard. I never gave a guy a blowjob. Ever. Stupid fuck. Scaremaster, you eat Ruth Chris, buy mugs on REI, criticize free food, but yet you refuse to move out of the dumpster you live in and drive a broke Kia. Why? Number one, I will never drive a Kia. Fran, if we're doing a period film, why are you upset about getting maxi pads and tampons? Should help with our research. Try wearing them and see how it feels. Oh my god, I'm a guy, I'm not a chick, you stooge. By the way, it's a, it's just a you. programming note, uh, if you see the comments from back to back like that real fast, that, real fast that's not me blowing through them, that's the uh, software glitching out, and I am replaying any ones that don't get like their due attention and they just get, you know, a, a new one comes in. If I'm, if I'm explaining that the right way, uh, I'm, I'm replaying those. So we're, it's not, it's not on our side. It's on the side of the, um, you know, the stream elements, which it's not as bad as it was last week, but it's still uh, a little glitchy. So just want to let people know, like, oh my God, Perry didn't answer my thing. I, I will replay every single one that gets a little shortchanged because I've gotten a, a message about that. Perry, only f snowboard. <laughs> oh my God. So you're saying Tony Hawk's uh, is the F word. You're saying uh, Letitia Buffoni and uh, Kimmy from uh, uh, Ventura are, 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 are the F word. Go fuck. You're just being a child. Just being a child. I'm in the snow, loser. Sorry, Tuki can't get your billboard. Perry Caravello, a man made for chicks with dicks approved with a penises in your face photo. Can it be censored? Never, never allowed. Never allowed.
I, I got to start a fucking lawsuit. This is just driving me nuts. It's just fucking driving me insane. And it's going to be huge. the wrong I need the right to turn it that's the only problem ugh she doesn't want me Harry, Bob's logic is sound. You call women that you've never met or know personally girlfriends. That means all of us fans are your boyfriends. A girl that I never met, a girlfriend? No, no, no. No, no, wrong. You, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. People getting tired of their garbage. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's in the wrong side, wrong side. Hey kids, live like me. Spend money poorly and you two can live in a toilet in a bait area with an old Kia. Fuck the fans, I'm entitled to the best of 1984. I don't drive a Kia. Perry, doctors are scared of lawsuits. Perry is a real skater. Let the man skate. But be careful. Pop a boner stoner. Thank you. Yeah, let, let this old man skate, and I still skate. Uh, I will never be what I was in 79. That's all I can say. I will never be anywhere near as good or what I was in 79, okay? Because I was really good in 79. All I want to do is just axle grind, front side axle grinds, and I'm content with my day. I don't need to be freaking doing aerials and laybacks and and uh, um, tail taps and sliding all over the place. You know, I don't need to do all that stuff. Laybacks and whatnot. No. I just do some axle grinds. I'm content. See some of the old school guys that I used to know back when we were kids. Yeah, I, it's nice. Yo, Perry, it's Sly. How are you doing, brother? I just bumped into he has a you should get tested ASAP. Keep on punching. Dude. I don't know what in the F you're talking about. Yeah, I've I've been tested more than once and since nineteen ninety one I've been tested enough times to know that I don't have AIDS. Okay. God damn. Since I moved Linda back to Texas, uh, back to Florida, um, I've been celibate in staying away from Anybody and everybody except for the girl that I want in my life. And that will be Gina when she gets in my life. 
And if Gina listens to my, re- my, 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 my disgusting sister-in-law, Amy, and puts up with her garbage and accepts her trash and lies, 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 then, I'll, then I don't have Gina. Then I'll move on from Gina. But right now I'm seeking Gina to get her uh, her smarts together to know that I am nothing more than the truthful, 100% truthful guy that wants to be her number one man in her life. And until she sees that face to face with me and uh, here's what I got to say about my disgusting sister-in-law face to face. Uh, then, then she's going to be lied to and I'm going to be toyed with and treated like shit and lied to <laughs> up and down and all around. So I don't even know anymore. Can we end this please? No. I can't. can barely fucking talk. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Go fuck yourself. No. No, no, we're going to finish the stream. And and, and you don't say you can barely talk in your fake voice and then scream like a child uh, over and over again. You're going to finish your stream. You know your job, that thing. Did Tom tell you the great news? Shuli and Tom booked us to appear at Off the Hook Comedy Club in Naples, Florida, and Gina's coming. Isn't that great? I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not entering the state of Florida. When there's hurricanes and tornadoes that go through there daily, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I can't wait to smoke cigarettes with you again. We can get our tattoos finally too. The humidity is great this time of year. Florida, here we come. Now going. I'm not. I am not going to Florida. Over and out. God damn it. I won't even go fucking do a show in Florida. That's how pissed off I am. Fact. Perry has been forever banned from his hometown of Milwaukee since 1979 after sexually assaulting the Fonz on the set of Hell Days. Go fuck yourself, I'm not yes. Perry Francine Carvello, this is Taisha, the transsexual prostitute you ordered back in PA. I just tested positive for herpes. Please get tested. I don't know what in the fuck these morons are saying about me. These lying, disgusting, sick, psychotic fucking morons. Get off my stream. Tested. Never around these fucking jackals. Hey, babe, where are you about to dart to? I'm trying to wrap up. When you complain about ending the stream, Perry, this is why. Because you're constant darting. Are you doing a defiant P or a sneaky P? Yeah, it's a defiant P. Defiant P. Confirmed. Defiant P, ladies and gentlemen. Defiant P. Not to be confused with a sneaky P. 
That's when uh, Sneaky P is when he's up anyway. I, You know what? I'm going to walk that back. It feels like a Sneaky P because you acted like you were going into the kitchen, but you really wanted to sneak off into the, the bathroom. A Defiant P is when you immediately dart right to the bathroom. That's how I define the Defiant P. There are other variations. That could be a Defiant or a Sneaky Defiant P. That's that's a whole other category. Has Perry's doctor ever watched the stream? Uh, I, his old one, at least knew of it. Uh, I don't think this new one has. What's the bullshit? I'm just talking, Perry. Fill in time with while you dart away from your own stream as usual. All right, I'm trying to wrap up, Perry. So the the less Please. Can, the less well again, and we got to do our closer when we're done. What closer? What is that? What is that? I'll remind you at the time. Why don't you catch up on some super chats? Perry, you're the best. I love you not in a gay way. I know you are a man made for women. Thank you. It's about time somebody's real. Thank you. <sighs> Tom, it's Perry. I want to thank you for saving my life. I'm asking you to buy me a sawzall so I can cut my snowboard in half. Since I'll never use it. Go fuck yourself, loser. I'm in the snow, bitch. Fucking moronic. Stupid fucking no, you never use my snowboard. I'm in the fucking snow. Don't fucking tell me I'm not. Don't even try to come with me. I am going alone to the snow. I will meet my family in the snow. I am in the snow. End of story. Over and out. Got it? Thank you. Ciao. Barry, since you're now an official snow, snowboarder, I think you should heat a fork of the microwave for 10 minutes. Go blow it out your ass, because the snowboarder will never come off my arm. I will be in the snow. I will not take your bullshit or your lies or your retardation again. Next. Did you read the whole thing, Perry? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Stupid useless tattoo. Not coming off my arm. There's, Perry, there's a rumor that you're actually still in a coma. That time you choked on Callahan Schlong. Who is it? Who is it we're watching then? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Goodbye. Still in a coma? Yeah, sometimes I wish I was still in a coma. Healing. I don't have to deal with people. Uh, how much can I buy a used pair of your un underwear for? I've always wondered what you smell like. Congrats on baby with Chrissy. 
Stop being homophobic. Uh, I don't have, I never got Chrissy pregnant. Uh, so don't give me this baby with Chrissy bullshit. God almighty, these people are just nuts. Never slept with Chrissy, never got her pregnant. Never, never got affectionate with Chrissy that way. Please. I respected the fact that she was engaged and married to her husband. And she's going to come to California to do some little stand-up comedy show over there in Van Nuys, Sherman Oaks. Outside of uh, Freeway Insurance and uh, that, that, that little restaurant over there. Um, <clears throat> in, the, in that lot. Um Reason why I said freeway insurance is because that was that was where my uh, my insurance company was when I had freeway insurance years ago. Um. So you know, anyway. Perry, did I mention you are not allowed in the snow? You allowed to smoke cigarettes, Jack Sprite, and pleasure strange men. I don't know who the fuck these people are anymore. I have no idea. No, no idea. I'm sorry. Why is your fucking apartment so disgusting? Don't you have any shame? Get up and clean. Terry's no way your BF likes to bang in that shit hole. I got. I know. I have to. I gotta dump trash. So take a moment to think about how much free dump. time you have now that you aren't snowboarding. Then please pull your pants down and play with your ass. Uh, jerky. I mean, Yergi. Whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, you moron. I will be in the snow. Don't tell me where I'm not going or where I'm going. Because I am definitely in the snow. Starting Thanksgiving weekend. Tom, when I finally moved to Tom, when I finally moved to Florida, can you please get me into a gay satanic retirement home? Make sure my true love Randy Kelly can visit me daily. You know what, fucker? That's where I am done. We're done. I will fucking I will shut this goddamn computer off again. We no, are no, done. No, done. We're not. done. Done, 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 done. That's a fucking immoral, disgusting, fucking sick shit. I will not put up with this goddamn garbage again. We're fucking done. No, we're not, Perry. Take, then you get Perry. If you take that helmet off, you got to refund the money. So don't be stupid. Fuck off, motherfucker! I'm done with your <laughs> fucking shit. Hey, Perry, stop with. Hey, Perry. Lover. <laughs> Perry, knock it off, okay? Talks. Hey, Perry, you got a producer watching you to see how you can behave. You want to blow that like you've blown everything else? Into your goddamn garbage! Okay, the you producer's garbage? Are you calling the producer that wants to hire you garbage now? No, it's got nothing to do with the producer being garbage. It's all got to do with you being garbage. Okay, well, I, I'm garbage. I'm the guy that's trying to give you work. You're not... You're not trying to get me okay, hired. Okay, trying... so Perry, what do... Let me explain... Exp, put, Russell, put the maxi peg back on your head. No, put it back in your head. What do I have to do with some guy sending in a comment saying Satan is Satan? What do I have to do with that? Please tell me what I have, me specifically, what I, why is that my fault? Because you can't control how you react to things. How is that my fault? Well, then I'm not going to say a word. No, no, no. I'm asking you a question. So you're going to say a word. I'm asking you a question. What do I have to do with that? Somebody sends in a $5 super chat. Thank you, by the way. That goes to you. And they say something that you don't like, so you want to uh, quit your own uh, job. No, don't put your glasses off because we're not done. I'm not putting my glasses on, uh, away. I'm cleaning okay, them. Okay, so answer my question. What do I have to do with that? Because you're moronic garbage. You want to see me lose it and lose it. You know, when when have I ever said to you, I'm I want to see you lose done. it? I mean, fucking done. No, you're not effing done. What do I, again, oh, 
I'm going to ask another uh, ask it another way that maybe your dingling brain can answer. What do I say that Damn it. <laughs> What do you say? You Sorry. say nothing. That's what you say. No, what do, what, what do I have to do is with somebody sending in a comment, nothing. again, Perry, two people can't talk at once. Two people can't talk at once. Two people can't talk at once. When will you ever get that through your head, especially on a live stream where one person is 3,000 miles away from the other person, okay? It makes it very hard for the audience to decipher who's talking, okay? So if you start talking, I will shut up. If I start talking, you shut up. That's how it should work. Okay, mm -hmm. so I want to know what I have to do with somebody sending in a super chat saying, oh, go to a satanic church in Florida, whatever it said. What do I have to do with that? And why can't you realize that, yeah, people are trying to get your goat because you're easy to get and they pay you for the privilege? What, what again, how am I the bad guy here? Because you know that we've been on the air since 9 a.m. Yeah, that, but that has nothing to do with breaks. what I'm asking. That has nothing to do with what yeah. I'm asking. How, what do I have to do with somebody sending in you some, sending a tip comment or a super chat or anything like that, whether it's a Tom's tips or whatever? What do I personally have to do with it, other than being the director? I don't know. Okay, but you're taking I, it out on know. me and the stream because you're. I have to. No, you don't I, have I to. Can't, I can't take this crap anymore. You, you can, Perry. You can. You can compartmentalize, realize that someone's trying to mess with you, and move on to the next thing. And I'll just shut my mouth. See, no, you say that all the time, and that's another moronic answer, because people don't tune in to watch you shut your mouth, okay? You've been mostly very good today with your energy and stuff like that. It's been entertaining, but the problem with that is you get to a point where it becomes too much threatening to turn off the stream, threatening to quit. And like I said to you before, you have a, like, and I'm not making this up, you have a legit producer interested in hiring you. Who in the right mind, I know. who in their right mind would hire a guy who acts like that, who threatens to quit his own business? It's not, it's not the who, who would hire a, a nutcase like me that threatens to keep quitting all the time. What bothers me is the fact that you allow me they have to deal with these punks fucking with me. Yeah, Perry, but but here's the deal. What? I'm not forcing you having to deal with these quote-unquote punks, okay? And I'm not going to use that word. Uh, you're getting paid for it. That goes 100... Well, YouTube takes 30-whatever percent out, but the rest of it goes 100% to you. 100%. So why can't you just suck it up and realize that, you know what, at least... Uh, you know, if, you, if, if this was the kind of thing where you were sitting here, which I know you wouldn't, for free, and we, we went online and people just like threw pies at you virtually, I would say, yeah, okay, maybe uh, you got a point here. Why would you sit here and do this? But you get paid, Perry. All your bills are paid for. All, 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 you, you, got a, you got a nice bank account right now. You, got, uh, you could pay for any meal you want. You know what I mean? Saying you're in a much better position. I don't want to have to go through the same uh, rigmarole the whole uh, over and over again, but that's why, okay? Here's all I want is Gina. That's okay, all I want. Okay, good. Well, G -G 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 -G. can we just get through the rest of the stream without you being a dingbat, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, and, and guess what, Perry? Here's a tip. We've been doing this for three years now. There might be a few things that you hear or see that you might not like. Ooh, my sister-in-law, I can't stand her on my stream. <laughs> Boot her off. By the way, what's up with your sister-in-law stealing that baseball at that baseball game the other night? That was really gross. It's sad. Sad, who, sad, who, who does sad, that to a, who sad, do, Who sad. does that to a little kid? An evil witch like her. evil witch like her. Perry, if you go snowboarding against your doctor's advice then I will never be with you. I don't like men who try to kill themselves in the snow.
I'm not gonna die. I'll I'll get I'll get a release. I'll get a release. I'll get a release a week before I go. I'll definitely get a release before I go. It's Stacy Peralta. People saying I have a nasty vagina. Can you let everyone know I have a nice pussy because I'm a clean girl? Long live Palestine, Rainbow. The only Stacy Peralta I know is a guy, okay? There's maybe a female Stacy Peralta, but I only know the male Stacy Peralta. It's the old uh, Pal Peralta skateboarder, Stacy Peralta. When I met him, he skated for GNS skateboards. Okay, that's Stacy Peralta. His parents helped build Reseda Skater Cross. Thank you for subscribing. Scaremaster, you eat Ruth Chris, buy mugs on REI, criticize free food, but yet you refuse to move out of the dumpster you live in and drive a broke Kia. Why? I don't live in a dumpster, one, and I don't drive a broke Kia, too. She's got too much shit on my couch. It's going to eventually go in the freaking trash. Yeah, Perry, the couch is the problem, right? All that crap on my couch is garbage. It's going to go in the trash with this trash. Out loud, Perry, not silently to yourself. Oh, oh, what are you talking about out loud? You don't see this thing on the stream? On the screen? Satan Caravello? No, oh. now I see something that says, uh, uh, Den Den Denizen Pilgrim, and Perry will the motorized crit my f shut up about my bedroom dresser, calling, calling it a credenza number one, be in the next. Fast and the Furious movie. I'm sending you a 1989 Ford Escort. I will not drive a Ford Escort. I want nothing to do with Ford automobiles. To throw on the credenza. No, I don't want nothing, anything to do with Ford automobiles. If it's not a Shelby Mustang, that's the only Ford I'll drive. Can't come home to the U.S. because there's some crazy buff granny who wants to turn me into a, a pretzel. <laughs> Agent says I got to stay in Europe. Help me, Perry. What do you want me to do, babe? I want you back into the States. I want you back home here with the family, your family, eventually soon becoming our, my family when we get married. How do I help you? What do you want me to do? You can kick my ass and my ass times three. Not more than that. Perry, P-E-R-R-I, that's a chick's way of spelling the name Perry. When you come to the SAG offices to teach the fake accident, my accident was not fake, and I'm not going to go off and yell like a raging bastard. Coma class was not fake either. It's all over on the on the Loma Linda records from what happened to me. Also bring the black Stanley mug on your desk. We purchased it at auction. You know, you, no, you didn't. 
It will be used for a two girls one cup shoot. Oh, in the in the kitchen. It's not allowed. Uh. Are you really that dense? You're old and out of shape. Your neck can't hold your 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 big head. Your Equilibrium is most likely all messed up, and you're going to risk your life for what? What do you gain? I, I gain fun. Listen to your doc. Yeah, I'll listen to my doctor, but, you know, I just want to have a good time. Okay. Just want to have a good time. If I don't feel good, I won't go. The whole life's about having a good time, being happy with myself. Started with my skateboarding career. It was all a good time. Which really didn't get very far. No, I'm not showing you a fucking jar of grease, Out loud, moron. Please. Out loud, please. Perry, show us the old sausage grease jar and, and mix some of your dandruff into the jar and, and take a sip. I'm not taking a sip of that, you fucking moron. Love you, cutie pie, gape master. It's used grease, you fucking moron. When the jar is full of used grease from the from the foreman... I throw it in the trash. God, you're a fucking asshole. I don't throw used grease from the foreman down the down the sink. To can I ask a question? Can I ask a pipes. question? What? Can I ask a sausage grease question? Let's go right ahead. Okay, instead of keeping it in a jar. Why don't you just like sop it up with like paper towels and throw it away in the moment and then make it part of your cleanup? Why do you got to save it? Just something that we've done for years. Right. I mean, so you, you, there's a lot of stuff that you do for years, but sometimes you realize it doesn't make right. sense. So like you cook sausage on the foreman and that collects grease, but you could just take a bunch of paper towels, sop it up, clean the foreman, and then throw the paper towels away, and you don't have to keep a thing of grease. Okay, true. Just, just my perspective. No, I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Hey kids, live like me. Spend money poorly and you too can live in a toilet in a bay area with an old Kia. Fuck the fans. I'm entitled to the best of 1984. I don't drive an old Kia, you moron. If it's not a Toyota, I won't drive it or own it. Got it? Thank you. Gay Perry, you are disabled. You are baldy. You are a hobosexual. You are a vaginophobic man lover. You have a gaped fart box. You are too old for snow. You are snow -narded. See, comments like that prove that I will not take your bullshit and fucking deal with your bullshit. That's why I argue and fight and will prove I'm going to be in the fucking snow.
got five weeks to go, uh, six weeks to go, and then it's snow. First, I got to get my license renewed, okay? This is renewal year. All right, Perry, let me get uh, one last uh, Tom's tips uh, for the day. God damn. If you don't mind. My God damn, more people want to. I want to get off the fucking computer, yeah, Well, dude. you're not going to, Perry, okay? You're not going to until we're finished, okay? Again, pr priorities here. Priorities here. I will help you with your phone later. Right now, we're doing this. Your job. Priorities here, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing a six that, hour a six hour stream when it should I, be a I, 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 Perry. It guess what? The stream was. You know why the stream was a little longer today? Number one, uh, your constant darts. Number two, your antics, getting up and coming back. About those all add to it. You probably added about thirty minutes to this stream unnecessarily. Okay, and us thirty talk, minutes. I think I added three hours to this. Stream well, no, okay, that's a bit extreme. All right. I, I understand. So. Uh, Fridays, I try to make them run smoothly and, and quicker. But you know what? A lot of people tune in and they want to engage with you and that's not a bad thing. All right? So, here it is. Uh, Tom's tip from emotionally intelligent Perry Caravello. So this must be a Perry Caravello that exists in an alternate universe because it says, and I haven't read it, but, but it says this is from alternately, emo, sorry, emotionally intelligent Perry Caravello. Hey, Tom, I'm not going to bother with the time zone nonsense or who I am. You're smart enough to know both of those things, okay? I just want to say you all do a great job for me and the fans, okay? I should definitely eat more filet of fishes Sure, I don't like them, but it beats a real job. I love all my fans. You guys allow me to live comfortably for the small price of being mildly annoying for a few hours a week. That's it. That's all. Over and out. I would never leave something so intelligent. What did you disagree with that? Does all these... Look, when I was a young kid, and I'm going to go back to when I was a young kid, and my mom used to take me to McDonald's when I was a young I, kid. I knew what you were going to only focus on the filet of fish I knew that was going to be your one What did away. I get? Go I got a quarter pounder with cheese. Nothing else. Right. Just a quarter pounder with the, with, the, with the meat and the cheese, and that was it. Right. Uh, so instead of hearing that key point, which again... But Very the just, thing with this fillet of fish garbage, and you guys keep sending me fillet of fish, right. fillet of fish, fillet of fish, because it was the first sandwich that ever came here, uh, which I should have refused immediately. I politely accepted it because I wanted to be polite to the stream. Right. Uh, the point Ugh. of that wasn't the history of uh, fillet of fish on PCL. It was really that you're appreciating uh, your fans and the people that work with you. And you know what? Yeah, a couple of times a week, people do, you know, poke you, poke the bear, poke the pear bear, as, you know, they say, and uh, try to get a reaction out of you. But overall, uh, that version of Perry uh, realizes how good he had it. But that, so that was the takeaway I hope you would have had, not the fact that it said filet of fish. I'm basically just talking like Charlie Brown's teacher right now, right? And you're not hearing anything. No, I'm hearing you. It's I just it's right. well, hot. I'll, 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 I'll move on. I'm sorry. It's hot. It's all. All right. We're wrapping up. Um, you did this one. We did that a long time ago. Well, not that long ago. The Albertsons Meat Man is coming to PCL on Halloween. Halloween is on a Tuesday, moron. I, I, I won't even be here. Hillary wants to meet you at the Albertsons grocery store men's room and beat your meat. The Albertsons down the street? Nobody's, I'm not going to the men's room.
Oh, God. Moon Beach, Albertsons? God, I haven't been there in ages. Um, B, you got to call. You got to get a professional dog collar when you're struggle struggle date business partner acts up. Did I read that right? Struggle date? What is a struggle? Struggle date. Oh God! All these big ass college words. If not, he'll never learn and evolve. All right. College words. What the hell does that word mean? Tom? But what do you think it means, Perry? I don't know. When you're tr T R O G L O D Y T E. Well, what is what is struggle? A, a, a guy that's just been battered. <laughs> no, that's not what it means. What? Well, what does it mean? Uh, well, the strict definition is like uh, a person that's like um, obscenely ignorant, very set in their ways, uh, stubborn, but uh, the... Uh, the translation would be like a human cave dweller from like Greek times, you know, like I'm all uh, of the above. Yeah, it, it, it's like a mythical. Anyway, we, we can we can get into it. You, you can Google it on your own time. It's used in different ways. I'm sorry. Are we uh, are we keeping you up, Harry? I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Oh, terrible. Please don't sue Tuki. You send me the billboard design for Perry Caravello, a man made for chicks with dicks. I'll get it up with your gangbang photo. Go oh, fuck off, loser. Fucking loser. Perry, it's Toyota Racing Development, Florida. Since it's confirmed you don't have balance, let's tune the Kia and race it. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. The car is not a Kia. Hands. Never race will car. be a Kia. Race That's car. the fact. Race the car. Story. Collision. 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 Sorry. Bone. Palestinian I don't race anymore. I gave that up. God. Oh, that's interesting. Why did you give up racing? I'm not answering that. Why? Because that might lead to logic. I gave up, I gave up racing when I crashed. So. Right. Because so, you realize bad things can happen from doing something so dangerous. Yeah. Right. So why don't you take that same logic and put it towards other things? When the not when I look if I if I get deathly hurt snow skiing or snowboarding maybe i will not you do already no you more. already did get deathly hurt by skateboarding when you fell and broke your neck like 12 years that ago. was 90 no it wasn't that 90 was nothing it I... was 2011 no 2011 was the third surgery yeah, because because, because you because you fell off i remember this okay you... If, no you don't okay. idiot boy oh, I'm 2009 an idiot. Was the two surgeries right? When did Actually, you when did you fall off the skateboard in the skate park trying to impress that little girl? Second surgery was two thousand and eleven. Forgetting about in the May. surgeries, forgetting right, about now the third surgery was in two thousand eleven in December. Right, because of the the bone. Uh, right, because you uh, fell off your skateboard uh, trying to impress six. somebody at the skate park. No, that had nothing to do with the third surgery yes it did it had everything to do with it It had absolutely you were taken to the hospital surgery. you were that had zero to do with surgery three you fucking moron hey okay, i'm the moron god you're a fucking moron i'm the moron you don't even remember your own uh medical history yeah i do no you don't yes right. i fucking do all right to save my I own fell, 
Sanity. I'm going to move on. I fell in 2009. No, it wasn't, Barry, because it was... Okay, I'm going to tell you how you're wrong. The, I'm going to tell you how you're wrong. Just listen to me. Just just close your lips and listen. I'm going to tell you how you're wrong. The first surgery, the okay, second okay, surgery forget about the surgery. May. We're not talking about the surgery. Just close your lips for the one second. The second surgery was in May. Right. The third surgery I'm not was talking in about December. that. I'm the talking same about year, that. 2011. I'm it had nothing to do with either one. Perry, again, I need you to close your lips and listen Fucking to me for idiot. a second. I'm going to prove to you, prove to you through... Uh, a timeline here uh, okay I know uh okay listen to me so that could not have been 2009 because when you did that it was during the big three podcast because our you talked about it on there and that didn't start I know you could throw up your hands that didn't start until October of 2010 okay and you were doing it a good cup a good year or so before that happened so it could not have been 2009 because you talked about it on the air when it happened. The and that started surgery, in 2010. The second surgery happened in May of 11, 2011. And the third surgery happened in December 2011. All right, listen, I, I'm going in, insane myself uh, have, have, trying to have a conversation. Hey, Perry, I don't like when you do that. Enough. Let's well, just tough, move on. because you're fucking retarded. Okay, hey, Perry, thank I don't... Thank you. No, 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 don't thank me, Perry, and, and don't call me the R word, and stop saying it when I ask you not to say it. Thank you. Moving on. God. Why is your fucking apartment so disgusting? Don't you have any shame? Get up and clean. Terry's no way your BF likes to bang in that shit hole. Hey Lazy Bones, Amy here. Your brother and I are coming over right now to take that gay snowboard away from you before you hurt yourself. Not allowed. Not allowed. Assholes. Kurt. Ten dollars to take a poop in the credenza. Plus five dollars to wipe Go the grocery fuck store. Off. Twenty dollars if you flush the credenza toilet in the hot tub after. All the beautiful things I own. Destroy them. Fuck you. Bitch. What year did you start paying high, paying high school boys? What? Why don't you sit up and read it, Perry? This, this is disgusting. I'm going to read it like you're fucking retard, and I'm going to call him no, a Perry, retard. I, I, I'm asking you, if, hey, Perry, like if that, I'm that, asking you, excuse me. That's right, I said the F Yeah, I know. I know, Perry, if I'm asking you not to say a word, I know you're a psychopath and a crazy person, but if I'm asking you as your friend, as your co-host, as a director, not to say a certain word, and it's not because it's against the rules, it's just because I don't particularly want you to say it, I, 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 stop saying it. And then when I bring it up, don't you don't have to pour gasoline on it, okay? Can you stop saying it? I think I'm being very respectful to you. Can you treat me with Sorry. the same respect? Sorry. But 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 a remark like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Right. But it doesn't mean there's. Makes me look like I, I know your vocabulary is extremely limited, but you could think of other words to say in its place. That's all. Thank you. Now try again. Barry, what year did you start paying high school boys, Nathaniel, to spit on your neck and back? Was that before you invent before you invented the gay boy shuffle? And I never heard of the gay boy shuffle. Don't know what you're talking about, and I have no idea what you are talking about with a person named Nathaniel that I never knew. It was a punk named Mole, meaning Walter Molininsky, who made remarks years ago about a Nathaniel. That I that I uh, put a Nathaniel in the hospital for some reason years ago, and I had no clue 
what he meant by this. It just keeps going on and on and on about a Nathaniel. Now it's turned into a Nathaniel from Big Bear and a Nathaniel this and a Nathaniel that. I mean, can't give me a break. Can't even talk anymore. It's just tired of this garbage. You already forgot what the closer was. You accept the 300 bones to return your fake grocery store participant. Uh, my, my grocery store certificate, meaning diploma, is in a frame. It's not going to get removed from the frame. It's not going to get fucked with again. Like a high school diploma. Jerk off. <laughs> oh, God, Mr. Cramavelmo. Thank your doctor for saving you from a horrific injury at Big Bear. Uh, when was this? I hope the ski and snowboard auction go well. Maybe $50 a piece? No. Because I'm skiing and I'm snowboarding. <laughs> With family, my Asian family, my Italian family, with family. Very weirdo, show us the jar of Randy Splash. Oh, go fuck off, moron. Instead of whispering it to yourself, can you just read it out loud? Barry, you weirdo, show us the jar of Randy sp Spooge. You sip on before you before bedtime. Do you heat it up in the microwave first? First off, uh, loser, whatnot, chaser, loser, freak, disgusting, psychopath. What happened with me and Randy 31, 31 and a half fucking years ago, moron, was the past. Get it over your fucking thick skull. That was 31 and a half years ago. Thank God it happened a long time ago. It will never happen again. Just stop reminding me like it was yesterday, you fucking losers. God damn. Harry, my family friends own one of the largest pumpkin patches in Oregon. You will be honored to receive 50 of the largest pumpkins from them. Hugs, you bitch. Not interested. I'm not interested in your stupid pumpkins. I'll eat pumpkin pie. Costco makes a good pumpkin pie. Since uh, Marie Callender's is no longer in business, they used to make a real good pumpkin pie. All right, Perry, listen, uh, this is what we're going to do. You're going to read the plugs now, and then we're going to do our closer. And before you say, what closer, I will tell you after you read your plugs. Please turn uh, your phone off and all that other, whatever is distracting. Well, hang on, real, real quick. No, no, not real quick. I'm asking you to put uh, it away. Um, the, uh, Perry, this is not a time for you to bop around on your phone. Okay, this is... Hey, the Perry, bullshit. I'm just asking you to put the phone in your pocket. Sure. Is it possible for you to do that right now? Yes. In yes. your pocket. In your pocket. I don't even oh. want it out. Because of the stupid okay, crap. Whatever stupid thing can wait till later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to read your plugs, and then you're not going to say, uh, thank you, good day, uh, because we got to do our closer. And I will, remember, I will remind you what that is after your uh, great plug energy right here.
Visit our website for official PCL merch at perrycurvillelive.com. Access media share streams, phone calls, and bonus content at patreon.com forward slash perrycaravello. Subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash perrycaravello.live. Order a cameo, cameo.com forward slash perrycaravello. Join our Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash perrycaravello. Share your pets, perrycaravello.com forward slash groups forward slash PCL pets. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash Perricaravello live. Follow us on Twitter at P underscore C underscore L underscore official and at Perry underscore Caravello. Follow us on Instagram. Oh boy. At Perry Caravello live and at Perry Caravello, which I hope to get back eventually. Follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. And if you want to send Perry mail, send the mail to Perry Caravello Live, 18960 Ventura Boulevard, Box 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. And don't forget about Perry Caravello Live. Okay, Perry, I'll handle it. Don't forget about Perry Caravello Live.com slash auction. For uh, all your auction needs of uh, skis and snowboard are not for sale. A lot of uh, cool stuff on that auction. It runs until when, Perry? You tell me. Uh, the thirty-first. The thirty-first at midnight Pacific is uh, when it runs to. There's uh, tons of stuff on there. Uh, you can get uh, phone, skateboard. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Paintings. All all these things that have been a part of PCL uh, culture and seen on the stream for uh, years, really years. Some of them, some of them yeah. uh, longer than others, of course. But uh, your uh, chance to win uh, a piece of uh, PCL history right there uh, with the auction. Now, Perry, it's time to do the closer. Now, do you know what the closer was in your own words? Can you, take, can you take a about. guess on what it was? No, because you keep changing things. No, I didn't change anything. This is a big closer. We talked about it, and I said even the producer of the film was in on this. It was a crowdsource for $300, a really big closer for uh, a Friday. Um, okay, well, I'll just remind you, Perry. I really, I, I know you're, uh, you're a man of few words. When it comes to remembering, uh, so three uh, for three hundred, which you already accepted and were paid for, and you will pay uh, Jim a percentage of. Uh, Perry mm -hmm. will prove that his buffer actually works by buffing up the snowboard using the Italian dressing you were sent earlier. Then after, uh, you tape a long sign onto. I don't know what long sign means, but tape a sign onto the snowboard that says. Never be in the snow and leave the snowboard in the corner under the AC until Thanksgiving. Okay? Now you don't. No, have... I'm not fucking it all up. No, you're not effing I'm it not up. Fucking my snowboard up. Perry, you're not gonna. I am not... I, look, I have had the snowboard tuned. Yes, I'm I know, Perry. This is not gonna eff it up, Perry. And if it, it's not gonna eff it up. So let's get the buffer out and see what works. I don't think this buffer has seen electricity since the '80s. So let's see if the buffer works first oh, and foremost. It's seen electricity. It's seen electricity. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's been. It's been. It's been a long time. Show the buffer. Now, where do you want to do this? You want to do this on the floor right there, Perry? You're gonna have to done. Okay, then why don't you lay a towel underneath so the carpet doesn't get any of the dressing on it? Okay. And Jim clarifies, the sign needs to be big enough that the stream can see. I understand that. And Italian dressing does have a lot of nurturing oils. That's very good for uh, all wood-based products.
Good man. And you want to shake that dressing up too, so all the oils uh, mix around a little bit. But in this thing? Yeah, is that the uh, dressing? Yeah, mix it up. Is that the dressing? You're talking the Italian dressing from... Uh... Yeah, yeah. That's what you're going to use as like an oil base for the, for the buff. It's crazy. Yeah, welcome to PCL. We'll be doing this a minute or two. Fucking idiot. There's enough here. Yeah, there's enough there. Oh wow, that that so the, the buffer does the buffer wait before well never mind, I'll wait till you come back. And Perry, that white bag, that's PCL auction stuff, right? I don't want this in the living room. I want that in the dining room. I don't want any uh, stuff getting damaged with oil. Can you move that white bag, which has all the auction stuff, into the dining room? I don't know why it's sitting there. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Okay, can you move it away then? That's a good angle. Yeah, put that stuff in the dining room. Hey, Perry, the auction's over. Good news. Uh, what now? The PCRC shirt sold for uh, $250. Mm, I threw that away. Mm, I threw that away. That's in the garbage. All right. Can you move the snowboard up just a little bit? Can you turn the buffer on so we can make sure it actually works? Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was a whole process. Buffer's brand spanking new. Of course it works. It's not brand spanking new. It's been sitting in that box for as long as I've known you, and that's at least that's at least. So what? Of... It's still a brand new buffer. Okay. Well, you have a different version of what's brand new. Brand new meaning it hasn't been used in years. Right. That doesn't mean brand new to me. You could say like new. Like new condition. But not brand new. Brand new means it's mint in the box. Okay, it works. All right, good. All right, that's good. So it works. This is awesome so move it up. Move it up a little. Move the snowboard up a little bit so we can see the full thing. Just move it up a little bit and then just uh, lube it up. Get get some of those oils on there. Right here. Yeah, if you can move it up just a little bit more to cover this the towel at the top, closer to your feet. It's on the towel. I got it. But if you can move it a little. Over closer... there too. Right. But if you can move no it a moving. little. Okay, Perry. No you... moving. A little closer to your feet, a couple of inches. I'm not asking a lot. Thank there, you. Like that? Thank, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yes, thank you. So if you now, if you can get the uh, Italian uh, dressing on there and just uh, lube it up, this will be great. Don't turn on the buffer until uh, I give the okay. Uh, force dressing on the board or yeah on the buffer? No, on on the board. You know, like, like massage it with your uh, Italian hands. This thing's gonna be a fucking mess. Well, I'll tell you what, you're gonna be the best smelling snowboarder if you ever do get up there. You have the best smelling board. Why don't you rub it in with your hands first before we get to the buffer? Mix it around. Or not. That's all you need. Uh, that's not good enough, Perry. You got paid $300 for this. 
Give it a good, first of all, you want to smooth out the dressing with your hands on the board first, which I told you. <sighs> then you buffer. It's all over the fucking right. place! All over the fucking place! Okay, I'm just looking for the board itself. Just with your hands, move it around, okay? And a little, and then you're going to have to do a little more buffering than that, okay? You got paid $300 for this, so you're not going to mail it in. Okay, don't turn the buffer back on yet. I want you to smooth out with your hands first. A little bit more dressing and you'll be good. My hands? Yeah, with your hands, Ow. which I told you all along. I want Ow. you to... I want you to put the dressing in your hands and literally with your two hands rub it on the board and then buffer. And then you're good. And not a couple of seconds of buffer. Like a good back and forth. Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking asshole. Fucking ruining my board. No, it's fucking actually... It's, it's, my board. These are nurturing you oils. Jack. This is... I actually looked it up. Italian dressing is great for wood. Italian dressing doesn't do anything but ruin this fucking board. No, it doesn't. Now you're going to buff it Shut and make off. it even better. Now do a good job on the buffing. God, you can't even sit without falling down. All right, let's buff that baby and do it and give a good two minute buff. I can't wait to go to the mountains. Wait, 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 wait. Are you doing it wrong? No, it's just the, the pads came off. Oh, okay. This comes off on occasion when you're doing cars. And you put them back on, off again. Keep going. You want to ruin my fucking snowboard is what you're trying to do. Fucking jackass. That sander doesn't sound very good. Or the buffer or whatever. It's a fucking orbital, you jerk. I, I don't know what that means. It just doesn't sound good. Orbital, you don't know shit about fucking buffers. You're right. Normal is exactly what it's supposed to sound like. Damn it. I'm done! Well, you still got to do the sign. You still got to do the sign. You did the buffing. That's good. You still got to do the sign. So you got to leave the snowboard underneath the AC... To display it to the stream and you're going to put by the way it already looks better and you're going to put a sign on it that the stream can see so get a big piece of paper or whatever 
to write on. Or I'll tell you what, here's the deal. Here's the deal. And this comes from Jim directly, and I trust him because he's the one who came up with the crowdsource. He said he'll give you the weekend to make the sign. If you leave it there under by the air conditioner, you could take the weekend to make the sign and debut the sign on Monday. Does that sound good? Does that sound Stay good? Right yeah, the sign will go right there. A long What's sign. What's say? It'll say, uh, hold on. Never be in the snow. That's what it's supposed to say. Because I think if he does it now, he'll half-ass it. So at least by Monday, we could have a nice long sign that goes lengthwise. Uh, Perry, can you come over here so we can say goodbye properly? We're done. Okay. I'm Fucking career is over. No, your career is fine, Perry. Can you sit down, please? My acting career can, sucks. Can you can, right? Well, I agree with that. Can you sit down, please? We're saying goodbye now. Business. Wait, wait, Perry. If you could just close your lips. Done. I'm literally trying to end, and you keep going on with your buffoon. Bye. So here's the deal. Uh, also, I think I think it would be a good idea if uh, Tony comes by with his sander and like sander. No. Off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Okay. No and, fucking way! Well, I think no, it. I think it'll make it look bad. Tools, the fuck up, board up! Get out of here! Well, don't worry because if you go to the auction, the snowboard is now on the website. Not for sale! Seventy-five hundred dollars right now, high bid on the snowboard. Not for fucking sale! Well, it says right there it's for sale. Seventy-five hundred dollars on on the um on the thing. So we'll say goodbye. We'll see everybody on Monday. Don't forget. Don't forget about that auction. And uh, you can sand whatever you want into that thing. Tony has a great sander. That thing's going to look like brand new when you buy it. $7,500. That feels like it's cheap right now. But uh, look, the auction's got another little under two weeks. So you got some time. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.
Hey, Perry, are you still there? Putting out to the trash. Oh, all right. I was just going to do a little... Uh... I'll call you when I get back in. I was going to do a little AH. I'll wait for you to come back. That's all right. I'll wait for you to come back. If you're going out to the trash. I'll do a, I'll do a little AH because uh, I know Perry, Perry said a bad word. And a couple other things I need to uh, work on with the stream. So since I can't leave it up on YouTube, I figured I'd come back and say hello. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at this maniac. Look at, all this, look at this maniac we all uh, love. Yeah, lock that door so nobody comes in. I'm going to famously uh, say a short after hours because I do uh, have to get out of here. Very short. But, uh, hey, listen. A lot of things to complain about uh, with Perry, but you can't complain about the man's energy today. The guy was on fire. The guy was on fire. Man, that um, bulletproof coffee to him is like uh, nitrous oxide. <laughs> it really is. It gives him that uh, extra little boost. And I think it's just, uh, it's just better. Then, um, you know, the energy drink. I think he's almost immune to energy drinks at this point. Jeff says, thanks for all the content. Oh, you're welcome for all the content. It's our pleasure. It's uh, not a one-man show. It's not a two-man show. It's not even a three- or four-man show. It's, I think everybody, including you guys, helps uh, make this, uh, you know, what it is. If you enjoy it, I can see a lot of people. I can see this not being everybody's cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, normally I would never do an after hours on a Friday uh, because we keep the streams up on YouTube. Uh, we like to, and I don't like putting after hours on the PCL channel uh, if, if we do come for after hours, but because I have to work on some things on this stream. Perry said some gamer words. It's probably fine for, uh, for YouTube. Definitely not for Twitch so much, but uh, I, like, I like to work on that anyway. There was the F word. How about that F word sneaking into the TTS? That, that goes to show you how screwed up Stream Elements is. Like, somebody said the uh, bad F word on the TTS comments that came in. Thank God Perry didn't... Uh, well, it doesn't matter at this point, but uh, Perry didn't really take the bait on it. But uh, that was weird, because that, that, that word's usually filtered out. Derek says, uh, they say manic people react opposite to uppers or downers. Upper makes them lazy, downers make them hyper. That's that's interesting. I didn't know that. When Perry shuts off his uh, PC, we should have his porn uh, history exposed. Nah. Yeah, we did that last week. Ali says, I'm sorry Perry made your job harder today, especially when you edit and have uh, all you do. Yeah, I know, and I won't be able to get it to it tonight. So it'll go back up online tomorrow at some point. New Mario game came out today, so I gotta play that with Teddy tonight. Super Mario Wonder. Very exciting. Not often you get a new Mario game. Or Mario, however you say it. He's gonna be mad that we're still on. Yeah, you locked the you locked the door. Shit. Yeah, the new Mario game is getting rave reviews. This man can't even carry keys, and he thinks he's gonna snowboard. Oh, awesome! A says he's playing it right now. Good. All right, Perry, don't be upset. Are you are you there? Are you there, Perry? He might have turned off the speakers. I think Get he turned on. off the speakers. Get oh. off the goddamn computer! Well, I just came back on, Perry, because uh, you don't have to do anything. I don't want to be on the fucking stupid ass stream. Uh, We're I... done. 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 Right. I know, Perry. I'm just. Uh, I was just chit chatting uh, to people. 
Uh, I made an appointment. Okay, so you don't want to hear about your phone because I made an appointment for you. You don't want to hear about your phone? Yeah. You do, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll call you back. I'll call you back in a, in a little bit. I'll let you know. It's not uh, it's not for right now, okay? But I did I did what make time? an I did make an appointment to you. Perry's had uh, has a problem with his phone, and it's a legit problem. It's not something that I can really walk him through. Uh, so we'll do that. Well, now can you just chill out for one second for two? I I just, I just want your time for two minutes. Nothing crazy. No. I'm not going to run any comments or anything no. like that. Come on, just sit Why? Down. What do you want from me now? I just want you to. I just want to talk to you like a human being instead of acting like a crazy person. You know, not stream, the stream, stream's not over the now. Internet. Get off the damn stream. Well, well, Perry, if you sit down, I will get off. Okay, I'm I'm trying to talk to people that are still spending their Friday with us. Well, I don't want to be on the stream. I know you don't, Perry. But can you sit down and talk Bye. to me like a human? I'm asking for two minutes of your time to sit down and act like a human being. I mean, I'm putting my stream on my buffer and put it away. You can put the buffer away, no problem. Keep the snowboard there, though. That's part of the deal. And then you got to make the sign over the weekend. Fucking retarded! Hey, we don't use those kind of words on uh, after hours. I don't give a shit. I know you don't, Perry, but uh, we have a strict no language policy here at after hours, and uh, we don't appreciate potty mouse like you coming in. Sorry about that, folks. You know, it's funny. I often wonder if Perry loses his cool with other people in the wild. And I did get a little whiff of it. I, had... I got By a little way, whiff I... of it the other day because oh, I was on the phone me. with him as he was on the other line. And he was talking to some like somebody from, I, I forget, he was like making an appointment or something like that. And like it was a little bit of a complicated process. And he started being really testy with the <laughs> woman on the phone. He's like, I want to know when this person is going to call me. You got 10 minutes. And it was basically like he had a video call appointment and he was, um, he was trying, uh, speaking of, I got to take this call, Perry. Hold on a second. This is my dad. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hello? That's personal, God! Anyway, so he was on the phone with this woman, and he was just like, when is this person going to call me back? And she's like, well, like I said, sir, you know, I put it in the system, and, you know, they can call you at any time. If they don't call me within 15 minutes, uh... And, and then he realized he didn't have a threat for this person, like he does with us. I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And meanwhile, the whole call was to benefit him, and the woman was doing the best he could, and I just happened to be in the background. Anyway, can I talk to you for a human being for two minutes of your time? And Why? Then we'll because I just want to show people that you're a human being and not a raging psychopath. Yeah. I want sure. off stream Perry right now. Earpiece. No, I don't need the earpiece. I do. Why? We're not on the phone. We're on. You can hear me over the speakers. Why would you need the earpiece? Yeah. All right. Why would you need the earpiece? I think when I need to talk to you away from. But I can hear you right here. Anyway, 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 anyway. You or anybody else that calls. Right, but I'm not calling. I'm here. I'm on the screen. Anyway. I was talking when you were rude to that woman on the phone the other day, but are there other times throughout the week, let's say, and again, Perry, this is after hours. We're just chilling out. We're just talking. If you're just tuning in, after this, hours, is not, this is not PCL. That's supposed to be after hours. Right, Perry, again, just I'm looking for you to be a human being here. And not a, I'm trying to prove to people that after the stream, you're not a raging psychopath. Are there times throughout the week because everybody knows who watches PCL that you, you don't even know what I'm going to ask yet. So you're all set to answer something you don't know the question. My question is, we all know that you have a volatile um, temper. And sometimes it's hard to compartmentalize things for you. And we all accept that. And sometimes it's entertaining and sometimes it's not. But during the week, 
like in your daily life, nothing to do with PCL or anything like that, when you're out in an out and about in the wild, let's say, do you ever get into it with somebody else and start blowing up with your temper like the way you do on the stream? If it's a if it's a something that happens, yes. Like give me an example of something that like somebody cuts you off or somebody bumps into you, do you go That's like hey, asshole? Like do you go crazy on them? Sure. Like, give me an example of something that happened recently, like in the past six months. I don't know. Do you ever have road rage? I don't have road rage like uh, I did when I was younger. Um, 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 um. Do I get mad at people that do stupid shit like cut you off and stuff? Yeah, I, I get pissed. You know, I'll yell a few words and then move on. Right, but give me an example of what would set you off. Like if you're in a Costco or, I don't know, anywhere that you go normally where you just completely lose your I don't your get mad at somebody. people at Costco, okay? I don't get mad at people at the grocery okay, store. Okay, I'm making an example of something in the wild that triggers you where you go thermonuclear on somebody. Well, I very seldom go thermal nuclear like I do on my stream. That's kind of yeah, what I'm asking. It's, yeah, it's very seldom. Normally, that's with family family people. Brian, Amy, Kenny. That's that's the the family ordeal. Yeah. Right, but I'm just asking more like in real life when you lose. Yeah, your I, I I have. I don't have a girlfriend anymore or wife anymore that I would be going thermonuclear over, wow, uh, yelling at them over, uh, and I haven't gone therm therm I haven't gone thermonuclear like that since those days. All right. I mean, I would like Gina to be in my life. Uh, I don't see myself going thermonuclear with her ever, ever, ever. She'll call me down. Yeah, well, yeah. Like like how uh, the Black Widow calms down the Hulk in the Avenger movies? Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could say something to that extent. Like what? Yeah, like, like, like the Black Widow calms down the Hulk. Right. Sure. Yeah, Gina will call me down the same way. Because I feel like the Hulk. I don't get that strong. I have no way of... I, don't, I, have no, I no longer have that type of strength due to surgery two and three. How are you feeling right now? Wiped out? No, I knew they were going to say that. What time do I go to... Uh... Don't worry about it. I'll tell you that uh, in private, okay? I don't want to announce your appointment, uh, when that is or what day it is, uh, right here. Day? Oh, so it's not today? Well, I didn't say when it was. Yeah, that sucks. Can I get off the internet, please? Yes, you can. I just wanted people to see that you weren't always a raging lunatic. Remember, you got to do that. A couple of things you got to do over the weekend. You got to do that sign. You got to watch some uh, Blue Iris for Patreon. By the way, thanks everybody for signing up for uh, Patreon. Oh, oh, I got to do that. Re re Stop with the R word. You're like back into that full flex. Ah, fuck the R word. Yeah, F exactly. F it's the just R a word. word. It's just a stupid word, okay? Yeah. Give me a favor, Perry. Can you do me one quick favor? For all things you know I do what? for you, can you do something for me? No what? Can yes. you fill? Can you fill like thirty seconds of time while I get some water, uh, for my after hours audience, and then you can say goodbye. But until I get back, thirty minutes to a minute. Thank you. Thirty seconds. Yeah, just say hi, everybody. Yeah, thirty. Thirty minutes to an hour with you. Okay. Well, what do you want me to write on this? And I'll do it on a sharpie and grab some scotch and or some.
backing tape and put it on the board. When you come back, ugh, ugh, board's not for sale. I will be in the snow, I will be on the snow, and I will be snowboarding. If Gina's not going to be there with me, that's her problem. If I lose my life in the snow, then I lose my life in the snow. <laughs> yeah. That'll never happen, though. Too careful. You're too scared, and I'm too careful. Well, Perry, this is how you fill in time on after hours. Yeah, right? well, not even saying anything. Why do I need to be filling in time when it's because I asked you a favor after all the favors you well, ask me? Well, yeah, I, I guess. I just, you know. Okay. Um. All right. Listen, Perry. Have a great weekend. I will call you in a little bit. I'll let you know all about your appointment. Appointment? Yeah. What are you talking about? For your phone. Oh. You want, what, do you want to make the sign right now since you got the paper and pen out? You can do it right now. You step over here and I'll okay. write it out. Well, why don't you do it right here at the desk? Why do you got to go all the way over there? Because there's more room over here. Makes no sense. Go to, go to the part of, part of the house that has no... What do I say? Uh... Let me just make sure I'm getting it right. You're going to say, never be in the snow, all caps, explanation point. And make sure it's big lettering because we need to see it from this distance. Never be in the snow. Maybe if you want two pages together, but it's never be in the snow. And make it a vertical on the page, you know, don't make it wide. Never be in the snow. Okay, I think I got that. Spring day, I'm there, bitches. Well, that may or may not be true, Perry, but this is the offer for this. And just tape it to the board. Let me see if that's big enough. Never be in the snow. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah, put it right in the middle of the board. You got to tape it to the board. On the top of the board. Sure, wherever you want it. But as long as we can see it. Thank you. Pussies. Oh, you people are a bunch of fucking pussies. Again, Perry, you're using... I know you're a very foul-mouthed guy. You know what they say? People that swear a lot, they say it's a, a it, it's it, ignorance. And and it's a, a part of the head injury. And a lack Definitely of... Definitely part well, of the head injury. It's also... When I came out of a coma, it's also a, I came out of that coma. Yeah. I would stop swearing. Right. Right, but if you're in a certain setting, you would stop. Like if you were in a place, well, you know, that you respected, you would setting. stop. Setting. All right, that's good. We could see it. I'm good with that. Thank you. I'm just saying, you know, when somebody asks you not to be like, if like if I if I invited you over my home and my family was here, yeah, if you invite me to your home, that's when I keep my mouth clean. R well, right. So, but if you if you can do it in that setting, why couldn't you do it here? Here is all I'm saying. Um, are we off the air? No, please. We're, we're, I'm getting off the air now. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm getting off the air now. I'm going to sign you off, Perry. I'm going to say a couple of goodbyes and then I'll call you. Okay, I got plans tonight. I got to do dinner. And uh, hey, I don't know if you're what? excited about this, but there was a new Mario game released for the Switch today. It's called. I Super give a rat's ass. Wow, it's called Super Mario I don't, Wonder. I, I know nothing about that stupid game. I've never missed a day one uh, Mario release. I'm not going to start now. I'm going to play with Teddy, who's very hey, excited. That's your, that's your business. Yeah, it is my business, Perry. I was sharing what I was doing. I was sharing shit. with, see, what I was doing was sharing with you what I was doing tonight, as, as like a friend would do. 
you don't have to crap on it. You may not like it, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. God damn it. Um, All right, so we'll see everybody on Monday, Perry. Folds in this, in this uh, extension cord, because it's such a short cord, are so different than what I'm used to. And uh, what does that mean? Oh, you know, it's just all twisted up and shit. Oh, yeah, if you're way. tuning in, yes, it's after hours. Yes. There we go. Long way. That's why. Damn. That's why. And uh, we'll have the stream back up tomorrow, sometime on Saturday. Sorry about Perry's uh, terrible. Surfing day. tomorrow and Sunday. Do not call me. Do not bother me. At the beach, baby. And tomorrow and Sunday is the two days that it starts to cool down. I might do Huntington Beach. I might do... So even though well, your uh, doctor said don't go surfing, that's what you're going to do? Please. Why don't you just go to the beach and relax? Or you go swimming or something like that. That's fine. What, what, why does everything got to be extreme? There's fins in a board. Fins in a board. Always fins in a board. Well, honestly, I, I, to, be, to, be, to be perfectly... Why fins in a board? So you don't get caught in an undertow, right. which is the, the, definitely the most safest way. To swim in the ocean. Okay, Perry, let me tell you what? something. I trust no one in life less to get out of an undertow than you. Less meaning meaning I know what I'm talking about? No, less meaning there is nobody I have less confidence in in the ocean than you. I'll tell you what, what I was going to say is since you don't actually surf, you just boogie board even though you call it surfing. I do honestly think that's fine. And if that gives you enjoyment and relaxation... Go for it. Uh, actually, standing on a surfboard would be bad, but you don't do that anyway. So I, I think so. I don't do that anymore. I haven't done that since '79. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever. I, 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 I have a hard time believing you ever did it. To be honest with you. But anyway, I think that's fine. It's a boogie board. It's not a, a, a real surfboard. So, you know. Okay, Steel Panther. Let's not get used to these Fridays where we come back after the stream ends because uh, that can't happen every week. But this is more like uh, like one of those Marvel endings where people walk out during the credits and like, oh, no, there's a teaser for the next one here. That's kind of what this is. What are you going to do with that? Well, these these guys are old friends of mine, so oh. Rock Band, oh. Ralph, and I didn't know Rat that. Ratchet and... Those guys, oh yeah, I've known them for God since the late '80s, since uh, the Reseda Country Club. Oh no, no, no! Are you gonna save that Italian dressing? I'm throwing it away. Really? That's too bad. Yep. That's, that's good dressing. I mean, why not? If if you just get some stuff for a salad, you'd have good salads for like a year with that. Don't forget to donate that other stuff, though. I'm serious about that. You can yeah. go to the, the, the tampons and stuff the like church over on uh, Lindley and Sadequoi. Right, that's for the food, but there. for the, the the tampons and stuff, you can bring that to a homeless shelter, and they'll gladly accept it for people that are uh, you know unfortunate and you know. I'm sure there's some women that could use that, even though. You know you don't want it. Never. Okay, you can say right. whatever. I'll do my. I'll do. I'll do you the. I'll do all the work for you. I'll look up where you can bring it. I I know where to bring it because I got a church right here on Lindley. Okay, I know, but now, it's not. It's not the church. The church is for the food. I'm talking the, about the church is for everything. Church is for everything. All right. Um. What are you gonna do with this guy? Just just message me the or text me, the um 
Um, I'll call you when I'm done, which will be very shortly. Okay? I'm Don't off. worry. You're not going to miss bye. it. It's not anytime soon. Bye. All right. Bye, Perry. I'll see you later, all right? Oh. What are you going to do right now? Put the glasses away and do some other stuff. Like what? Just give me one example. I don't know. Whatever I see that I have to do. <laughs> all right. I'm not going to push it. Perry, I'll see you later, all right? I'm jacking off, that's for sure. What's that? I'm not jacking off, that's for sure. Well, please don't do that while we're here. That's, that would be... Uh, that's too hot for after hours. <laughs> all right, I'll let Perry go. Uh, that was nice, though, that sometimes he was able to come on. Sometimes I like to see that he's a human being. By the way, I saw somebody, I think it, at the corner of my eye in in the YouTube chat, of course, it's always the YouTube chat, but somebody uh, bitching and moaning that they're not on the screen chat. And uh, it, it, it's like, that, that's a right, not a privilege. And if you've been in like kind of a jackass or like you're like a whiner, or like, yeah, we do take you off the main thing. But, you know, if, you, if you're cool and you say, hey, can I come back? We'll usually put you back, but man, to go on and on about it, this guy was like, "Oh, I'm canceling my Patreon." I was like, so cancel your Patreon. You think, you know, I mean, th that that's just such a childish uh, way to be. You know, obviously the main uh, screen is, uh, you know, what you're looking at right now. It's like, yeah, maybe we don't want uh, somebody bitching and moaning over and over on there. Now, are we blocking you or something like that? No, I'm talking about the screen chat that's on the screen. People that we've heard from a couple of people that. Complain about that. Well, hold on. Perry's calling. Yeah, what's up? I'm still on, Perry. Oh. I'm. Are you calling me about the appointment? Don't worry. I'll call you. You'll have plenty of time. Bye. 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 So, <laughs> this guy loves his appointments. So, I'm just saying, it's very petty to complain about uh, not being, you know, I know the, the YouTubers, and by the way, YouTube wasn't even on the screen chat for a long time. You know, we went out of our way to put YouTube chatters into the main chat. Uh, with the cool uh, Twitch people. So, you know, the, the, don't be a petty uh, idiot uh, by complaining like, oh, I'm not on the, uh, the screen chat. So I'm going to bitch and moan and cancel my Patreon. So cancel your Patreon. You know, like, like is, that, is, is that like a, a flex? It's like, okay. You know, it's not the kind of, you know, our Patreon isn't the kind of thing where it's just there. So people can support PCL. Yeah, it does support PCL. It supports me because how I get paid from PCL stuff is I, I do have half of Patreon uh, with Perry. And I put a lot of work into it. So yeah, if you don't want to see all the cool stuff and hear the voicemails and the phone calls and all that stuff, that's fine. Cancel your Patreon. But, it, but don't say it like it's a flex. Like, <laughs> fine, you know, because my name isn't in the main channel. I mean, God, how old are you, by the way? Because if you're over 17 and you're saying that, you should, you know, really examine yeah, yeah, yourself. Uh, you're not banned just because you're not in the main screen chat. It just means that maybe you were too much of a, a, a annoyance. And when people watch back these streams, we don't want to showcase, you know, I, I don't even like the screen chat on the main screen anyway. I've been on record with that. I hate it for a number of reasons. Uh, I like a clean screen, but you guys like it, so it's on there. But we're not going to put people on there that are just like, Perry sucks, this sucks, this, whatever, whatever. You know, I, I don't mean like once in a while. I mean like nonstop, like being kind of a dick. So, Vincent says, I had to cancel Patreon because I'm broke. I get that. I get that. Please. There's plenty of things that I've, uh, I've pared down. I finally canceled Netflix because I never use it, and they were raising their price. And I'm like, why am I paying for something that I never use? I really pared down on my subscriptions. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd mention that because I saw it pop off and I, I didn't know what they were really talking about. But yeah, if you got a problem, if, if, if you've been uh, disabled from the screen chat, which by the way, is a very rare few. If you've been disabled from the screen chat, you're kind of an asshole because that is very rare. It's, it's like hardly ever done, ever. Uh, Patsy says, hey, Tom, are our Twitch comments on the screen for YouTube people to see like we could see? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, the one that you see on the screen, everybody sees. Everybody sees. 
you know. And I know Twitch people don't like the YouTube people being on there because Twitch, Twitch let's just face it, Twitch has a better chat system. YouTube chat stinks. I tried it. I remember like when I, I I'll watch like the premieres of the uh, the best ofs that Garrett does a great job with. Shout out to the latest one. Uh, and like I've tried to chat. It's especially if you're on your phone. It it just stinks. You know, Twitch is many things. Twitch is many things that are annoying. But one thing they have nailed down is their chat system. Rookie says I canceled Apple Plus, and the only reason I keep Peacock is because I let my mom use it. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I had. Um, God, I had Hulu for the longest time because Perry used it, and now he has his own. <laughs> I should actually ask him for a lot because I don't have Hulu at the moment. And um, I have Apple Plus because it was free, but I never use it. And once once that free period runs out, I'll cancel it. The only things I really use are YouTube. I use Pluto TV and um, Amazon Video, Amazon Prime Video because they have a lot of old school stuff that I like to watch, like Mannix and like some really old obscure TV shows. Um, once in a while, I'll go on to Max, and I only have that because my well, my mom did enjoy HBO, but my dad still pays for HBO, so I get it through him. But I wouldn't pay for it on my own. And we have um, Paramount because. Uh, I get that through some, I forget, some kind of thing gives me free Paramount, but uh, Teddy likes that because uh, that's where SpongeBob is, and SpongeBob's like his favorite thing. So Now, uh, YouTube made it where if you have Adblock Plus, you can no longer watch videos unless you whitelist it. Oh, re I heard that they were cracking down on ad blockers. Uh, YouTube. Uh, I have premium, and I think if you're, if you're a person that watches YouTube on a regular basis, uh, you got to go for YouTube premium. It's just... Uh, just, just the way it is. Just suck it up and get YouTube Premium. Uh, appreciate your comments about shelter donations. I know it's a thing created by fans rather than you guys as stream managers, but my one gripe with the stream for a while was the amount of f wasted food. Yeah, I get it, you know, but listen, you know, blame the people that send things to Perry that they just know he's not going to use anyway. Uh, you know, that, that's where you got to place uh, the blame for but be happy that there's a system in place now where it's not as wasted as it was before. Fast food will still probably be wasted. Although he used to put it out in the wall. No, Paramount's not through Amazon. I think Paramount is through, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I know I get Paramount somehow and it's free. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I, that, that's one I would pay for. I, I like Paramount because I'll watch like the odd couple on, on uh, Paramount. Um, and what else is there? Yeah, there's just other stuff that I just don't use. And then I buy a lot of movies on iTunes now. Like back in the day, I would used to like torrent things and have my own media server and stuff. That just gets exhausting, especially when you have, you know, basically two jobs, which, you know, counting PCL and, you know, kids and family stuff to do. It's like, I don't have time to like download and maintain stuff. I do download certain things that you can't get anywhere else, you know, like the original version of Star Wars or stuff like that. But on the whole, I'm good with just buying stuff on sale on iTunes. All right, this is Perry again. I'm still on the air, Perry, so watch your language. All right, I'm just going to drive over there. No, don't drive over there, Perry, because the appointment's not today, and you can't go without an appointment. So can you have a modicum of patience and wait for me to call you back? Bye. This guy loves appointments. He loves having something in his book. And uh, that phone thing was more important to him today than his own stream. I love the boys on Amazon. Yeah, I never watched that. Oh, and I like, uh, you know what I like on Amazon? And I haven't seen it in recent seasons. I still need to catch up. I really like that show, Bosch, on uh, Amazon. And I, whatever the last season was, I never watched it. Now there's like a different version of the show that I've not seen. So I, I, I would like to see that. I did watch a recent show recently. I watched... Um, uh, Justified City Primeval. I was a big fan of the show Justified with Tim Timothy Oliphant based on the Elmore Leonard books. Really enjoyed that. So that's a new show that I did watch and I watched it pretty quick because it was only like eight episodes. Uh, what's wrong with his phone? He's not, he's not receiving and can't send text messages and when he does send a text message it comes from his email address not his phone number. So that's that's what's wrong with his phone. It's 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 And it's 
so it, it in a way it's kind of saved me because it's uh, I, I'm sure I missed the last hundred Gina texts. So there's like a big explanation point where his iMessage icon is, and he went into he actually went into T-Mobile yesterday to see if they took care of it, but uh, they couldn't. So he's got to go to the Apple Store. He's gonna go to and I got news for him. He's gonna go tomorrow. I love Justified. The new season wasn't great. I disagree. I really like. I heard people say that they didn't like the new season, and I went in with very low expectations. And um, I I enjoyed it. It was different, and uh, and of course the last uh, the very last episode where they kind of teased the next season was was great. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure it's an easy fix. I looked it up online on how to fix it, but I just don't have the patience to do that kind of tech time. So. He's just going to go over and waste time with an Apple genius because I can't, you know. You got to remember, PCL never, it's not PCL, but Perry never turns off for me. So, you know, if you hear me sound a certain way with Perry, um, it's, you know, it's because this is like all week. It's never ending. Uh, it never turns off. Main plus for YouTube Premium is that there's no ads and you can run uh, YouTube. Back. Yeah, I agree with Garrett. By the way, it's super lame that YouTube does that. You should be able to run YouTube in the background without it being a premium feature. So if you're playing a video, because a lot of times, a lot of the YouTubers I watch, it's mainly just talk based. I don't really need to be watching it. And when I want to minimize it and like, I got to go to the car or I got to you know run around or something like that, I want to still listen to it. I don't need to be watching it. So if you don't have YouTube Premium, if you minimize it, uh, it just goes away. But Premium keeps it up. Anyway, yeah, Premium, to me, out of everything, out of all the streaming services, YouTube Premium is top shelf. Mark says, understandable, he's like my parents with technology. Pretty much, pretty much. He's about the level, he's a little better than my dad. And my dad's pretty bad with like phone stuff. So I got my dad an iPhone thinking that would be easier. It's actually turned out to be... Uh, far more difficult. So he, Perry's not doesn't have a phone interview. He's he's physically going to the Apple Store, and they'll hopefully uh, God help the uh, genius that has to deal with him. But I'd ra I'd ra you know what? It, here's how it is. It would take me, and I'm not exaggerating. It would take me at least an hour to walk him through how to fix this problem because it is an Apple ID issue, and I looked it up, and I could probably relay that information to him over the phone, but why would I do that on my weekend? Why would I do that on my Friday night and like make myself far far more crazy and like stressed out and everything like that when it's an easy thing that somebody else can do. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to push off Teddy uh Teddy Tech Time. Perry's Tech Time. I say that cuz Teddy and I have a big night plan. Can we get a stream of Perry's ring camera with him handing out Halloween candy? Perry doesn't hand out Halloween candy. He doesn't participate in Halloween in any way. Yeah, right. An hour saying, that, yeah, it could be more than that. Because we've had tech things, Perry's tech time, where it's been me and him on the phone. And I'm relate and it could be something with the computer. It could be something with the phone. It could be a Bluetooth issue. And I'm spending like a ton of time doing this. But why do I have to do this? Perry going to the Apple store should be a Perry remote. You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's probably would be very entertaining to see him go to the Apple uh, genius thing. I, I would love to have him get some content from that, but I don't see it happening. What am I drinking? Just water. I'm not, uh, not, not I don't drink while I work. And once in a blue moon, I'll crack open a beer. I think once on the stream, I actually had like a scotch <laughs> on like a really crazy thing. Who's harder to raise, Teddy or Perry? Uh, Perry, by far. It's not even, it's not even close. Bloodbane, I just got home from buying Mario Wonder. Wow, you buy the physical. I'm, I'm a digital guy. I know there's pros and cons to digital, but I cannot be bothered to like uh, deal with those like I don't care what system it is, like cartridges or discs, uh, with all that clutter. And then if I want to play a game, I got to get up and like insert a new thing. I know there's 
cons to d digital and people say, oh, you don't really own it, but I'm sorry, I'd rather have that. Same thing with like iTunes, like buying TV shows and, and movies on iTunes. I, I like the... Uh, I like the convenience of having it right there at the touch of my finger and uh, rather than taking bookshelves up of like, you know, DVDs or Blu-rays that what am I going to reach for Goodfellas? Like maybe once every seven years. Does that merit it taking up that much space in my home? I don't have that much space to work with. So no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, do I like Resident Evil? I've never really played it, to be honest. I've tried to play it. I remember playing it on GameCube, like, you know, I'm talking like 20 years ago. Never got into it. Uh, digital is convenient, but the major downside is almost possible to get a refund. Well, you know what? It, it depends on where you buy it. Uh, games, very difficult to get a, a refund. I have gotten refunds off of iTunes in situations, and one of the things I can't stand, not just iTunes, this is any digital platform where you buy media from, like movies, I cannot stand it when they have a movie available on uh, let's just uh, I'm gonna make an example so they have Step Brothers right and it's not that's not one of my favorite movies but you know what for five bucks maybe I'd buy it because it is funny and you know and then I saw that there is an unrated version and that not that I even know what that is but that's so that's such bullshit that they have two separate releases it should be all in one you should buy Step Brothers and then the special features there should be the unrated version if you want to see that or this or that uh, there's something with rated R comedies in the early to mid 2000s that had this fixation with release, releasing an unrated version and it could be very different and it could be not like Tropic Thunder is an example of a movie that they have a very different unrated version and the unrated version is not as good as the theatrical but I don't know anything about uh, I don't know anything about Step Brothers but anyway I, I saw that they had the unrated version I was like you know god damn I just and both were on sale and I, was, I just spent so I sent. I actually took a thing, uh, took the step to of contacting them on uh, whatever the th there's a website, and I said, hey, I wanted to buy the unrated version or whatever the director's version, whatever they call it, and uh, they gave me the refund, and I was able to buy the thing. So it was it was easy, but it, that's a very annoying thing to me. Like for example, a, a, something you see on sale all the time on iTunes is. They have a Blade Runner, uh, I think it's four movies. Which, When you're saying to yourself, how could Blade Runner be four movies? Because Blade Runner only has two movies. There's the original Blade Runner, and then there's the sequel that came out, I don't know, like five years ago or so. And they have its separate releases. There's the theatrical version, which is my preference. Then there's the uh, director's cut, from like 1992 and then there's the final version which, and they're all separate purchases which is ridiculous whereas if you buy the movie on blu-ray or 4k they'll all they're all in one you could select what version you want to see so i think that's where they got to get their their shit together uh itunes and then also amazon does this too and all the um they they and some do it some do it like uh some movies you buy on iTunes and it has all the versions in one and special features and other ones they're separate. Like Friday the 13th is on sale right now because it's Halloween season. And if you want to buy the first Halloween, it's five bucks. It's on sale. And then there's a separate, the uncut version. Well, why would you even buy the original version of the uncut version? But they don't make the uncut version as prominent on the sale site. Anyway, I'm getting into the iTunes weeds. Do I prefer the, the yeah, the theatrical cut all day long over the final cut of Blade Runner. And I have gone back and forth on this over the years where I have liked the, um, I liked the director's cut in 92 when that came out and then they did the final cut and I thought that that was great. But you know what? I'm sorry. I think the Harrison Ford voiceover for Blade Runner makes it so much better and makes it more of a, a, a throwback to the film noir movies of like, you know, the 1940s, and it's better. And you know what? I'm sorry. The original theatrical has the better ending to Blade Runner. I don't like the ending in the final cut or whatever, because Ridley Scott is trying to take ownership over the script and saying, uh, is he or is he not a replicant, whatever. I, I don't like that nonsense. I don't like the whole unicorn sequence. I'm getting, this is a deep dive into people who know what Blade, know Blade Runner. Um, 
because I was convinced that the because one of the things the big thing about the original director's cut that Ridley Scott put out is like oh we got rid we got rid of the uh, narration because he hated it and Harrison Ford didn't like it that, that's all nonsense that's his opinion I I think it adds to it well, I've watched it with both especially when you're watching with somebody who's never seen it before uh, it explains a lot of stuff it go it doesn't the voiceover in Blade Runner doesn't explain stuff necessarily that you can pick up on your own. And I like it. I'm sorry. I, that's my preference. But I'm not going to argue with somebody that likes the final cut. I'm just saying that for, for now on, uh, I'm, try, I'm really trying to be spoiler free. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting into any spoiler stuff. Um, I just like the detective aspect of Blade Runner. I like the visuals of it. And I think the uh, theatrical cut nailed it. Uh, there's like one or two things I like in the uh, final cut, but not enough to get me off it. So for probably the rest of my life, if I'm going to watch Blade Runner, which how many times do I got Blade Runner left in me to watch? I've seen it a lot. Maybe I've got less than 10 times to see it. I am going to watch the theatrical cut. That's just me. Uh, but anyway, my whole point is when you buy these things digitally, I wish it could be all be combined. And the one thing I like about iTunes, which I think if you're going to buy movies digitally, it's better to do it within iTunes for this very reason, is when what's what's annoying is let's say you're a physical media person and you buy, let's use Goodfellas as an example. I'm just picking something at random. And then you buy the Blu-ray and then they come out with the 4K, right? If you buy the 4K... Uh, you got to buy the 4K separately on physical, and then sometimes on Amazon you buy a movie, they'll come up with a 4K release, and it's separate. iTunes upgrades you automatically. If you buy any version of the movie, when the new version comes out and it's like a new remaster, upgraded automatically. You don't have to pay another dime. I like that. Hold on a second. Yeah, Perry, I'm still on. So w w are, you, are, you, are you nagging me about the phone appointment? I was just going to say, so I'm going to right now. No, no, don't go now. They won't take you. You need an appointment. So I don't. I told you this. I said when I'm done here, I will call you with the appointment, okay? So do not go anywhere. They will not take you. That you, you, you need an appointment. At the Northridge Mall? Perry, I am asking. Right. So, drive home Fine. and wait Fine. for my call like I asked you earlier. I don't know why you're so impatient. Right. I'll tell you what. When you go, when you go, can you film it? Can you get some content out of it? I didn't think so. Now, you heard me earlier. I said, wait for my call, right? This happens all the time. And he's just, he cannot get it out of his head. So he's on, you know, he's on his way to do this. So, uh, this guy, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, I can't do a seven hour. I really got to go. I can't, I got uh, dinner plans. Uh, we got to play some uh, Super Mario Wonder. <laughs> you know, I know I sound like I'm tr I'm 12 years old, <laughs> but uh, I do like my Mario games. Uh, somebody asked, do I still talk to Scott Atzid on a regular? Uh, no, not really. I haven't heard from Scott in a long time. Scott's an actor, really good guy. Uh, but no, I haven't heard from him in a while. It's been a minute or two, as they say. Northridge Mall's Apple store is always packed. He needs an appointment. Yeah, of course. You, you need an appointment in any Apple store. That's what's annoying about it. Uh, what kind of work do you do outside of PCL, Tom? Um, I do different things. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to get into detail about my main job for obvious reasons. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I, I said it on the stream. But this is funny. So I do uh, voiceover work on occasion. I don't I don't do it as much as I used to, but I do do it. And I recently lost a job to AI, <laughs> which makes me really think, like you know, maybe I should second guess this whole thing. So yeah, the it was basically for a, a YouTube documentary, and I was like, you know, I was like, okay, so went along and did like a demo and everything like that. And uh, they went another direction. And then when I saw the final product, it was, you, you could spot these AI voices because they're, they're very good and they have inflections and stuff, but there's certain words that AI voices just can't say or like certain 
things that they can't read right. And I was just, I, I cannot, you know, I, I get it though, because that was probably free. <laughs> I get it. I 100% get it, but that's where we are now. It's just, uh, it's 2023. So yeah, I, I that, that was a first for me, losing a job to an AI generated voice. So humbling as well. I think I would have done a better job, but uh, they definitely, uh, they got that cheaper. That's for sure. What was the documentary about? Uh, it, you know what? It was about New York City. It was uh, it was like a New York City uh, thing. It's on, you know, actually, I don't think it's on YouTube now. I think it's like a separate platform and it's eventually going to go on YouTube. But yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Uh, that's not always the case, but I, I guarantee you it's just going to be cheaper. Um, you know, voiceover talent, not, not that I'm calling myself a talent, but voiceover, the voiceover industry has really been upended for a long time now because um, especially in animation where starting with, I believe it was probably Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin that really kicked the table uh, when they cast um, Robin Williams as the genie. And I think he took like a salary cut to do it. And then that was a big success. And it was, um, what was, what year was that? Oh, I, I believe that was 92 as well. Uh, so the next movie that came out was Lion King and all their, all, you know, and by the way, James Earl Jones, great as Mufasa, the, the lion, but I don't know, Matthew Broderick, do you think he's really the best Simba? Do you think, you know, all these other people are good as the other characters? And it, it kind of just blew the, do, blew the doors open. So now any animated film that comes out has celebrity voices, you know, like Toy Story, et cetera, et cetera. Any move, any animated film that's come out. But if you go before um, Aladdin, you know, you look at Beauty and the Beast. I'm, I'm just looking in the past... 30, 40 years, Beauty and the Beast had mainly voiceover talent, you know, real singers. You know, the person who played Belle was a real Broadway singer, you know, voiceover person. And um, um, uh, Robbie Benson was is the Beast. He's he's a voice guy, uh, theatrically trained. God damn this guy. Perry, you are the biggest pest in the world. Wait for me to call you back about this phone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will it be today or is it tomorrow or what? Well, what, you'll what just have to you'll just have to uh, make a wish. Unless you want to do after hours with me until I'm done. I'm almost done. I got no. ten. No. Okay, then I'll call you back. Have some then patience. Today or to, tomorrow? Have some patience. I'll call so you I back. I have to make a fucking wish. Okay. Well, I just hung up on him. Uh, Honey Baby says, I tried to get into voiceover work for years with no luck, but Ohio is not uh, an epicenter of finding work. Yeah, that may or may not be true, but you know, in this day and age, uh, a lot of people have their own studios at home uh, for voice work. Um, I can recommend it. I can recommend a place to go to. Um, you know, if you're really serious about it, if you're really serious about voice work, because I, I I did some things. <laughs> I did some things in voiceover that you know were kind of strange early on. Um, I don't know, I'll say strange, but you, you, they would definitely raise an eyebrow. Um, but um, there's a uh, there's a really good facility that you can go to, a, a, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the name of it. I think it's Voice Coaches or something like that, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. But if you write me, I'll, I'll let you know. And if you're really serious about taking it seriously, what you have to do is you have to go to, to the, this is the best place. This is, and I'll tell you, this is the place that I went to. And um, I know Liam Neeson went there. I know a lot of celebrities have gone there to kind of hone their voice work. And what they do is, you know, you gotta obviously pay for it. You're gonna have to travel there. Uh, it's located in New York, upstate New York. And they'll really work with you. They'll analyze your voice. And what they'll do is the most important thing you need when you do voiceover work is some kind of demo reel to send out. Now back in the day, you would send out CDs and sometimes that's still valid because you know, in the digital age, um, 
things get cluttered up. But if they see a CD with like your name on it and you, you can give a bunch of reads, but what you can't do, and a lot of people make this mistake is they recruit, they record a demo of themselves and they'll just find some uh, demos of like ad copy from, you know, Google and legally you can't do that. You can't just read your own copy, even if it's for a demo, it's a weird thing, but they'll give you, they'll give you um, ad copy and they'll record you and they'll put together a demo for you. You know, and they'll work with you. You'll get like professional voice for people that work with you. And they'll tell you what you're good at. They'll tell you what you're not good at. Uh, and they would, you know, they really kind of try to hone you. And they'll, they'll tell you straight up if it's not for you. They're not gonna bullshit you. They're not there to just take your money. They'll be like, you know what? Everybody thinks they can do this. You can't. <laughs> they'll, they'll say it more delicately than that. But they'll work with you and be like, hey, you know what? You'd be really good for this and that. And you know what? So I did that and I, I had the demo out and I started doing like radio ads and, and things like that. And I've done other things. But you know what? I, you got to be to do voiceover work like full time and actually make money at it and do be really good at it. You really got to be a hardcore go getter. You got to be your own um, agent and manager and you just got to be really pushy and get yourself out there. Uh, and you know, and then maybe you get in the union, which is after now SAG after, and then you don't, you know, uh, it's a very weird time right now with the SAG after strike because there are, there's a lot of voiceover work that's non-union, but you know, do you technically that's bad if you're taking a gig that's non-union anyway, it's a whole thing. Uh, so the place is called voice coaches. Let me just Google it real quick to make sure because it's been, it's been a minute or two since I've been there. But I, this is uh, a place that I can highly recommend. They're located in Albany. Um, I don't think I get any referral credit or anything. But and I, I, you know, I got I got the name of the main guy there. Um, yeah, it's voice. Go to voicecoaches.com. Voicecoaches.com, all one word. Let me make sure this is the right place because I don't want to send people to another place. If they're not in Albany, this is not the place. Or I believe this is the place, but contact me. Contact me because I don't want to give out something here that is off the top of my head. Um, yeah, did I have to blow a guy to get into SAG? No, you know how I got into SAG? Because I was an AFTRA and then they merged and then I'm automatically, you know, so AFTRA was the, uh, you know, the radio union mainly, but voice actor union also uh and then after and sag merged like i don't know 15 years ago and it became sag after so if you were in after so if you're in sag you're also in after and if you're in after you're also in sag that kind of works like that so but anyway yeah it's it's tough but th there's a lot there's a lot of room if you've got a good voice and you're confident in your voice uh there's a lot of room for work out there uh, there is, but you're going to have to, you're not, you're not going to get the greatest pay right away and everything like that. Who's the Ivan Marcota of uh, the voice school? You know what? It was this guy, I forget his name, but he had this really old time radio voice and he worked with me really well. And he said what I was good. He told me I was good for straight person. I don't mean like sexually straight. I mean like, you know, being the straight man in like a copy read. I can't be the goofy guy, like, hey, it's me, you know, like not, not being the goofy guy, but being kind of like the serious read guy. Uh, and, and they were very good, I recommend it. I took a course, um, it wasn't like a co college course, but I went to like my local community college because they, I just saw a thing, it was like, hey, how to be a voiceover actor. Uh, and it was something I was already doing, but wanted to take it a lot more seriously. And then uh, did the course, did the coaching stuff. And then this guy from this place, Voice Coaches, came in on the last day. And I was immediately like, oh, damn, this whole course was just a sales pitch to go to this stupid school. And I remember feeling really dejected and really stupid for uh, buying into it. But it turned out to be really good. And uh, it's not cheap. But I know the guy's main thing. I, I just have to dig through my emails and I can get the person's name. So just do me a favor. So if you're on Patreon, you can send me a DM there. But Or uh, Perry Caravella Live at gmail.com. And uh, I'll, I'll hook you. Because off the top of my head, I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. But, it, but if you're really into it. you know, And I've tried to get Perry into it too. But he's just so damn lazy about it. Uh, 
<laughs> you bet Perry calls again? I know. I, I actually got to go. I'm, I'm going to wrap up on that note uh, with, the, with the voice stuff. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway. I did... My, my first technical gig, is, is embarrassing to say, was like phone bank. Phone bank uh, guy. Where it was like, uh, you know, a local business. And it's like, you know, like, hello, you've reached computer guys. No one's available to take your call right now. And actually before that, uh, before I did any kind of voiceover stuff, uh, I used to work at my local movie theater when I was in high school. And uh, one, I think I've talked about this before, but the best day ever was when uh, I told the manager, who was this older woman, and she was very cantankerous. There's a lot of stories. I could go on and on about stories from this theater. And she would always leave the, the, the outgoing message. This is kind of during movie phone but before movie phone took over and bef obviously before the internet but you would call the local theater to get the movie times like hello you've reached you know you know the pineapple twin cinema you know today we're showing this at this this time at this. so i did that i i got i convinced her i was like her favorite like i was really like she liked me she didn't like a lot of people uh but she liked me and I said, you know, I'd really like to do the outgoing message. And I'll tell you, it was in 1992. And I remember the first uh, the first time I recorded it, they were showing Batman Returns and Honey, I Blew Up the Baby, which was the sequel to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And I remember, you know, like, you know, like, hey, in theater one, it was a twin cinema. So it was two theaters. It's like, in theater one, we're showing... Batman Returns with Michael Keaton showing at 12.30, 2.45, 5.15 with a late show Saturday and, you know, whatever. Friday and Saturday night late show, you know, at 10.30, you know, things like that. And then I think I've said this on After Hours before, but I'll say it again and I'll close with this. And uh, we goofed around a lot at the theater where we'd run, we'd sometimes run the movie. Uh, like I actually knew how to run film. Uh, because I kind of also was a projectionist apprentice. And um, whenever we'd get a new movie in, the projectionist would put it together. And sometimes we'd run it on like a late Thursday night before it premiered on Friday. This is also before, like now movies come out like, oh, we're going to start showing it on Thursday at like 5 o'clock. This is before that. There were no midnight showings or anything like that. We'd have our own late showing of like a big movie that came out. And, you know, we'd invite our friends and stuff like that. And it was it was cool. And we'd goof around, and then sometimes we'd have to change the marquee, too, which was out on the main avenue, which had, like, the lettering to put the movies out. You had to go out and put the movies. So anyway, uh, they joked, you know, we, we all joked around. And uh, so one, I, I don't, this wasn't the same night, but one time they changed the lettering to, for the outside thing to say, it was Honey, I Blew Up the Baby, and then they changed it to Honey, I Blew Tom. And it was on the main street for like that night. And then we just wanted to take a picture and then change it back, which the guy forgot to change it back until the next morning, which was which was kind of a big deal because a lot of people are <laughs> driving back and forth and seeing this marquee. That was one thing that wasn't on me because I wasn't necessarily the sign guy. But that was one thing where our antics kind of got carried away and you forget. Anyway, my thing was... Uh, Jim, am I going to see the new Scorsese movie? You know, it's not hitting me the right way. As much as I love uh, Scorsese and as much as I love DiCaprio, that trailer is not hitting me with the American Indians. I, I will probably see it eventually, but it's not grabbing me. I will say that. And I'm really pissed off that they moved Dune 2 back to March. I was looking forward to seeing that next month. Anyway, so... The phone bank thing, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure I told this before, but I'm gonna, I'll just say it again. So there was this thing that Stern, Stern used to play back in the, the quote-unquote day where um, he would play, he would call, in this. there was this gay uh, porno theater in Manhattan called the Bijou Theater. And back in like the late 80s, early 90s, every now and again, they'd play voice messages from various things. Like uh, he played the KKK guy and, you know, the wake-up white people stuff and then he played this thing called the bijou theater if you look it's got to be on youtube like howard playing the bijou theater 
uh, and it was all like, you know, and this guy, this very stereo, stereo, stereotypical uh, gay guy would answer, you know, not answer, but he'd be on the machine like, welcome to the Bijou Theater. Today we're showing, you know, uh, sales up. You know, and then he'd give like the description of what it is, but it would be very, it'd be very real. It would be like, uh, he wouldn't be doing it as a laugh, even though Stern would be playing it uh, as a laugh. I'm actually going to see real quick if, if it's on, um, if it's on YouTube uh, real quick, just, just, just for context. But anyway, so we'd call up and then he'd do like this voice and, um, like, you know, today, uh, you know, Anchors Away, starring, you know, like Lance Strong. You know, Lance Strong plays a young sailor who gets on a board, and boy, oh boy, does he get the shock of his life when the captain wants him to do deck duty. <laughs> you know, and and he's like, show times are 2.40, 6.40, you know, and it, don't forget our back room where anything happens. <laughs> and he pretty much talked like that. I can't find, uh... No, I see a YouTube video about it. Anyway, I wish I had an example because uh, I'm not doing the guy any justice. But then uh, Stern would go on and like make fun of it and do his own, and do like <laughs> do his own version of the message, you know. And he'd be like, "Welcome to the Bijou Theater. <laughs> like today we're showing, you know, cowboys on parade with plug my shorts, <laughs> you know." And it would just it would just be this bit that would go on and on and on. So anyway. Long story short, uh, now that I was the uh, movie guy on the, the answering machine, that's all it was. It was just an answering machine in the, in the office. And I did a fake, my version. You know, it, wasn't, it wasn't like original content by any means. It was just my lame impression of the Bijou Theater guy that Stern would play. And uh, how do you spell the name of the theater? I don't know. How would you spell Bijou? So it's uh, B-I-J-O-U. I did try looking, doing a quick uh, look on uh, YouTube, but I couldn't find it. But anyway, so um, maybe look up like Bijou Theater Message or something like that. Um, and, and it would have to be from like the 90s or below because I, I don't remember him ever uh, playing that um, after that. But anyway, so I would do... I would do, I did this one time. I, I wanted to, you know, we, we would be in the office and sometimes we would drink, like, because there was an older employee and he would go out and get beer. And we'd, after, on Thursday night is when you had to change the message because if the movie was leaving. Back then, too, keep in mind, now a movie will play for like a couple of weeks. These movies stayed for months. Like, there was sometimes a movie played for close to a year. Or something, you know, not when I was there, but I know like movies just stayed longer in theaters. So, but every now and again on a Thursday, you would have to change the, the message to, for the new movies. And I, you'd record over the previous tape, unless you messed up, then you got to do it again. And I just did a Bijou Theater and I was, and I just made up movies and I was just like, you know, and it was like, you know, uh, you know, welcome to the Twin Cinema, you know, new management, new rules. Tomorrow we have starting tomorrow we have two features that you will just love and it was like boys on parade so you know and a coming of innocence tale and I just you know whatever I said and I left it on there and I meant to I was going to record over it and do the real read but we were there's a lot of tomfoolery going on because people are drinking people are hanging out in the theater there might be a movie playing but you're not maybe paying attention to it because the movie stinks and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then I got to come back before we lock up, before we go home. I have to change this message back to the real message, the, the real theater. So when people call in, and this is during the summer too. So there's a lot of parents calling to see, you know, I forget whatever kid-friendly movie was playing at the time. Um, but anyway, long story short, I forgot to change the message. So the message stayed. And we locked up. I didn't have the keys to the place. There was another guy that like locked up. And we went home. And I got home. You know, I was living at my parents at the time. And I'm kind of like, you know, taking my, getting undressed and taking my, uh, you know, Usher shirt off. And then it hit me like, oh my God, I forgot to change the message. 
holy shit. And I immediately called the theater hoping that the old message was still on there. And maybe I didn't actually like hit the button to like change the message. And I called it and I heard my voice on there and it was like, hello, welcome to the, you know, think of like the most exaggerated 70s gay voice you could think of, like jerky boys times a thousand. And I was like, oh, that's it. I'm fired. <laughs> like there's just no, because I was working the next day, but I didn't open until like, I think 10 a.m. the next day. And I was sweating it. I don't think I got any sleep that, that night. I think I was just nervous. And then, uh, and then my dad drove me to work the next day. And there were already people in the theater, like there were, you know, the employees and stuff. And the manager, her name was Ruth. I'll never forget her because she was insane. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> nobody said, I walked in assuming people were going to start giving me looks, but nobody did. And by the way, the crew in the morning was, was nobody was there from the night before. This was a different crew. These are like the lame people, not the cool people. I was the only cool person that was in during the day. And I just had to get in that office. And they were like the, the guy that was loading like the, the, the ticket window and everything. And I was, that's where the uh, answering machine was. And I was like, uh, so what I ended up doing was I couldn't figure out a way to say, hey, I need to record a new message because I would never get any quiet. So I slyly went up to the answering machine and I just, um, I just hit record. And then I walked away from it. And then I let it record for like, 30 seconds and I turned it off and then that was the new message just complete silence then I could say to the manager hey there's something wrong with the outgoing message it's like oh what do you mean and she went up and played it and was like yeah it's silence now she would have played it originally and I said hey there's something wrong with the machine she would have heard my uh bs uh you know recording so uh, anyway I got out of that and then I was able to record it and it was fine. But man, uh, that, 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 I, I was sweating it for a bit. And uh, it, this story would be a lot cooler if I could find, you know, maybe I'll, maybe for the next after hours, I'll do my darndest to find a clip of Stern playing the Bijou Theater. But yeah, that, that was it. So yeah, we had a cool crew and we kind of had a lame crew. And the cool crew didn't get along with the lame crew because the cool crew liked to do things that were not necessarily uh, allowed. You know, like we uh, would fill our drinks with the fountain where you're not allowed to do that. And we would um, <laughs> we would reuse popcorn buckets uh, and count that as our tips, which was definitely not allowed. Uh, but hey, we were kids and we had fun. And uh, it was one of my best one of my best jobs uh, ever. And I could still if I was in a projection room, I could still probably lace up a film uh, on a 35 millimeter projector. Uh, which is a complete lost art. And uh, I almost was into it so much, I almost wanted to, there's a union for that, or there was at one time. I almost wanted to go into a union. Thank God I didn't, because that, uh, that job went away. But anyway, that's it. I got to call Perry back and uh, let him know the good news about his appointment uh, before he drives me crazy. And I also got to get dinner, and I got to play Super Mario Wonder. But hey, thanks guys for hanging out, especially the uh, the lunatics among you that stayed for the whole duration. Uh, thank you. I think Perry was great tonight, uh, today rather. Uh, it was very good, very volatile, but we like that kind of Perry. He was very cool, aside from turning off the computer. Uh, all that stuff. So uh, thanks. And um, Cody Mayo saying, I'm hitting my two mile walk and then Mario Wonder. That's cool. Good, yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only uh, grown adult that's into that. Um, uh, if I were in the projector room, could you lace up a fat joint? You know what? I'll tell you what. As, as cool as the, the, the cool crew was, th that wasn't kind of a thing back then. It really wasn't. Uh, pot smoking was still, this is like early 90s, still a little taboo. It became far more, at least, for the crew I was in. Once in a while, you, it would be around, but uh, it was still a little taboo, and I think it took a number of years for that to be more flexible uh, in the zeitgeist of uh, you know being quote-unquote cool or whatever. But yeah, no, that wasn't really a part of my thing. And that's kind of why I never uh, was a pot smoker or a pot guy. and I just didn't grow up with it. It wasn't appealing to me, whatever. But God bless everybody else who is. Um, Guys, have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for not being too annoyed with Perry. Uh, and uh, we'll see you Monday for a uh, media share. 
uh, Monday. All right. And, and, and seriously, anybody who was asked about the voice stuff, I, I don't mind answering questions about that. Uh, I'm happy to set you uh, on a path. It's a very competitive field. Be prepared for di uh, disappointment. Will I be on camera for uh, the next after? Not the next one, but eventually. Um, yes. Okay, so have a great weekend. Peace, sail for life. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Bye.